Anyways, what's up, guys? Uh, we back with uh, episode seven of Dark and Dizzy. Uh, anyone want, anyone want to start off on what happened last session? The recap. We saved Moxie uh, and I got uh, sent into a tree. We have, to, we have to say this. Previously Sorry. on Dark and Rising. Now continue. We, we saved Moxie and I got thrown into a tree. Well, seven since he started recording. Because remember, we had sessions before he started recording. Yep. I'm trying to say, like, the fuck? This is probably like yeah. the 11th session. I'll be honest. Probably, probably even, maybe even longer than that. Maybe. Yeah, Royal just forgets to upload sessions sometimes, so we just do off-camera no, mining. I, I literally did not record at all those sessions, because I didn't feel like recording, because was, my shit was very laggy. Genuine yeah, skill issue. Happened. It is, it is. <clears throat> Alright, previously, uh, we, we saved Moxie, and uh, Arthur got sent into the tree world, and he he just doesn't exist anymore. Don't worry, he's coming back, eventually. Yeah, because everyone knows that Arthur was people's favorite character. Well, you know, the that, one that viewer. Play, the entire party doesn't even know Arthur's gone because of the whole Moxie situation. Everyone's still up there in the third floor. Yeah. Except for Blue, who... <laughs> Wait, where the fuck did Blue go? Did she come with me? Why is she gone? No, she didn't come with you. I don't, I don't, I don't have her token. I was trying to put her token back, but I don't have her token anymore. What did you do with her token? I think I actually deleted Yeah, her. Royal, what did you do to her token? What did what? you do to it, Royal? What the fuck? What did you do to Blue? What did you do? Shame, shame, shame. What the shame. fuck's wrong with you guys? <coughs> Alright. What's wrong with you? Messing with these goblins. Bruh. Anyways. Uh. Is that it for the recap, guys? Uh, I feel like we're missing a lot of stuff for that recap. Uh, no, that, no, that's good. Winter, good. Winter died. Unfortunately. In the woods. What? Trying to catch up to us. No, no, just take the un off of that, and, and you'll be correct. <laughs> take the unfortunately off of that. Fortunately, <laughs> fortunately, winter died. <laughs> yeah, short, short, apparently shortly after we um uh, we left to head out into the woods, you know, uh, if you guys remember, they just didn't join the cart, and then for some reason tried to run after us. It turns out that uh, they uh, they they put too much faith in the void creatures being good and were eaten to death because it turns out one person could not single handedly fight off a void creature uh, after getting ambushed by one. Yeah, we uh, we uh, recently uh, got the message from an elf uh, elf messenger, uh, and then they oh. left. Why would someone look at a giant, black, mysterious, evil-looking creature? Do not take that out of context. <laughs> no one takes that out of uh, context. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> too late. <laughs> Please stop making sex jokes when strangers join the call to listen in. Oh, what's up, Jay? If I'm a giant, hey. black werewolf, I'm not exactly going to want to go up Werewolf? And... What? <laughs> Because I can't say it another way, because that <laughs> sounds racist or sexually creepy. It's a <laughs> void creature. <laughs> just say, just say void creature, creature. Right? a giant black void creature. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? Why it gotta be black? Why I can't believe be... we're fighting Endermen over here. <laughs> Royal's gonna add that next actually, up to the thing we that's fight. A good idea, actually. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, but a to answer your question, King, uh, apparently they met, like, one purple dragon and then immediately assumed, because its name was Void, that it was, in fact, a Void creature and was good. Um, it was not true, and uh, they unfortunately, or fortunately, if you're Moxie, uh, paid the price for assuming that the Void creatures were good creatures. Yes, yeah, a giant purple dragon. Let's go pick uh, yeah. I mean, this is the person who tried to sneak around with bells on. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot about that. I, 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 I can sneak around while shaking bells. Making yeah. my job harder. They're going to put a bell on you. That's why they know. Yeah, they, uh, 
they decided to make as much noise as possible and then beg the DM to allow them to try to take the hide action despite the fact they were making so much fucking noise they might as well have been wearing plate armor. They were wearing plate no, armor. No, no, they wasn't. No, 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 they wasn't. They were wearing jingle bells. Yeah, but not yeah, plate no, armor. The only, the only thing the, the jingles, jingle bells did was uh, not allow them to stealth. Yeah, until they convince you that they should still be allowed to stealth with disadvantage, and then after convincing you of that, they proceeded to then never stealth at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. because somehow they could they could bite themselves and cause themselves damage, and then succeed on any fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they they decided to be really cool to combine the uh, most powerful parts of Reborn and Dampier into one custom lineage. <laughs> Anyway, back to the All story. Right. Well, yep, uh, that is the end of the recap. Uh, now Moxie has been saved and uh, everyone is standing in a room. Well, here we go. As the, as the, uh, the, the ritual ends, you guys see something come out of Moxie. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> and shut, shut the fuck up, Anubis. <laughs> You dirty, dirty boy. Anyway, um, you guys see another, sorry, another yeah, Moxie come out of bit. come out of that Moxie, and this Moxie has black hair actually. No. What the fuck is that? Right there. They're right gay there. lovers. That not, what the fuck are you talking about? Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Yep. I don't know what's gonna and then, Moxie, you do have five levels of exhaustion for expelling the demon with inside of you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go up to, to the massive fucking uh, uh, witch, uh, wizard lady. Like, uh, what the fuck is that? Um, I, I believe that's the Void King himself. Kill it! You kill really, it! Somebody really kill that! I have the power to kill that. Royal, and this is where Royal comes in. Royal, get oh. rid of that, please. I don't get rid of that thing now. Uh, fact, what the fuck? Wasn't Royal standing there? Didn't he take the void gun to destroy it? So isn't he there? The void king uh, comes out very injured and fucking not no well, not dead, but fucking pretty close. This round has a thousand HP left, and that's a lot. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh and it's like, well, that was way to give his boss certainly unexpected. <laughs> You're stronger than yeah. I thought. Why is Royal even letting this happen? Yeah, Royal. That's, Royal is just looking that is what I'm saying. What the fuck, Royal? Did you say he was Royal. Omni? Omniscient. Oh. Yeah, Royal, him. didn't you also explicitly state that the reason we were doing this was so that the Void King wouldn't show up? Because if the Void King did show okay, up... Okay, guys, 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 guys let, let's just... Okay, okay, alright, alright. Uh, Luke, Arthur, you're not here. Shush. Mm -hmm. Eat yourself. Right. You're not here. This is... Oh, I, uh... It's very... Unexpected. But, uh... At least I have a part of you. I will... Oh, no, 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 no. I will be yeah. back for the, for the next part, Moxie. Don't. Uh, keep, sleep with one eye open, motherfucker. <laughs> Ask the kid. No, no, bro, I told you it's not going to happen. I don't, it's not, like, you're not my type. Right, stop it. It doesn't matter if you don't want it to happen, it will still happen. And then you see the wall shatter behind him, and another kind of a void. Uh, one of these guys, this guy comes to the wall, and this guy also comes to the wall. And there I, are three and, fucking gods in this room, and absolutely none five. of them are doing anything. There's five in this room, actually. And that is when Royal teleports to here. Okay, the Void King wasn't a big enough threat. He had to finish his cup of coffee first. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's right. But anyways, um, Royals says, uh, 
I'll let you guys run along before I have to, well, do something I'd rather not. Uh, can we get that piece of moxie back, actually? Can, can check that back first? And then the Void King says, Don't worry, brother. Soon, I will be released from those restraints. And I'm coming after you first. And then Royal laughs and says, The only time you'll be ever be released from, my, from those restraints is if I die. And... You have so much less power than me. It's laughable. And then the, the Void King kisses and then says, Take me away, children, what? and let's go. The Void King kisses, like, with his teeth. He, 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 oh, he t I thought you said he kissed. I was like, he kissed. <laughs> That's what I heard. No. <laughs> oh, they then proceed to sloppily make out with each other. <laughs> God yeah, it goes with, with tongue and everything. <laughs> See, yeah. I told you the mother was a freak. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I'm oh, just... you mother. You know what? Oh, you deserve each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you deserve each other. Nah, he says, all right, my, my children, take me and let's go before things get ugly. Great. He kissed his brother. Now he wants his children to take him. Uh, uh, just, oh man. <laughs> don't, ma don't make me slap your character on the ground. I'll, oh, I'll give you that six level of exhaustion. Don't make me. <laughs> oh, okay. So you'll slap Moxie, but you won't slap the Void King that just casually showed up. But anyway. He will literally just <laughs> let him leave. <laughs> what the cool. fuck? This <laughs> bastard. <laughs> After he just lip locked you, you're just gonna let him walk. Uh, Royal. Royal. I don't think I don't think Royal's Royal character back. sheet actually has thirty intelligence. I could be wrong on this Royal one. It seems more like he's got about six. He teleports back, back and then uh, kind of just sits, sits on the on, on his uh at the table, that? sipping his tea again. Or, yeah, I'm gonna go over to him real quick and be like, "What the fuck was that?" Oh, don't worry about it. You, you just got worried with the pace of Moxie. What the fuck? No, you can't do anything is... in his state. What the he... fuck did he take? Uh, yeah. A what portion, the fuck part of me did? A portion of Moxie's essence. What the My fuck essence? does that mean? <laughs> Hold on, dude. He violated me. Yeah, uh, what, which part? What, how much? What? Uh, he will now reach down inside of you and grab a hold of your essence. <laughs> oh my god. Uh -oh. Don't, 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 make, don't make me kill your character, gang. I will. They haven't been introduced yet, and I will. <laughs> oh, okay. So you'll screen. kill another character, but you won't kill the three void monsters that walked in that are like it. the one thing that can threaten Royal. Don't worry about it. Yeah, maybe I mean, this is like some maybe this is some big brain play like the void king turned off royal's power and he was just fucking bluffing that entire time anyway uh, what part of him did he take uh shit hell if i know what the fuck you mean you don't know you just made it i'm sorry you just grabbed a portion of his essence there's no, there's what no does that mean so this is what omnipotence mean. counts for these days okay uh, <laughs> you know you know i'm tired of all of this all of you gods, you're useless, good for nothing, hillbilly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they yeah, didn't pick out, he, so he it's not he wrong. He snaps his fingers, and Maki's no longer allowed to talk anymore. God damn it. All right, well, I'm <laughs> going to go to way, a god who I at least... Moxie said all of that while laying down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go to Just a god who at least knows some shit. Be like, all right, Arcus, you know anything? Uh, or what the fuck he, what the fuck that bastard took? Now, why the hell would no. you think I'd know anything? I don't know. You're literally Satan. Uh, you deal in life essence, technically. But but you have to remember who his dad is. Light, light. I don't exactly. It's complicated for a mortal like you to know. Um. It's it's kind of it, it, it's kind of on con. It it's how you interpret it really at that point because you can you can consider that. 
I mean, souls. A soul is kind of a life essence. It, it's we're just getting into interpretations at that point. All right. Um. Well. Anyways, if I had to guess, uh, Moxie's Moxie's not in life-threatening danger or anything. If the if the Void King took more than just his life essence, your friend would be dead, one hundred percent. But well, yeah, I would assume but if he took his life essence, he would be dead. No, but my problem only is, took a what does? Is... But but my point is, what does that mean? What did what did he what did he take particularly? What does that mean? Life essence. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. that it escape? doesn't mean anything yet. <laughs> yet? What do you mean yet? Uh, just don't worry about it until you don't have to worry about it. It's fine. Oh, oh my God. God! These these gods are. The fact these gods haven't all been killed yet by the Void King is genuinely baffling to me. <laughs> Royal watch the one thing that can actually fucking destroy him walk right in front of him and the most he did was like eh, yeah, you better get out of my sight you darn kids <laughs> don't worry about it he saw Moxie get his he watched a he watched a good chunk of his uh, soul just get straight up ripped out and Royal was like bro I have no fucking clue what was taken but he's not dead so clearly he must be fine <laughs> Three anyway. separate good gods standing in a room. Not one of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, whoa, take, whoa, take, take, whoa. take the good off of that, and you'd, you'd be correct. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen. Like, at this all, point, Arcus is only one god is good, and that's easy enough. But you know, it's whatever. Technically, Arcus and Royal here would be on the good side because they know that if they don't fucking help us, they're also going to be getting wiped off the face of the universe. So. Royal's going to teleport to Moxie, snap his fingers, Moxie can talk again, and then you see him, you see his eyes kind of glow a reddish color. Wait a minute, what's his organization, organization called? Uh, Argus? Arcus, that's, the <laughs> god, that's my character's god. No, no, uh, organization. What? Organization of good smite. You straight organization? up stole that from DC Universe. You straight up stole that. He's an organization, bro. That's that's a god's name. <laughs> yeah. Ar 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 Arcus is also known as literally Satan. Did you see Moxie's eyes are glowing red? No. Uh, Royal's eyes are glowing red. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was thinking. As he peers into your soul. <laughs> And then it says, ah, now I know what was taken. There's a, a, a big chunk of his soul was taken. Only the part that was infested with void void energy was taken. So, so they literally oh, just did what the original plan was. We, we spent a month so that they could do a slightly more advanced version of cutting his soul in half. Uh, it's not, it wasn't cut in half. And by the way, uh, Royal looks up at you, Arthur. <laughs> Alexander and says, I'm in a different Listen, fucking dimension talking shit. Shut up. <laughs> I, I think he, no, uh, no, no. he, Arthur, he looks up, I think he's he telling you the player. Player. He looks up, the, up at the player, Dova can, because he can do that. Um, and he says, Shut up. <laughs> oh, hey. Alright, but, uh, anyways. Um, yeah. Well, it's like, there's nothing really to worry about. Um, just sleep with one eye open, or just don't sleep at all. Because he will. We kind of need sleep to. Him. We kind of need sleep to live. You know, I can't relate. Yeah, yeah, guess that part. Yeah, she's she's just gonna pick up Moxie and then gonna go. How the hell do I? How the hell do I? Make me a strength check. Moxie. I have a strength of eighteen. <laughs> I think I can pick him up. Nah, give me a strength check, because it's funnier. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. You should oh, drop shit, some. man, you are struggling of all fuck. Jesus, it's fucking heavy. Fucking heavy. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Rose, let's get the fuck out of here. By the way, it's Not everything it's hurts. Gonna, uh, shortens down to your height. Can we please leave? I'm tired of looking at these useless gods. Yeah, by the way, uh, you guys, uh, I see uh, Blue coming barging into the door. 
Uh, um, Arthur. Where have gone. you been? What the fuck do you mean he's gone? He just vanished. The fuck do you mean he vanished? Uh, how how am I supposed to make this clear to you? He vanished. <laughs> how? Where where was he? He was supposed to be in, in air. I don't know. How does one per how does one person vanish? I don't know. It's thin air. I get. I don't, Did he say anything? Uh, Wait, is this one of those things where he vanishes? He just comes back as a different form again? No, no, this is different. This is different. Maybe. Uh, uh, blue. What Blue would see is that he's looking up at the tower, and he would mention, "Man, I sure do hope that Moxie doesn't." And then he just fucking despawned. <laughs> <laughs> that is like, the last thing Blue saw. Yeah, he's, he's just like he was. He was worried for Moxie, and then he just. Fucking vanished. He despawned. Can't do that. Okay, wait, wait. Was this before those massive? Was it? Was this before those two void creatures came through the wall? Uh, How long ago was this? Probably like. Uh, uh give me a uh, intelligence check for on a uh, blue's character sheet. I think blue has keen mind. I could be wrong. Does she? Check. Mm -hmm. Anna, check. She does have an intelligence of 19, so she should be able to have, remember something yeah, that happened. Uh, yeah, like it, was, it was around like like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I, I got, I got, just I got, I got, come here. I, I, cut, cut, I was, it stunned me, okay? I, I don't know what to do. Fuck. We just got his ass back. We just got fucking Mr. Fluffy shit over here, and now he's fucking gone. God damn it. <laughs> What the fuck? Hey, you, you, you better be glad that like my everything hurts and I can't move. Oh, lucky, yeah. <laughs> uh, why did why does, why does everything hurt again? What? <laughs> I got five levels of exhaustion. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That, that tracks. Fuck, you can't do anything. I literally can't move. My Blue, you remember hurt. when he was all purple? Uh, yeah. Remember that? Remember it. Yeah, you notice how he's not purple now? Yeah, yeah, he's back to normal. That that's why everything hurts. Yeah, makes sense. Um, everything hurts. Where's Violet? Violet Yeah, Violet Violet's uh sitting on top of their robot thing. Violet. Sitting on the shoulder of no. the What are we talking about, Violet? No more void. <laughs> But what if I really want to make one? But, Violet, Fine. the last void thing you made is the robot. That's it. Well, the, my robot's not a void creature. Then why does it look like that? Um, why does it look red and handsome? Handsome. Because he's my robot, and he's very that beautiful. I mean, that's that, that's subjective, but go on. What is he not beautiful? <laughs> and she sobs. She starts to sob. <laughs> I'm sorry, Violet. Your robot is very beautiful. Yay! Thank you. It's very pretty. Be ugly. Can we like do something or like? Can I? Can we sleep or something? I, uh, I really, I can't move people. Uh, 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 says, yeah, that, that's getting into a bit. Um, let me think. Where are my beds at again? I believe it's on. Gosh, this damn tower is so huge. Uh. Perhaps my apprentice knows. Go on to the first floor and you'll find out. And you'll find her. She's probably out there in there s sleeping or something. She's rather lazy. On the first floor, you said? Yes. It's down those stairs. By the way, how do I tether, okay. how do I tether my thing to Moxie? I got it. You trying to tether your phone ring to me? There we go. Fog. There you go. 
This is the first floor. Oh. Oh, the newbies goes immediately to the to the first floor. Okay. Go ahead, Santa Rose. All right, Santa Rose goes immediately to the first floor. But by the way, this is the first floor. That that's the that's the like the the ground like floor. In, yeah, ground floor. Oh. And God damn it, they did they, they de Oh, that's how that works. <laughs> okay, I got it. Uh, the goblins also came down there, and um, yeah, you gotta see a, a kind of a woman that seems to be sleeping. Kind of a woman? No, no, uh, not kind of. Sorry, a, a woman that seems to be sleeping on a big ass pillow. Wait, what's kind of a woman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a transgender just seems to be sleeping. <laughs> How do you know she's transgender? Who the fuck knows? Anyways. Uh, no, no. It's just a woman. A woman just appears to be sleeping on a big-ass pillow. It's because you still see the mustache. <laughs> you still see the what? mustache. <laughs> Morning, wood. Man. Uh, who wants to try and tag on? I can't do anything. <laughs> who wants to try and wake her up? Thanks for volunteering, Xana Rose. You're a okay. pal. Uh, I All try right. and wake Zana up Rose, as this soon as you try to wake person. her up, um, she says, go to sleep and make me a wisdom saving throw. I can't be put to sleep. You can't, you can't be, you can be put to sleep. Can you? And that is oh, you not to magically sleep. sleep. Oh, no. yeah. He's... Well, no. Can't be... no magical this, sleep this can't come to sleep. This is suggestion, so it works differently. That's magical. If, if that's she just the... says it to me, I'm not gonna do it. Is she casting uh... suggestion, the spell? Yeah, she's casting suggestion, so it would work. Oh, well, that would be a wisdom save, but you yeah. get an advantage, because it's a charm. <laughs> yeah, you get advantage, because it's a charm. It, the so... suggestion was specifically go to sleep. Yeah. yeah. And I can't the be put spell, to sleep. The spell would no, fail automatically, no, because he no, cannot be no, put to sleep that's magically. If, that's if, um... Someone no, it, it does not. It does not state that it's only the sleep spell. It states he cannot be magically put to sleep. Yeah. It no. is a spell. That you no, so, so the spell would automatically fail because it's no, a spell that's being used to put you to sleep. It doesn't put you to sleep. It makes you want to go to sleep. It doesn't just straight up put you to sleep. I think the way I think what Royal is trying to say is it's not literally going to make him put to sleep. But it's suggesting the idea that he wants to go to sleep. It's not yeah. literally making him go to sleep, but it's like, huh, you know, so he I just can really go for a nap. Tramp? So would he so just go into a trance right then and there? So wouldn't it be better if she said you should go to sleep? Yeah. That's more I, I, I ordered it wrong, my bad. So this is a wisdom check? Or save? Wisdom wisdom save. Yeah. yeah, it's a save at advantage because you have advantage against charm. <laughs> 22. Oh, wow. You just saved. I'm not sleepy. Oh. Okay, Another so level. is she awake now? Or was that like... Nope, she's still asleep. I'll, keep, I'll just wake... I'll keep trying to wake her up then. And you try to wake her up? Yeah, she, yes. she wakes up and says, Yes. It's way too early for this we shit. Were... <laughs> It's like moon. We were told to come down here because you might know where the beds are so we can sleep. Um. Why would I know where the beds are? We don't even have beds. Oh my god, is everyone here useless? She kind of just like, she kind of just like, if you guys want to go to sleep. Here you go, and then she taps on her necklace, and then that makes like four more, or however, however many that you, of you guys there are. I think four. Yeah, that makes four more like giant ass pillows that you guys can sleep on. Four plus four goblins, so that's eight. And then she makes one. I'm one pretty sure all the goblins, do, goblins, goblins can one. double up. Yeah, she makes one. She makes <laughs> so. one big ass pillow for all of the goblins to sleep. On. Actually, that's five goblins because keep getting greeny, but yeah, yeah so five goblins. <laughs> 
is open to go. Oh my God. Well, see, you see, Granny's gonna need her own space. You can't, you can't make her. Uh, uh, let's just say she she makes like six beds to accommodate everybody. But right, but also I need you guys to make me a religion check on her. I can't make no freaking save. I already used up my nineteen. <laughs> Come on, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I don't bad. know Jack. It's just a disadvantage because I'm stupid. Yeah, it's just a disadvantage. Blue got a 16. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Nah. Nope, yeah, it might be in there, man. Your brain dead. And I'm ignoring you now. But yeah, blue now knows that this is actually sloth. She has the sloth curse on her. Oh, good. They made a return. Okay. I thought sloth was a dude at first. What the fuck? No, that was they a god. <laughs> that, was not a... that was not sloth. Blue's gonna look down at sloth. She's going to look up at the rest of the group. <clears throat> and Blue just going to point to the blatantly obvious curse of sloth that yeah. is uh, blue, visible on her. As, oh. as Blue says that, uh, uh, she says, go to sleep. Look he doesn't me. even say anything. How does she know? Blue didn't even what, say anything. Yeah, Wouldn't we out. all see that if they have the symbol, then we would all Yeah, see Royal. That it's just right there on them. So. Yeah. Because it can't be hidden. So. Yes, yeah, it's, on, the, it's it, on their leg. So you can see it. Okay. No wonder they're so lazy. It's their sloth. Okay. Right, can we sleep now? Yeah. Can I, can I sleep? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I'm not stopping you from sleeping. We don't have beds. Well, now we do, actually. Yeah, now the goblins are gonna... You just need the pillows! We they're, just have pillows. They're, just, they're big ass pillows, bro. Uh, they're yeah, just but, as big as bed, but they're they're just pillows. You really summon yeah. body pillows. They're body pillows. They're fucking <laughs> giant ass. Yeah, yeah. Why they're, are there they're, anime they're, girls on all of these no, pillows? No, 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 no. They're, they're body pillows, and they're pictures of you guys. Each of you guys take a, a picture mm. of someone. <laughs> I guess I'll I'll place Moxie down on his and say. Oh yeah. Also, remember when you were being a super overprotect, annoying, overprotective dick when I got when I got hurt? Yeah. yeah. That's gonna be that's gonna be me now. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Right. Good night. I'll sleep here. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. Yeah. So you you guys take your your long rest. Long so you can get rid of one one level of exhaustion. Because you know long mm. rest. I'm down the four. Yay! <laughs> and now this is when King's character comes to the door, and in Alexander's new character. All right. No, no, we don't want any. No Jehovah Witness. But yeah, King and Alexander, Look, you, after all the shit that's going on in the world, you guys heard of a very powerful mage that resides on this in this tower, and it kind of you kind of want her uh, assistance. Or or her guidance, whatever whichever one of the two. No dragon, I'm a So you can, uh, uh, King, you here? King, 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 yeah. King. All right, place your character now, motherfucker. Yeah. What? I, I did. Oh, okay. Arthur, take, um, uh, four, Where four, what, four, what, four, five, what nine. Four, five, nine. Place That's literally my character. King is lying. That's literally my character what? that you're moving. That's my character. This is your character? Oh. 
That's four five nine. King, place the character down. Oh no, place the character down. I did place right my here, character down right here, King. Right he here. He put it inside of the <laughs> freaking building. Why did you put it inside the building, bro? <laughs> Here, here, King. Place your character down right here. Right here. I can make so many jokes, I'm not going to. Uh, right right, they next, put right it next where? to 459. <laughs> Why can I not grab my freaking character? Oh, what my... the frick is going on here? Why'd you lock it, you weirdo? Gosh. I didn't. <laughs> what the hell? Guys, what even is your character? What is that? It's a goblin. It's a mage. It's a warlock druid. Another goblin. You guys have another goblin. God damn it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? Another goblin. Another one. Dude, <laughs> we're not fucking building <laughs> our fucking army of goblins. Listen, listen. You have to fill out the forms if you want to join the goblin <laughs> brigade. <laughs> we have forms now? Yes, there's forms. We started it today because we got... Too many. Oh god. All right. So, Christ. Like, these goblins are special. Okay, we started at the beginning with these. Guys. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so yeah, you guys, you guys, you guys come in here. So, did, did you hear my explanation on why you guys came here? Or you want me to explain it again? Because they're Jehovah's Witness trying to spread the the word. Yeah. No, they're not. Yeah, we are. They're royal witness. Us. <laughs> don't make, don't make, don't make me strike you guys with lightning, though. That's funny. Anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah. Strike, <laughs> strike them, you will. Strike have you them, heard of? Will. Have you heard about Lord and Sarah Royal? Oh, you mean that ass? But yeah. All right. Anyways, what do you guys? You guys, what do you guys do as you you enter the the. The, the steps, the the front door of the 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 mage, the most powerful mage in the world. All right, uh, player four five nine is going to look at Jack Lude, and he's going to say, "I truly hope there's some form of celestial or deity. That way, I can capture them and make them another one of my summons." <laughs> I want a Pokemon, do you? Oh, oh, I've got quite a few of them, you but guys, honestly, with all these void creatures coming around. <laughs> shut up, get, shut up, Royal. Shut up, Royal. Pokemon are a real thing in D and D because fuck I have you, these man. monsters that fit in my pocket. <laughs> no, no, fuck, they're not. Oh my god. They're monsters that fit into my pocket, just like they said. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he god. just wants to be the very best. Like oh, no one no. ever was. It sure is strange. Those void creatures don't respond to conventional means of trapping and conjuration. But, well, they go down pretty easily if I throw enough monsters at them. So, <sighs> let's see. A powerful mage? Let's go right in, Shaq Lude. Yes. Away! You guys, you guys see the stairs going up and little, little guards right here. Also, a magic circle. Right you take, left I take. I... Go up the damn stairs, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, why, why, why are you talking like, why are you trying to talk like Yoda, bro? <laughs> terribly, terribly terrible. <laughs> up the stairs you must go. And then there's a fucking five minute pause. It's like, go up the stairs, you fucker. <laughs> go up the stairs, you bitch. Oh my god, dude, you're gonna kill me, bro. You're gonna be the death of fucking this god's world. I swear to God. Bro, I I can't tell. I can't tell if bringing in King was a good idea or the worst decision I've ever made. <laughs> All right. Anyways, yeah, you, you guys. Royal. Into the... No, it's uh, right here. <laughs> it was both. Royal, right, either well. you're welcome or I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. In the middle. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say both. Royal, you're welcome. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry that you're welcome. <laughs> All right. It seems that I can hear snoring in here. Hmm. I'm sorry, what? I didn't hear you. Yep, you see. There's what? snoring in here. Mm, yeah, that is some very loud snoring. I can hear that from miles away. 
Yeah, you, see, you see a bunch of butts and so, kind of some some tipped over butts. You saw a fuck a pile of butts everywhere. Hmm. And apparently, I'm using Misty Step right now. There you go. And then you see a bunch of goblins and a, a fox person and whoever the fuck that is. <laughs> Sleeping on a giant. Jack Lou, you have to see this. Pillows. A bunch of goblin them. sex slaves are sleeping on top of a robot next to a fox man. <laughs> Clearly, oh, this wizard I'm has a lot of. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll keep it down for you. Clearly, whoever this mage is, they have some very strange fetishes. Very strange indeed. I think we should uh, arrest them and throw the book at them. There are plenty of books. Who knows? How I think powerful. Up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, player 459 is currently whispering this to Shaq. What is your passive perception, Moxie? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Mine is well, like 15. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not higher than a fucking... 14 that's for sure yeah because you need a you need a passive perception of 20 in order to hear people talking while you're asleep so yeah. jessica hears them oh wait jessica isn't with us yeah jessica isn't there yet you guys have to wait a couple more sessions <laughs> xanros has the highest passive perception at 17 seven. followed by yeah. me and moxie at 16. <laughs> um if it was passive, passive investigation i'd have you yeah, but you're not oh, asleep. Right. That, that's the difference. You're not asleep. <laughs> I actually have 22. My bad. <laughs> 22, yeah. All right. Let's take a look around this room first. It seems that there's a fox boy, a harem of goblins, and a robot. There's also appears to be some type of elf woman with glowing skin. Yeah, you also see... um. You see and a, some a, weird, a, a creepy goblin, stranger a goblin black with robe. purple hair kind of snuggling the robot. Hmm. Perhaps the robot is the one with the harem. That's why they're sleeping with all of the goblins. And the fox man. Hmm. Where I'm going to throw something at you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're going to I must write this down. It could also be that the fox man has the harem of goblins and the robots. <laughs> or maybe they're all loyal servants of that stupid elf woman what, what over do you, there. Why are you trying to sound like Harry Potter, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's keep looking around this room. From the 1940s radio announcer to Harry Potter. I'm playing a different character. That's why character. I think he's making Hey guys, what the fuck? Are you... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Out of character. Hey, man. Start fucking kicking everyone away. Over here, over here. <laughs> you, you, see a, you see an emo boy sitting on a, a giant pillow as well, and also a, a white haired uh, cat girl just laying down. Emo on boy, really? <laughs> <laughs> ah, this appears to be what is known as an elf. They actually aren't sleeping, so they heard us this entire time. <laughs> However, they've yet to say anything, which leads me to believe that they're not actually hostile towards us yet. However, as I continue to talk right into their ear as they're <laughs> trying to hell. meditate... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> are you all... <laughs> what are you what you fight, are you? <laughs> Apology, Wait. sleeping man. Oh, no, no, keep on going. You don't know, apparently. You don't know, so keep on going. No, 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 keep on going. You no in the middle while he was sleeping. Just like, I'm a half of Why are you narrating your whole entire life playing 459? Because I'm a new character, so I have to explain myself to the audience. Oh, my God. Please stop. <laughs> right. I Player 459 breaks the fourth wall. Stop breaking the fourth wall. That's my job, you bastard. All right. Player 459, after looking over this whole group, uh, well, that that's a cat girl. Yeah, that you, you is... You see the cat uh, girl actually and... seems to be sleeping more comfortably than the rest of them. Hmm. All right. Uh, there are several things I could do with that information. 
Hmm, clearly, as this random elf boy is separated from the rest of the harem, he must be different in some way. I shall wake him up so that I can ask him questions. Please, please stop narrating your whole life. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying all this to Shaq, dude. Just him and kick him in the face. He's stoned out of his mind right now. This is this is Alexander's character. All right, verbatim. It's freaking Peter Griffin. <laughs> Pete, that's just a phase. You've gone through a few yourself, you know. Yeah, like those two weeks you spent narrating your own life. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I sorry, I got distracted and for a second. Down at the table. Guy. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go try and uh, meal, wake up Xanthros uh, by course, whispering the words, Elf, with her cooking, Elf, somehow I human Elf, you. you're sleeping, so you Lois can't had be an Elf. Been full of energy and life, Person. But lately... Wake the fuck up, Xan... Uh, wake the fuck up, Xanthros. You see someone someone appears to be trying to wake you up. You don't know who the hell this guy is. You kind of got kind of just a random person that seems to be trying to wake you up. What do you do? Wake up! Uh, wake up! Have wake up. just been woken up and them being real close to me. One of them's getting hit. Damn right. <laughs> Hell. Uh, kill him! Kill him! Kill his ass! Stab him in the fucking throat! Eat his heart! Anyways, I'm I'm gonna be hitting the one whispering into my ear while I'm sleeping. I'm also yelling at you, right. saying, "Wake the fuck up!" <laughs> <laughs> You're yelling. Okay, so everyone else can hear this as well. <laughs> yeah. Shaq Lute is screaming, I'm whispering, so uh, pick your poison. Uh, I'm, go I'm, go I'm going after this wizard felt. Oh, here which one? Uh, the <laughs> which tall wizard? guy. There are two guys. I would like to the use one that was whispering in my ear. <laughs> oh, player, player. All right. Four, yeah. Um, pick, it, pick a different name, please. God damn it. <laughs> Did you get distracted by fucking numbers, Royal? <laughs> player 459. <laughs> oh my God. To say that. Player 69. Okay, yeah. yeah. Player 69. Yeah. That's your new name. So I try to hit this dude. Uh, I got it. I'm going to cast shield on that and make my armor class 23. So, so I start blasting. That's essentially what you just said. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, uh, yeah. you just kind of bounce off a of force field. I'm like, fascinating. It seems that just like us humans, and whatever the fuck you are, Yoda, um, they also <laughs> get upset when you try to wake them up while they're sleeping. I am part of the Yoda tribe. That is no, not me. No my name is Yoda. You are. You fucking asshole. You are a <laughs> goblin. I, oh, my God. I'm going to. Fucking kill someone, dude. I'm, All gonna, right. I'm gonna erase this entire yeah. world, I swear to god. Is everyone else sufficiently <laughs> woken up now? Yeah. Moxie is ticked now. And if he still wasn't freaking exhausted, he would be raging by now. But... Moxie? <laughs> no. No, you stay here. No. I bounce off. And now I, I... have my psionic blades out. <laughs> You see Moxie trying to reach for his great sword. You, yeah, uh, you, see, you see the the uh, the the woman with the, the the cat girl still sleeping silently. You know, Bruh. kill the cat. Yeah. I, 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 I pull the I, I pull the weapon just out of Moxie's reach. I pull it out of your reach. Damn you! Damn you! No, you need, you need to rest. Who are you two? My Violet. name is 459. It was a name given to me by my academy because I was the 459th graduate. I was also not allowed to keep my own name because names are bad for you. Now then, what's your name? I'm Zan. What? what? <laughs> it's great uh, to I'm meet Zanner. you, Zan. <laughs> His name is Zan. Wait, wait, wait. You mean that you had a great time meeting him, Zan? <laughs> It's Xanaros, not Zan. Ah, great and to meet who's you, this Xanaros. this little green thing? This is Shaklu, <laughs> the Yoda tribe. Actually, wait, hold on, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the interruption, but it actually kind of makes sense that Xanaros wouldn't know what the fuck he is, because look at every other goblin we run into. 
Look at all these. It looks fucking him. Oh my god. It makes sense. It makes total fucking sense. You, you guys ran into male, male goblins before. I mean, we have, None we of them looked whole... like this. <laughs> None of them looked that weird, okay? Well, some of them His did, some of them did actually look like that, but you know, it wasn't a lot. This is, this is Shaklud of the Yoda tribe. He is what is known as a male goblin. Oh God, I understand that you have never this. seen them before, seeing how you have a harem of goblin women who do look different for some unfathomable reason. The gods of this world decided that goblin girls should have massive tits and look like very attractive women, while the males must look like the most ugly abomination known to God. No offense, Shaklud. Hey, hey, they are expressing themselves, okay? <laughs> They've been what oppressed. You that I'm the ugliest thing to ever walk this damn earth. <laughs> I will freaking murder you. Don't worry, Shaklu. Void creatures exist now, so you are no longer in first place for ugliest creature. Uh, I I would beg about five seconds to apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot that goblins are very, very intense about their physical appearance. That is why you took disguise self, isn't it? Let <laughs> disguise you with the stain on the ground. <laughs> now oh, then, Xanros, who is the rest of your party and or harem? The, please make them leave. They look, this make is, them leave. This is not a harem. This is Lula, <laughs> and there's Moxie and his and his goblins over there. Ah, yeah, you guys the so cat, Moxie you guys is the, the one who owns this. You guys see the cat girl is start, the... start to wake up, and uh, she looks at you with extreme what? disgust on her face. That's reasonable. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, she's going to cast uh, a suggestion on both of you guys. Just go to sleep already. Uh, wait, which both of you guys? Uh, the, the two new guys, a.k.a. Uh, you and the king. Which level spell is this? Uh, that's a first level spell. All right, he's and, just going to um... casually wave his hand, uh, and the spell just vanishes. Ah, so you must be the powerful uh, actually, mage I've heard about that's here. A second level spell, but whatever. Yeah, yep. that it's it still it still waves away. Yeah. I have to mark some stuff real quick. There. I mean, I could have done that too. Ah, <laughs> uh, but you're a powerful spellcaster, and I don't want to waste your talents just yet. Can I use martial check on these two? Uh, sure, go ahead. Yes. So, uh, technically, monster checks only for players. All right. Only what players. do you want to know about us? Which specifically are you? You got a 19. Mm -hmm. uh, why do you have advantage? You do not have advantage on monster checks. Because I have proficiency. Monster checks. Uh, That's not what that not, means. Monster checks don't count with your proficiency. I didn't know that. Yeah, so ju just. Yeah. It's a natural one. So, yeah, no. All right. A total of eight. They don't know anything about us. Yeah. Yeah, but fucking what you guys see is when when Lewis approaches, you see a very very tall elvish woman looks fucking absolutely very annoyed and tired. Mm. Sunrise, when's the last time I've gotten a night of sleep without being interrupted? Yeah, by the way, probably the, the, a few the, days. The cat girl goes back to sleep. Bro, lucky bitch. She goes back to sleep. <laughs> Ah, I recognize you. You're the sin of lust. I couldn't tell from all the way over there, but now that you're up close. And why, you, why, why, Zanros, why you I didn't in, move. Why are you inside of a fucking book? <laughs> you, Zanros, you're the sin of gluttony. Are there any other sins you're traveling with? Why does that matter? Well, I've heard that you guys are common criminals ranging from such atrocious acts as causing the void to happen in the first place and also uh stealing apples out of stall some of these things may be lies 
I don't steal There's food. Book, guys. Where did you hear this from? <laughs> I don't steal food. Steal smash <laughs> items instead. <laughs> Most most books written about your seven deadly sin kind tend to uh, say that only the most atrocious of the worst of those who have their curse marks, well, have the curse marks. So it's only the worst of the most gluttonous people that would be called upon for the curse of gluttony. Same with greed and wrath. It also says that you seem to gain magical powers due to your marks. Yeah, well, okay, one of those things is a lie, because I have the sin of lust that she kind of pulls down her collar a bit to, you know, the, the mark branch across her neck. But I've never even had fucking sex, so that that's bullshit. That's mm. fucking bullshit. Um, did you lust after somebody? That's getting personal. That's, that's a bit of a personal question. But anyways, the point <laughs> is... Okay, I'm getting off track. Uh, who the fuck are you? My name, uh, which I'm sure you've already heard when you were, you know, just waking up and unable to comprehend what was happening, aside from yelling and words, is 459. That is because that is I am the 459th student to graduate from my wizarding college. They told me to forget, they told me to forget my name because names are bad. Yeah, by the way, you see, uh, you see the... The the cat girl kind of wake up and then she starts again. Like, she starts levitating, like a, a foot off the ground, and she says, mm. "You guys are really loud." And then she she casts dimension door and then leaves. <laughs> Wait, take me with you. <laughs> <laughs> so. If you mind my asking, why They're are there seven loud. deadly sins in this, uh, well, tower? I do mind. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Listen, our friend, uh, our, our, our lovely, 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 very large, stupid friend over there, uh, kind of nearly died, uh, like, earlier today. So... Hey, who you call is stupid? <laughs> who you call <laughs> Pinhead, Pinhead? <laughs> <laughs> How much intelligence do you have, Moxie, actually? I'm just curious. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that explains a lot, you know. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got a 12. No, it's a 13. You're smarter than Lilith. <laughs> I, got a, I got a 13, okay? Hey, I'm, I'm yo, a yo, keep average. it up. You're killing Alexander. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> but... All right, I got a whole plus one. Uh, but anyways. <laughs> yes. So maybe maybe stop yelling. Ah, Is that a rough I see. There we are. I'll speak in a lower tone for you. Is this better? Yes. Excellent. Now then. <laughs> you just say you're speaking in a low tone. You don't have to. Or, oh, okay. 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 Yeah, he's been <laughs> whispering this entire time. Bro oh. just doesn't notice. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he, were... <laughs> he hasn't yelled anything. Like, Moxie shouldn't have been able to hear him. He's still out. Unless he's just been laying there. It was only Shackley that there. yelled. Oh, okay. I mean, that, that's, well, why she, that's why she left. Because the king's character just kept on yelling. <laughs> oh, yeah, that checks out. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so why are you, why are you here? <sighs> We are looking for a powerful wizard that was said to be in this tower. Uh, you see, these void creatures that we're dealing with are the literal worst. So uh, we're trying to deal with that. Yeah, we know. Uh, she's upstairs. Wasn't she just the one that left? No, that, so that, that, that was her man. fucking receptionist. I see. She literally Do you know her. if there are... Do you know if this powerful wizard happens to be a celestial or deity? I wish to add them to my collection of Pokemon that I've captured. I don't know what that is, uh, but they're called pocket monsters. Would not end well for you here. <laughs> don't worry, I've done it to every single other creature on the face of the earth. Well, then why don't you just do it to the two people standing right in front of you? Because I'm a nice person, and I would assume you two do not want a to be A nice person who catches people in stupid balls. 
hey, yeah, that I can list what I've captured. Really. I've captured Fay. I've captured robots. I've captured aberrations. I've captured stars from beyond the mortal plane of existence that even the gods are terrified of. Okay. I've captured elementals. I've captured a goblin. I released the goblin because it was a goblin. I found Shaku, <laughs> but he was actually good at his job, hey, so I didn't capture him. <laughs> You're just blowing smoke. Did you find I mean, any I could legendaries? Tell you one of them for you, if you wish. But did you find well, any I legendaries? Did you catch any shinies? I Sounds captured like a, a devil. Very poor Pokemon trainer. Hmm. Hey, Zenros, what time is it? What time is it? Is that who? I asked Zanros what time is it. Oh, Zanros? I don't know. I don't have a watch. Yeah, nobody has watches. Well, well maybe you should just get a watch. It's time for you um, to get a watch. Well... It's probably been a few hours. I'm gonna go annoy the hell out of Moxie and coddle the shit out of him to piss him off. All right, you go do that while we go talk about this powerful wizard. And with that, four five nine is gonna go upstairs. Okay, you guys go upstairs and you reveal the second floor. Do, 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 do. Hey, there's a second floor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, bro. The stairs led to nothing. <laughs> no, it just led you back down to the ground floor. Right it went up just to peer back down. All right. Supposedly, they're supposed to be upstairs, but there's more than one stairs. So who knows how high we need to go? Let's mm. check this room out first. Yep. Yeah, he walks. A... As he walks around, yeah, he looks yeah, around yeah, the yeah. room. As I walk time. around <laughs> the room, <laughs> you, you, you see, you see a, a kitchen. What appears to be a kitchen. And All right. A, a storage. Room. Four five nine will write down in his journal that he this floor is a kitchen. He'll probably inform the others downstairs that there is in fact food here in case they get hungry. Mm -hmm. well, uh, how are you gonna inform? Mm -hmm. You're you're upstairs. You're not downstairs. You can't inform them right now. Dracula, thinking about the food oh, in the other party room, see, will go down the stairs <laughs> and tell them that there's food up here. You see what appears to be a bathroom, kind of. This is where everyone takes a bath. All right. I'll keep that in mind. I'll write that down in my journal, too. And this is just storage, I assume? Yeah, this is just storage. You can search through the storage if you want to. But... Uh, surprisingly, player isn't the kind of person to just uh, loot around closed containers. <laughs> Only open containers. Uh, but yeah, uh, he is... Shaklud, have you informed the others downstairs that there is in fact food and a bath up here if they wish? Why the fuck would I do that? Understandable. I <laughs> shall go downstairs and inform them then. That's better. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, quick question: Are we allowed to loot anything from here, uh, or will we get in trouble? You, 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 uh, that's up, that, you know, give me an intelligence check. You wanna, you wanna loot a god? <laughs> give me an intelligence. He check. has more. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, these gods may be useless, but they, they uh, still are gods. Uh, you, 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 you have no idea if you're getting in trouble or not, but you're, you're kind of tempted to just eat. I'm going to blame it on the sin of gluttony. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I go downstairs to oh, Sanros. Sanros, uh, I'm not sure if you noticed, but upstairs there is a bath and food if you wish to feed your goblin friends and other non-goblin friends and possibly oh. the robots that may or may not consume food sure i'll try and cook all right and with that he's just oh. gonna go back upstairs now that These he's told one person up. anyways nice he's gonna and burn the food gonna end the well. right, don't you burn the food up again and you, you reach the third floor yeah. oh cool mm -hmm. Uh, this one, this she's sleeping in the corner right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Shaklu, I found the wizard of this tower, or 
another random woman who is also a random receptionist for the Wizard of the Tower. Uh, it could go either way. He says, Hello, mortals. Um, my dad's why you're in my tower. Ah, we're looking for a powerful spellcaster who is said to reside in this tower. We need them for assistance in taking out these void creatures, which have somehow, over the course of one to two months, annihilated and also eviscerated half of the planets. Yeah, I mean, I I definitely noticed them. Uh, t why, ah. why are you um, narrating your entire life? Because he loves to do it to piss and if people I were to off. narrate my entire life, I would be sounding much differently. Oh, well, please stop narrating your entire life. I have yet to explain a single thing about my life aside from my name. All right. Well, um... wait. Ashaka, yeah, actually, listen the only thing I've actually explained people. about my life is my name. <laughs> 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 Shaklan listens intently, well, <laughs> intently to everything that Player Four Five Nine is under is explaining. Um, Shaklud, uh, I think you're embarrassing us in front of the wizard. Well, and possibly Shaklud Goddess. Does she not called not us mortal. Well, Shaklud does not give it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she she says, "All right, um, I can help you guys." I'll give you the information of a legendary sword. If you can pick it up, well, that's good on you. Exactly, uh, well, thank you. Actually, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure I should inform this to the sins downstairs, but I was more wondering if you would wish to accompany us in the form of a Pokemon. You would only be staying with us for a solid 24 hours after we leave, because I have yet to accomplish enough magical power to sustain Control of. You're a god, aren't you? No, I'm not going to. Get... I do not feel like being put inside of a ball, a red and white ball, for the entirety of my life. Thank you. Ah, Both but don't worry. It would only be for 24 hours because I cannot control them for longer than that. Because then they leave. Player 459, do you have a blue and white ball? That is the color of my orb that I use to cast spells from. What about a yellow and white ball? Ah, I have a what yellow and I have a yellow and white orb in my character portrait, <laughs> which I can change color via the prestidigitation spell. What about master ball? Ah, that is a legendary magic item that I have yet to find, but I know where I could find one. However, I've yet to go and collect it because it is a legendary item well, and the DM are, 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 would not let me pick one. Are you talking in like a, like a cup or something? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like his voice just kept getting more and more. <laughs> this is what my voice sounds like. It's like you're, it's like you're talking through one of the freaking... <laughs> freaking uh, 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 Paper towel. A Pringles can. <laughs> a Pringles can. <laughs> a Pringles can. <laughs> uh, I have only been told that twice by my <laughs> colleagues. <laughs> well, anyways, the, the god says, unfortunately, I can't, I can't, um, uh, go with you because, well, I can't go with you, but my useless little student there can go with you. You can take them. Ah, don't put would them they mind if I were to cast planar binding on them for 24 hours of constant servitude, which I would exclusively use to make them fight monsters? <laughs> Gotta add that in for well, certain reasons. Um, Player 459, stop no. trying to accept the god that's probably more upset than she already should be. Shut the fuck up. Damn it. No, I was referring to that thing. And he's going to point please, over please to not, Nia. Please do not bind my student. Ah, so they would go way. willingly with us. Well, I will have to force them to, but yes. Oh, so you will be the one turning them into a Pokeball. No, she'll be leaving, a, leaving this tower of her own accord. But did you not just say that you would be forcing them to come with us? Yes. 
because she is lazy and I'm trying to get her to stop being lazy. Ah, that is reasonable. That would be only the second person that has willingly come with me because I am annoying and my voice makes people want to harm me. <laughs> well, who could have told you that? You have, Shaklud. That is why you are my only friend. Aside from the countless monsters I have enslaved. Bold of you to assume I'm your friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're not friend. <laughs> oh, God. You're gonna kill me, dude. I swear to God. <sighs> Uh, I only get two sessions with this character, so I might as well make the most of them. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, that's a no. Actually, make me a religion check to see if you know who this god is. Uh let's check. Mm -hmm. uh, do I know anything about religion? <laughs> no, I'm a fucking idiot. That is. Can a I get a religion check? Yeah, you can do it as well. Uh, that is a 20. I know that she's a god. Okay, so I got a 20 and a 9. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Is your character in the campaign link, Alexander? Fuck. Hold on. God Where's the campaign? It. God damn it, Alexander. Now I have to redo your role. I added... I added all the other random people from the maze and forgot about my own fucking character. <laughs> Sounds like something you do. Alright, where is it? Um Man, you got a twenty. Man. You do know you do know that this is the goddess of light and magic. Uh Etna. Ah. Alright. Ah, you are a goddess. However, because I am a nice person, albeit slightly insane and possibly more or less an asshole. Oh, yeah. Do and, not wonder and, how those two things contradict each other. And she's the goddess she's the goddess of knowledge, light, and magic. I forgot the the knowledge part. Oh, okay. Well I'm sh man, six five, six domains. Uh three domains. Oh. He just repeated them. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. How the fuck do I add someone to a? How do I add you? Yeah, maybe maybe remove the them, remove them from whatever campaign they're currently in. Well, they're not in a campaign at all. Oh well, then just click on the click on the campaign link, and it should be able to add them like that. Oh no! Uh, oh, uh, I clicked on the campaign. Yeah, highlight them. I clicked on the campaign. Blah, 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 blah. I can't like blah, blah, blah. I clicked on the campaign itself, so it just showed me all of the people oh, that were no, in the no, campaign. No. Go God damn campaign it, I can't... Away. The fucking Discord update decided it likes being stupid, so uh, I can't click on links anymore. So I have to copy and paste them into my search bar. I can just uh, copy and paste them. There we go. Alright, now you guys can take a look at my character. Man, I'm not, I'm not pulling any of those other problem player things. Every single player we've had that's had an issue is... They're level 20? What the fuck? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Alright. <laughs> cool. Alright. I, 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 right. yeah, cool, guys. Um, hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we just all hide behind hey, level hey, 20. Uh, by the way, uh, Dova, I think you made a slight error. Uh, player is level 12. No, yeah, no, Royal told me to make him level he's 12. About my thing. No, uh, Royal told me to make uh, 459 level 12. I said you can. Said, you don't have to, but you know. Well, what? the character's what? already made, Royal. <laughs> he's level 12. What the fuck? Hold up. Yeah, he's level 12. Hey. Then again, then again, Moxie, Moxie, he's still got like 88, or like, he's still got like fucking well, yeah, 70. He's a, he's a, he's a fucking wizard. What do you expect? Her armor class is trash. Her armor class is <laughs> He's oh, a yeah. wizard. Let me, let me go look at this. Bruh, bruh, Nia is a spell, a full spellcaster. She's not going to have god level armor class. <laughs> 
I mean, I'm a full spellcaster, and I have 18 armor class, so... I'm a full spellcaster, and I have 20 AC. Bullshit. And then even mage armor is still 13, because she her dex. I didn't make her, like, a good character shoot, because I don't know how to make spellcasters. Um, but yeah. Well, damn, man. How the hell do I have an armor class of 18, now that I think about it? What? Oh, yeah, and I, I didn't even... oh it's my staff of power. <laughs> I okay, only gave mind. her one fucking magical item. That's, that's it. <laughs> I only gave her one magical yeah, like, item. You got a goddamn staff. All right. So, player 459, uh, after hearing that Nia is being sent with us or whatever, uh, because Atuna is forcing them to stop being lazy, which probably won't work, um, uh, he will... Like... Nia, get your lazy ass up and go. She's like, No, Atuna, you could say please. She said, Fine. Uh, Nia says, Fine. And then she starts floating on her pillow and then following you guys. It's good to meet you, Nia. I hope my voice won't cause you constant agony. No, your voice is fine. It's only his voice I don't like. You play and look over at back, dude. Yep. All right, player four five nine is gonna go downstairs uh, multiple times to Actually, head down to the. Before, before you go downstairs, she says, "Can you guys, you guys can just drag my pillow, and I'll follow." <laughs> All right. Just yawns and heads back to sleep. <laughs> and her pillow. Player four five nine will. Covering. Um, I will. I would like to hit her with my staff just to get her up. <laughs> uh, Shaklud, I would advise against that, as they seem to be very powerful. I do not know why they seem that way, as they are a fucking cat that is asleep most of the time. But they casually casted a spell at us while barely conscious. I believe smacking her in the head with a stick might possibly anger her. Fine, I'd like to poke her until she tells me to stop. <laughs> All right, that's better. And with that, uh, you're, you're four, gonna, five, you're, nine. You're, you, you just you poke her for a long ass time, and she just she doesn't move. Player four five nine is gonna grab her pillow and drag her downstairs to meet up with the rest of the party, who uh, possibly is definitely delighted to see us three again. Uh, uh, is still asleep. Uh, attach her to your. Down, 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 down. Okay, here, here, here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just here. I'll throw you over here. There you go. Yeah, thank you. Uh, uh attach four five nine. Uh, what the fuck? I'm about to whip someone's ass, dude. I swear to God. Someone's about to get it. Someone's gonna get it. Anyways, yeah, you guys go. You go downstairs, you see a bunch of books, and then yeah, she's like, you guys want to search for these books? Some of these books are magical. Oh, god damn it. I do something, but I can believe Oh, yeah, yeah. So Nia kind of wakes up. And tells you guys, you guys should look around the, the library. There's a lot of good books here. Some of them are magical. Ah, I will add them to my spell book if they are conjuration spells. All right, and with that, I'm going to go over to the rest of the party. And I'm going to be like, hello, person whose name I've yet to know. Wait, you did tell me your name. You're Lilith, are you not? Uh, Lilith, you here? Are you around here, you jump? Yes. God on, damn it. Come on, jump cut. Lilith, we would love for you to fucking talk. Thank you. <laughs> my, my mic is being dumb. Alright, we can hear That's reasonable. Right. Thank God. Yeah. yeah. Player 4459. God damn it. Can you Did you just stumble name? over numbers? Can, can you please change your name, dude? God damn it. Just call yourself Player. 
Why, why, the, why the numbers? Why? <laughs> four, five, nine, Royal. Say four, five, nine. I can say, well, actually, I can say uh, the Royal, numbers, Royal Solution. Say royal Solution, just don't read out the letters. You don't have to. <laughs> Oh, Don't yeah. read out the oh, letter. I'm just gonna call you player then. <laughs> yeah, right. that works. Yeah, player. Yeah, a player is saying that that they they in fact do know your name because they don't know your name. I don't know. Ah, you mm. you are Lulith, correct? Yes, Lulith Raven Dust. And this is my little bitch for the next few days, as you kind of shakes back. Ah, why are you saying that to a ferret? No, I'm no. She's talking about Moxie. Oh, that makes much more sense. As bitches tend to refer to female dogs and not genderless ferrets. Ferrets are gender. Have a gender? What are you talking about? I can't tell we what can't gender tell. it is from this picture. <laughs> <laughs> Moxie the second is a male. It's a male ferret. Oh, okay. Call, call the ferret Moxie the second. That's cute. That's been that's been his name. Yeah. 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 It was and actually really... always Moxie the second. It was just absolute coincidence she met someone whose name was also Moxie. <laughs> <laughs> Moxie is ignoring you, by the way. He's still sleeping. Well, he decided he decided. Go right ahead. Yeah, basically, when I was in a similar situation, he pampered me like a child, so now I'm pampering him like a child. Ah, you two must love each other very much, then. Honestly, I'm pretty sure he hates me, but... Eh. Ah, a love-hate relationship. A slow burn, if you will. Love enemies to lovers. I would love it if you two shut the fuck up. <laughs> Is awesome. he incapable of moving right now? Basically. Mm. Well, from what I understand, you also hate these void creatures. Yeah, not very fond. Wonderful. We've just been informed by the keeper of this tower, who happens to be a god. I, you, you already knew this. I can tell from your lack of shocked response. But they sent this cat girl with us as a form of aid because the god was fed up with how lazy they are. You can tell based on how they still are sleeping. Lucky. You sleep with somebody. Oh, shut the f <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It seems your friend there is very heavily injured. Almost as if part of his soul was ripped out of his body. You wouldn't know that. <laughs> I'm just going to been... cover Moxie's ears so he can't hear us as budge. <laughs> he just, he just Moxie's cover, getting cover delirious. The ears on the top of their head. <laughs> Why does he have two pairs of ears now that I think about it? Look at his character. Apparently. Wait, what? Don't don't worry about why. You know? <laughs> oh my shit, he's totally right. <laughs> Guys, he does have two pairs of me. All right, all right, all right. Let's pret I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see that. And okay. Yeah, yeah I cover his ear. <laughs> all right. Which ears? The yeah, top yeah, ones or the bottom? You, you cover the bottom. They said ears, ears but plural, but they... which means all four. All <laughs> oh, four ears. <laughs> I I don't know which ones they cover, so I'm just gonna cover all of them. Here's what you, you do. You do you try to and then you strap start... the two ears and then you cover the other two. That, that's so <laughs> You're covering his ears with his ears. It's, that's so weird on how, like... Oh his my... ears start flicking in your hands and trying to shake you off. Fuck. Uh, around this point, Zenrith will come down the stairs. Oh, yeah, by the way. Zen... Up, actually, Zen... Zen... What, was, what was he doing up here? He was cooking. He was cooking? No. Oh, was in fact cooking. Give, give me a survival or support or performance check. See how good your food is. Wait, You're good at survival. Uh, yeah. 26. Alright. Yeah, you got, you got... Are, are you cooking for the, the entire party or just yourself? The entire party. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, your your food's excellent. I'm Gordon Ramsay out here. Uh, okay, I'll come down the stairs. 
With Does anybody only... smell food? <laughs> Since I d like, are, actually, are there any? Um, oh actually, yeah, there's another right question. There. How are you gonna carry it all? Both he just bring it in like he just all. bring it in sections. He's not to bring it all in one run. That's not the kind of person I am. I'll bring it all at once. <laughs> all right, oh uh, give me a. Uh, what should that be? Dexterity check. Maybe? Ac acrobatics. Yeah, give me an acrobatics check. You don't <laughs> have balance. On He's gonna destroy all of his hard work. No, no, no advantage balance. on this one. To, oh, to yeah. balance all the plates and stuff. He's trying... That is that is a survival check, Xanax. No, 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 no. Not, and then psionic. Twenty-one. Okay, so yeah, you you just. You put all of the plates around, just lined around your arm, put one plate on your head, and then balancing one on your foot and somehow not falling. And now you're just hopping to the <laughs> down to the I have skills. <laughs> he has a very <laughs> odd selection of skills. Yep, now, now you're just I hear the sound of someone skills. hopping no, repeatedly right, right down right, the right, stairs. Right. You would have came from right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh... Oh, oh yes, I feel it too. I hope to bring him food. I'm hungry as hell. Damn it, How the fuck did you get here. all that down here? Because I have a very specific set of skills. Uh, and the I skin guess of gluttony just... brought down all of the food in one go. I must write this <laughs> down. Yes, well, we he all does have, have this a... power. As, as soon as like Zeros comes into view, all the goblins storm him and just start grabbing plates and stuff from him. Yep. <laughs> even, even even Granny Gobs is like, "Give me that plate, Sonny." <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna Violet, hand out Violet, all the food. Violet's just like. But it comes in with the fucking robot and grabs two plates full of with the robot. Damn it, uh, Violet! Xander, or... I see you are being jumped by a horde of goblins. Is okay. this a common occurrence in the party? Not normally, unless you're Moxie. Mm. Moxie, his ears are over there still flicking. <laughs> <laughs> Let go of my ears, damn it! Not all the goblins. I go over to here and send their like little 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 group 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 pile. It, is to... Willis still trying to hold Moxie's ears? I made a roast chicken with good. I guess garnish. I'll stop at this point because yeah. food. <laughs> now then, uh, who here is the leader of your party? Well, we did have some guy. We we did have a guy, but he's kind of gone. Ah, who was he? Well, he was actually a flat ear, such as yourself, but yeah, pretty cool guy. Very well. Then I think, as Shackled of the Yoda tribe, I think I should be the leader. No, Mark sits up and says, "Shut the fuck up," and lays back down. <laughs> All right, then. Who here is the de facto leader while this other flat ear of yours is gone? Uh, I I think it would it would be po probably either Moxie or Zan Rose. It's not me. Uh, by the way, you hear the sound of high heels coming down the stairs. Oh, oh, really? I am alarmed now. <laughs> That sounds like my professor who would tell me I was a failure for learning fireball <laughs> instead of lightning bolt. <laughs> oh, no wonder she thought she was a failure. Fireball is awesome. Why would you want to learn lightning bolt or fireball? Come on. Yeah, All of the dungeons were straight lines. Ethan grabs a, a book and starts reading it. She sits on a, on a crate and starts reading it. Well, you know what that means? I, I kind of tap on Moxie, and like, I kind of softly say, Hey, hey, Mo Moxie? Moxie? You tap on Moxie, and Moxie grabs you. <laughs> can he even move? Do you he, have he four can, levels of exhaustion? Yeah? He can move. He has four levels of exhaustion, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I just did an athletic check to grab you. Go ahead, you can get <laughs> Hey, Moxie? You want... Wait, I got news for you. 
<laughs> what? You're the leader now. You're our leader. Arthur is gone and Zenros doesn't want to be the leader. That means that you're next in line. This must be a dream. I'm going back to sleep. If no, you no, no. It. no. By the way, um, uh, Nia, Nia looks visibly, visibly disturbed by something, but he doesn't know what. You all right? It appears that Nia is having a nightmare, kinda, or they woke up. She, I can't tell because they're constantly behind me. She, she kind of she wakes up and says, "Uh, you guys smell terrible." That is called food, Nia. No, <laughs> the food smells awesome, but you guys smell like blood and guts. Like you've been fighting for a long time. Yeah, we've never taken a shower. I don't know about these new these two, but yeah, we have we have we have not taken a shower. Oh, did Zanros yeah, not inform yeah. you? There are baths upstairs for you to wash yourselves off. Yeah. I spotted exactly three tubs of water, meaning three of you could bathe at a time, preferably of the same gender, as it would be weird to bathe mixed. That water's not gonna be clear anymore. Nia says, why, why do you keep on talking like that? Please talk like a normal person. I have oh. autism. <laughs> Moxie's gonna sit up and feel like Red. Please, bring me a plate. <laughs> uh, Red, Red goes over to Moxie and starts to feed Moxie. Damn it, I was gonna do that. Damn it. He stole my whole vibe. <laughs> Dang it. Damn it. I didn't get Grab the paint out of my hand. Athletics versus athletics. <laughs> I mean, you need to to take the play from Red. Red, Red looks at you like, do you really want to try that? Right in front of Moxie, too. It'll be funny. It'll be funny. Give me a persuasion check. Yeah, you have to try to persuade. Which you're really good at, so if you fail this, I'm surprised. 17. Okay, yeah, she gives you the, the food, right. and then she heads back to her goblin friend. Moxie, I have food for you. Damn it, Red. <laughs> <laughs> Could you do this to me? <laughs> Moxie. I almost made a soup to make sure that would happen. Moxie, <laughs> I see that you are the current de facto leader of this party. Although I probably should have assumed so, as you have control of five different goblins and a massive mech. What? I mean, I do have massive picks. Why are you looking at my picks? <laughs> I was referring to the mech as in robot. However, I will admit, you do have very nice pecs. Why the fuck are you looking at his pecs right now? I mean, I mean, thank you, you know, like... And he just lit a little look. Like, okay. He appreciates it. I was wondering if you would allow us to join your party for a while. So that we can work together to take out these void monsters. We bring to the party a conjuration wizard as myself, Shacklude of the Yoda tribe as himself, and also this cat girl that was forced to come with us by the goddess who is reading a book over there. First, okay. we probably all get cleaned up. So uh, you didn't actually bring her then. The god, the goddess brought the cat girl. So you bring yourself and the goblin. What's the goblin do? Greetings. Give me My a name second is as I look the at the campaign. Goblin, state your uses or be gone. Be gone. Uh, I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, What's your class for what can you do? Talking to King. Huh? What's your class for what can you do, King? We're asking what is my class? What, what, what can you do? What, what like, in you character, do? we're asking what can you do? I am a warlock, and I am a fathomless warlock, and an arctic land druid. Now explain that in character, though. <laughs> <laughs> was in character? 
I guess I can manipulate the weather and summon tentacles from the ground. Oh, oh my god. It... He's hit that home. <laughs> no wonder they kept talking about harems. Don't worry. We use our tentacles for domestic terrorism and not sexual assault. You better keep your tentacles away from my goblins. I'm telling you. Oh, so you're totally on the table, but not them. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What was that, Lilith? Nothing. <laughs> so, uh, Moxie, guys. what what is your answer to our inquiry? Ah, uh, sure, sure. You can join us. Excellent. As a show of faith, I shall clean your clothing. You will still have to bathe yourself because prestidigitation does not work on flesh. Unless the flesh is gone, and then I can. Oh, my flesh is not gone. It is still here. <laughs> no chance. Correct, which means I cannot with... clean it. And I will not be removing your flesh because I, I'm i not a murderer yet. Um, <laughs> You that makes no sense, because wouldn't you be harming them if they don't have flesh? You can't cause harm with prestidigitation. No, no, I'm simply cleaning his outfit with it. But I cannot clean his flesh, because his flesh is not an object, as it is still attached to his body. So, wouldn't I the mean... smart thing to do is to wait until I clean my flesh, and then clean the outfit? Mmm... Or clean the outfit while you are all also cleaning your flesh. But I do not wish to see you naked right now, as we have just met. Yes, I agree. Lilith, would you wish yeah. to go bathe Moxie as you appear to be acting as his mom and or very nurturing girlfriend? Certainly not my mom. So, that's weird. That that leaves the other option then. Oh, so that means I'm your girlfriend. Okay, I'll leave you that. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go clean this idiot. You know. All right. As I have a strength. Uh, oh, sorry, I need to do the voice. As I have a strength of uh, <laughs> low, I will not be able to assist you in dragging the massive. I'll be fine. Man. I'll be fine. The... I assume oh, so. Okay. Yeah, Nia, you have Nia, massive Nia, muscle. Nia weighs like nothing. Yeah, you, you said it's just a pillow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're gonna try to carry my thing. Actually, give, yes. me, give me an arcana check on the pillow. Alright. I'm actually good at those. Just kidding. I lied to you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah, so the. You can you can tell that the pillow is higher than a rare item. All right, so, that so leads very to rare. It's a very, very rare, rare pillow, legendary or an artifact. Uh, I'll. G so, so we're bathing in groups. I guess I'll head up. <laughs> Oh, that, that you, you're not acting like a third wheel there. <laughs> you said all oh, fine. I'll stay down here. I'll stay dirty. That's it. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, you can bathe with the gob. Actually, you could send Red up with you so that three of you are bathing. Yeah, Red can go up there. Okay. Can yeah. you fit two I'm goblins good. in one of the bathing things? Yeah, I can fit I'm gonna proceed goblins. to a bathe idiot. So as, we'll as say I red, 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 red dress along violet. So, and they fit. Okay. You're gonna bathe me. Moxie will pull you and dunk you into the water. You fucking bitch! <laughs> well, you need to clean yourself too. Now my fucking clothes are all wet. Man, if only if only you had some kind of spellcaster that uh that excelled in cleaning clothing. Yeah, uh, red fucking red and dick. violet are are playing in the bath, like splashing water against each other and stuff like that. I'm so like playing in the bath, huh? <laughs> Whoa! Hey, hey, 
Uh, you have a... <laughs> They're just kids, Roy. You, They're you, related. You, you I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna destroy this gonna entire destroy world. world. That's okay. I'm not really in it. It's just, hey, none of y'all are allowed to think that way about my cup. I mean, technically, that's that's not right. Also, okay. also, I'll say that before I go up, I I leave uh, Moxie the second with Xanaros. <laughs> okay. So Xanaros, the time being, you now have a weasel. It's not a I'm weasel. just putting them on it's my it's shoulder. It's a ferret, you bastard. Ferret, a ferret. So Xanaros. What is your specialty? I noticed you are holding what appeared to be knives that were invisible. I use psy psychic way, energy to put... can literally what? clean themselves, so Lilith does not have to clean them. Shh, shut up! He's allowing it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, but, um... My specialty is being very stealthy and stealing things. Ah, so you're a criminal. A little I bit. He's just casually just as he's sniffing his drink, like I steal things. That's when I grab a this couple more known. books and then she teleports back up to the the highest floor, the fifth floor. Hmm. So, Zanros, as a criminal, would you like to look for these magic books in this room with me? Holy shit, the uh, map oh. is fun. <laughs> <laughs> can't you, aren't you magical? Can't you just, like, detect magic and see all the books that are magical? Give me a I'll second. I work. was not focusing on that specific <laughs> class. I only learned conjuration spells. <laughs> I mean, but that's a part of every wit. What the fuck, man? I learned a total of like five non conjuration spells, and that was just because I was not allowed to move ahead in my classes until I learned them. All right. Well, then uh, I guess if you're going to cast Detect Magic. Uh, I don't have that spell. Oh, he doesn't oh, have it! Okay. He's, okay, yeah. he's okay, a now, lame wizard. Now I know the argument. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so since he can't do it, Granny Gobbs will detect oh. it. I can point out the box because uh, she Granny can do Granny Gobbs it. walks up, uh, thinks about casting detect magic, and then goes back to eating. God I'll damn it, I forgot they're eating. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she would. She, she'd be too busy, like, sipping on some coffee or something. <laughs> yeah, but you see, uh, Granny Gob thinks about casting Fireball on the entire room, and then decides not to. Nah, she, she's getting annoyed with the voice, and she, but she's like, eh, too tired. Don't worry. I'm very good at looking for things. I had to be, as I did not pay attention in any other classes except for Conjuration. Alright, give me, uh, Investigation, then. Alright. Well, Holy shit, this is terrible. When... I got an 18. An 18, okay. I will also <laughs> investigate with the... Go ahead. Well, no. You would not get advantage on this one. What? I have ex. Okay. It's that still good. a twenty-eight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me look at. You guys find grimoires. Of. You guys find grimoires of plus two. All, All right. Grimoires. Which ones? What's a grimoire? An arcane grimoire? It, it's it's, just it's a, a book. Little thing. It, it gives you a plus two to your spell save DC yeah. and your spell attack. If you're a wizard, it does. But... If you're a wizard, yeah. It's a wizard. So, yeah, you can pass one of those on to Granny Gobs. <laughs> yeah, I'll just you... hand the one I found over to her. All right. This is literally worse than what I am holding. <laughs> In All right, every, 
<laughs> Just make sure you add the plus two Grimoire to Granny Gobs. Since you have her sheet. Yep, since you have her sheet, Alexander, add it, add it the plus two Grimoire to Granny Gobs. Alright. God, I have to open up so many tabs right now. <laughs> well, you took the sheet. I That's have I was... so many goblins. Yo, I, I was yeah, leaving all, it. All, all you have to do is open up Granny Gobs goblin sheet. You don't have to open up any Which... Uh, let's see, which of my four goblins do I have right now? I mean, I can take Granny Gobs if it's too much for Oh, they're not even in my character. Oh, wait, no, they are. Here they are. They just don't have a picture. Yeah, they don't have the face. Oh, I completely forgot to get a fucking thing. Huh? Yeah, Granny Gobs does not have her picture yet. Yeah, let me, let me add that onto her. She has to put her face on. <laughs> yeah, let me put on, let me uh, reattach Granny Gob's face because I forgot to give it to them real quick. Well, she didn't get to... She's still wearing, you know, her robe and, and, and the morning face mask. Yeah, and also uh, <laughs> Royal Snap Surfer that makes Granny Gob slightly younger so they actually have hit points. I mean, yeah, she's, she's not that old. Go on. She's granny, but you know, she's not that old. She's... So, could Royal have taken the hundred oh, years man. that Lula spent in Hell away? Well, never mind, it wasn't a physical thing. It wasn't a physical um, thing. Yes. It was a physical thing for Lula. For yeah, her? It, it was, yeah. It hurt a lot. For Moxie, it was um, more of a mental thing. Although, there are physical scars on him from six months to Yeah. There was only the plus two uh, arcane grimoires in here. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. Well, that you guys found. You guys ended up finding. With a twenty-eight, that's all we found. Oh, twenty. Oh yeah. I forgot. I forgot when you guys got a twenty-eight. Um. Hold up. Let me finish getting Granny Gab her goddamn face back. King is apparently so showing us it. Facebook things. Guys, Constant guys, splashing also, going on upstairs. You guys also find a uh, another grimoire of the legendary variety. Uh, grimoire of the legendary variety. Uh, what is that? I'm, 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 I'm looking for it. There we go. I just added Granny Granny Gob her face again. There we go. All right. The, uh, the legendary because arcane grimoire only goes up to a plus three. Yeah, the, there's no legendary well, grimoires for It's not an arcane grimoire. You guys find a grimoire infinitus. In, in, infinitus? Uh, awakened. A what? Oh, oh, I know what that is. <laughs> grimoire infinitus awakened. What the f- What is yeah, that? You're, you're gonna have to search that out and add it to her. <laughs> is that a homebrew thing? No, it's not homebrew. No. No, that's an that's an that's an that's an just it's just an actual... type in type in Grim and then you'll find it. It's it's not in here. It's not in the campaign. I'm looking at it right now. I don't see it as either. Let me let me turn homebrew on. Let's see if I can find it then. Am I... Is it... it shouldn't be homebrew. Yeah, there should be an actual that's an actual spell, but like oh. official item. Yeah. Oh, I my homebrew is already on. It's just not in here. Um, I see all the other grimoires. So hold up, did you type in arcane grimoire or just grimoire? I typed arcane in grim. Arcane grimoire show up. Yeah, yeah, I typed in grim, and that was all that showed up for me was the arcanes, and also <laughs> armor of gleaming. Maybe try with and gloom rock page or something. But I don't know. Oh, do you have any of the things lit up, like the armor, potions, ring, <laughs> any of those lit up? Let me let me see if there's like a grim arcane grimoire. No, not arcane. Don't put arcane in there. It's just grimoire. Yeah, it's just that's the only thing that's showing up. I'm typing in grimoire. It's just not showing up. I'm even trying to type in infinitus and it, nothing shows up. I get infernal tack though. All right, hold up. Let me let me add it to your thing. That that's that's the wrong thing. That's Arthur. It's not. It's not player. That's Arthur. Uh. Let me add it to your character sheet, because, actually no, Xanaros is the one that found it, whatever. Oh, uh, Xanaros. Well, I mean, it's, go it, it's going to Granny Gob, so. Uh, right. Here, let me, let me give it to Arthur, just so you can see it. Um. Okay. 
Oh, why is it not popping up on your thing? It doesn't exist. Uh, it doesn't pop up for for you, but it pops up for my, for a. Oh, oh! It's, I think it's because it's only um sorcerers. Sorcerers only have it. Yeah, um, it's a it? Yeah. Does it? It says. Does it say sorcerers only? Apparently. Because it'll. It should say required to attunement by if it's by someone specific specific class. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Oh, I no. even have proficiency. Wait, is off, it requires attunement by a wizard? But what? Why is it? Yeah, if it's a spell book, it would be. Why is it on my top. sorcerer character then? What the fuck? Hold up. <laughs> Your let me try looking it up like in beyond itself yeah, let me... grimoire infinitus top page magic item requires entombment by a wizard <sighs> exalted not the Do exalted I... one the awakened one most of the book is blank there you go. Uh, that's what you see. I put it in the Discord. Well, I find this and give it to the grandmother goblin. Grandmother. Granny gobs. Alright, let me put it on granny gobs. Let's see if I can put it on granny gobs here. What? Why does your goodness she look so fucking ugly, Alexander? There huh? you go. I fixed it. It doesn't look what? no did... longer looks ugly, Alexander. Did he mess up the, my character sheet? No 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 no. No player player's character sheet was in light mode, which is ugly. Oh. I was gonna say, like what you yeah, I, I did absolutely sheet? nothing to style him up because he exists for two sessions. For two sessions. Two sessions is a long time. <laughs> Well, when it comes to this game, it could be. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I added it to Granny Gab's good sheet. Well, Granny Gab can't attune to it yet, which it doesn't really matter. She can't attune she, to it. Is she too low a level or something? Yet. No, uh, she, it requires eight hours of attunement. So you have to sit down and read. Yeah. Read it. So, it was, as soon as you hand it to her, she just flips it over while well, she's still sipping on coffee and she was yeah. still eating. She, she just says, starts. She says, thank you. And she, she actually sounds younger now because Royal, I lowered her age. The grimoire that she touched made her younger. No, it's because Royal lowered her age. Um, but she is, she's still old as fuck for a goblin, but she's, she's um 30 years old. He doesn't have five hit points anymore. Yeah. Which is still incredibly old for goblins, considering yeah. them, most of them die before or shortly after maturity. Yeah. I mean, that just goes to show how strong she is, because she's still alive. Damn it, I should have made how, her level 20 if she's not strong. Whatever. <laughs> how intelligent is she? Realistically, she's just super lucky. She just hit the lottery with being attuned to magic. Because if she didn't have magic, she probably would have died a long fucking time ago. Because they would have just had her ass on the front lines. I mean, look, she she was the, she was the uh, she called her shaman. And by the way, player, I think your I think your character sheet's just cursed or something. Because you, I think I'm pretty sure you're the only one that cannot see Grimoire Infinitus Awaken. I can't see it either. You can't, yeah, you can't see it either. Yeah, Some, something's wrong with y'all's character sheets then. Something might be. Well, uh, you probably don't have a certain content unlocked or open. You have content uh -huh. sharing, though, don't you? No, I yeah. have content oh, sharing. Well, I mean, like, I mean, like sources. You don't have certain sources. Uh, Maybe you don't have it down. Well, I don't know. You might can't see it because also, uh, is it critical here. role content? I don't think so. It would have to be because you have critical role turned off, Xanaris. Um, probably. Uh, yeah. Let me let me turn on all sources yeah, and partner content. Yeah. Let's yeah. yeah. turn on all partner content. And also, you might want to well for Xanaris, you might want to unclick the uncheck the proficiency button. 
Oh, yeah, I see it now. You see it now? Yeah, now it's here. Okay. You guys just had to turn on all the content. Yeah, I didn't have all the content turned in already. Turn yeah, on. Now, I, now I have the, for some reason, now the Minecraft Enderman is something I can summon? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's one of the books. You can't you can summon yeah. that, but it'll, it wouldn't look all blocky and stuff. Oh, please yeah. let it look all blocky. No, it no, has no. to look all blocky. What are you no, talking about? it wouldn't look all blocky. It would look more terrifying. No, it's just, that's what, it's just the whole blocky. point of Minecraft is for it to be all blocky and stuff. Well, sorry to toot your own horn, anyways. <laughs> hey, why are you tooting my horn? What? Whoa. What are you doing to his horn? Hey, yo. Don't, don't, t don't touch my horn, man. You know, I'll touch whatever the hell I want, anyways. Whoa, man, don't touch me there. <laughs> hey, yeah. I don't know, square. Ah, I see. This must be a very powerful spellcaster. I looked away for five minutes, and they have in Grimoire Infinite, Infinite, and what the fuck is this say? <laughs> <laughs> Grimoire Infinitus, you stupid fuck! Dang. Ah, thank you, person from upstairs in a bathtub. Yeah, he's not upstairs in the back. No, he's not oh, wait. Back. I'm sorry, Yoda Tribe, who has been standing in the same spot for the past several minutes. <laughs> and I will happily not move from this spot as I am trying to get myself something to eat because I am hungry as shit. <laughs> Zanros is currently oh, balancing I food off of him. I already oh, no, handed you... out all the food. The food is already set out. Just go see. <laughs> oh, okay. Player is going to eat and he's going to try and feed Mia. You're going to try to what? He's, he's going to try and me. feed her. You're gonna he's going to feed try to me. Eat? You're going to try to eat her? You know what? Yes, Royals. <laughs> I'm going to eat the level 20 spellcaster. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I swear to God, that's what I heard, dude. Anyways, you're going to try to feed hey, her? Look. Why, why would you want to you might like that. You take that to a to a private room, okay? Not not <laughs> where everybody's eating, you know. Wow! It seems that the god is telling me to do strange things to a sleeping woman. I think the gods are insane. No, 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 no! I was just fucking with you. But anyways, you want, you're, you're trying. Oh, to, now you're. You're trying to feed feed Mia. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, she kind of just like yeah, she kind of just opens her mouth once you like touch the the or we'll say spoons exist. Fuck it, dude. Uh, <laughs> I want to hope the spoons exist. Dude. What year were you to get royal? <laughs> How prehistoric! Oh, I know. Is this yeah, back, back then spoons was made of wood, not metal. Okay, yeah. So they did they did exist. Okay, yeah. As soon as Jesus she puts the Christ, spoon man. against her mouth, then she opens her mouth and then eats it. Cool. You have to spoon feed her when she lays there. You have to spoon her what? I didn't say anything. Hey! hey we're the gods are telling me to do that. weird things to a sleeping woman again. Hey, consent. Okay, if she wants you to spoon her, then that's fine. But if she says no, no. You can't give consent. She's asleep. Well, she's giving consent for you to spoon feed her. <laughs> Anyway. Okay, anyway, let's continue for All right, listen. yeah, it's been around 30 minutes, so you got it done with your bath. Uh, Lilith took their bath because Moxie yelled at them and told them to take a bath. Hold you to assume a bath cannot take more than 30 minutes. Oh, God. <laughs> what the fuck you guys doing? We are at, no, 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 Ken, I don't think you understand. We've been traveling for months and have not bathed once. Oh, yeah. 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 And this is going to take some time to clean. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm going to say it takes around two hours for you guys to clean. Get clean. And that water is now black. It, 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 it's, it's black. It's murky. Oh, it's... God damn it. All right. Uh, four, five, nine. Are you guys coming downstairs and informing us that you somehow managed to turn clear water black? <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it's magic water, water royal. 
<laughs> it's well, magic actually, trail water. Actually, the moment, no, they get, the moment you guys get out of the water, the water starts cleaning itself. But it's going to take a while for the water to what, clean itself. What the fuck? It's a self cleaning tub. Moxie, <laughs> Moxie, to be fair, neither of us have bathed in a while. So is Wallace supposed to do that? I don't think it's supposed to. By the way, uh, the, the no. goblins, all the goblins, like, after, after they got out and put their clothes <laughs> back on, you see that their water actually looked uh, purple uh. and murky. What the fuck? Uh, it, it, it was a mixture of purple and red. <laughs> to be fair, Violet was in the water. Hello. Oh yeah, their I, hair is fucking color dye. I mean, or hair color. No, yeah. no, that's, I that's, mean, that's not that's not dye. Yes, it is. That's natural. Yeah. Right? That's all. That's, that's natural. natural. Oh no, that is natural oh, hair. Man. Yeah, Violet's hair is is natural. Red's hair is natural. <laughs> Red's hair, I can understand. Per uh, violets, I, I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey, it's natural. Okay, no, no. don't I'm think. I'm gonna be honest well, here. Well, I, think, I think blue and green hair. Here are the... Violet literally made her hair natural. So natural I think blue and green here are the most egregious examples of wacky hair color. <laughs> okay, she's an artist, so she can make her hair permanently purple and natural. So oh, yeah. it just grows like that. Yep. It's just yep. like that, man. Yeah. All right. The, Don't the question Violet. And she does. The goblins kind of run downstairs like their children. Uh... They don't, they don't face the walls. Hold on. But they're what now, Royal? <laughs> they run downstairs like like their children, and then they uh they go back to the the group. Go back to the the group. Uh huh. <laughs> oh yeah. Fun time scrubbing in the tub. Yeah. By the way, uh, Lewis is a female, and Moxie is, all, is a male, a full-on male. So, yes, we know these things, Royal. Uh, didn't, didn't you say uh, no mixed bathing? But okay. They're dating. It's different. <laughs> That's why I was trying to go. But no. <laughs> That's why I was trying to go. <laughs> no, we took the two goblins instead. <laughs> I just okay. assume the goblins are part of their strange polyamorous relationship. <laughs> For fuck's hey, sake. hey, you leave they Red by a long, okay? Whatever. Yeah, no, the, no, no. the goblins are like his adopted children. So that would be. Yeah, yeah. they kind of act like adopted children too, even though they're they're technically adults in goblinhood. Yep, yeah, but we don't talk about that part. Like mostly, we don't we don't talk about. Never, never ask Moxie um, uh, what his original purpose for the goblins were when he got them. <laughs> no. Hey, we don't ask about what was then, right? We worry about what's now. Okay. And... Yeah, we we don't talk about that part. We that that the the the, the plan has ch the plan changed. So he's a different man now. He's a different man now. Well, wait. First of all, Moxie never had any plans to do anything. Yes, you I'm did. You no the whole plan was to make a hero. No, that was y'all's plan for Moxie. That was actually. Hold up. As a matter of fact, I actually do think that. I think I did say that. I'm pretty sure that was. I'm pretty sure that, that was. That was that not. It have been me. It was. There was Moxie's thing was to make them independent. Be able to yeah, take yeah. You know, it is kind of coming back to me. I think that was my idea originally. I'm pretty sure that was why. <laughs> Your idea was to make a harem of goblin girls. Yeah, well, they thought they thought Moxie was gonna make a harem of goblin girls. Yeah, we <laughs> inferred that's what he was gonna do. <laughs> Just because Moxie became protective of them, so they thought like, oh, they're his harem now. <laughs> Moxie, not gonna lie, you know. I mean, I'll be honest, have, kind of disappointing. true, kind of true. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, <laughs> with plot reasons, because the goblins always sleep with him, he already tried once and found out that they're just too small. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Why are you throwing my goblin uh, into the wall? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hands. Jesus. No, All right. So I see that we're just going to be uh, going about the simple life of relaxation for the next couple days as the leader of the party uh, recuperates after having his soul casually snatched out of his body or something. You don't know that. You know that part. 
I have well, I mean, seen people with their souls snatched before, although usually in slightly different environments I mean, with you, you slightly you different see, people. Yeah, you you are probably more on the giving end of that. I, I stole people's souls. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I recognize this. I've done this before. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So you guys, you guys go back, go back to bed again because you know I'm sleeping. I guess. Uh, yeah. I'll actually take a bath once yeah. they're done. Yeah. I'm up there. Because yeah, so I know I'm dirty. And then who else goes to to the bath? Who who else goes to the bath? Uh, four, five, nine will take a bath. Yeah. All he needs to do is like cast prestidigitation on his clothes because they're no, just a little dusty. Ne Neo but... will not go with you because that's kind of weird. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Into the bathroom. You, if you, want. I'll just... you, you do not have consent for her yet. You have to. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not dragging her. Uh, I'm not dragging. Oh, oh, okay. We're sharing baths now. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and the, the, so the, the goblin, the human, and the the elf, the half elf, are all all taking baths. <laughs> <laughs> Moxie got babed. I got stuck with these two weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 Look, even Shaklu needs to clean himself every once in a while. Xanros, are you uncomfortable with the fact there are only men in here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will say that. It's not my you... preferred setup. I think Moxie's Moxie only comfortable to shower when he's in the company of women. I'm just, no, I'm just, that's what the statistics have proven so far. Don't worry, as I, as I just kind of raise uh, my hand out of the water with like the orb in it still for no explicable reason. Uh, as I just straight up cast a spell in the middle of the room and next to Moxie, uh, that will appear. The two Not mocked, I'm stupid. Xanros. Xanros. <laughs> what? what? Oh, oh, oh this, thing, this thing appears in the in the bath with you, Xanros. As you see a woman yes. appear in the bath with you. <laughs> Xanros will not fight this. And he will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you sure he shouldn't have the sin of lust at this point? Like, God. No, no complaints here. Uh, actually, is that, a, is that a demon or a fae, Alexander? That is a fae spirit. Uh, oh, yeah. A fuming fae spirit. So, because she's uh, fuming, uh, the bath is actually getting warmer for Xanros, so he's like in a hot tub with a woman yeah, now. And also, the, the fae spirit is kind of pissed off that she puts him in a bath with a, a, a weirdo. Don't worry. Uh, she's kind of used to this at this point. She's oh like, my god. She's like, oh, well, this is happening again. Yeah. Again? Well, that, mm, that does sound right. Don't worry. I do this with nobles all the time. That's how I get funding for my bizarre inventions. She kinda, None of them have ever worked. As she's uh, kind of leaning up against the wall of the bath, she, she looks at you, Xanaros, and says, So, how's your day been? <laughs> wow. deep ass voice just, just, just casual conversation. Like, hey. Is this a dude? Uh, I, I was no, woken up it, by it, that weirdo a, over listen, there. Bro, I can't, I can't make a female voice. Okay, stop making fun of me. Hey man, how's your day been? <laughs> 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 Uh, um, say he got he got woken up by that weird dude whispering in his ear, and then he cooked some stuff, and now he's in a bath with this person. All right, she, uh, she kind of she leans up to your ear and says, "I can listen up, I can I can whisper in your ear if you like." Cha ching. Uh, okay. <laughs> Did you say cha ching out loud? <laughs> His internal monologue says yes. <laughs> no, no, his internal monologue is 
That is awesome. <laughs> that is right there. Breaks the fourth wall and winks at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> the camera. camera zooms in super far in his face. Oh god. The camera accidentally hits you in the face. Ow! <laughs> it zooms in and hits you right now. And you push it back physically like, damn! Not again! <laughs> I'd be happy if you did. No, you, you played that after that time. <laughs> he has done the deed. He has done the deed. <laughs> He's leveled up. He's done it. Technically, guys, Zanros is two for, he, he, He's two for three. He's two for three right now. Um, she kind of... She whispers into your ear and says, Why don't I wash you? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I wash you? <laughs> <laughs> there is like more <laughs> splashing going on up there that we do not know what Zanros has that um, Zanros has that awkward emo riz. And, and then she, she becomes, to she, she starts washing every part of you. No further questions. No, no further questions. <laughs> Tell me if I'm being too job. rough right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I hope no children are watching this episode right now. <laughs> you know, if children are watching this, what are they doing with their lives? All right. You guys then see uh, the door open and uh, Itana comes in and looks at the the fake creature and says, ah, "Do you want to join?" This is not. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, look, he's oh, already. Oh, oh no 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 no! Let let him do a persuasion let roll. Him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. begins to smile and then walks closer to you. No fucking oh, no. way! And then no, this is this good. I don't trust this. She snaps her fingers and then uh, your thingy thing rolls up in a ball. What? Which? Oh, and then not she again. She, she swipes her hand and the fake creature goes back to the Feywild. No! And then, and then, and then she leaves the, the door. And she says, Is it still a ball? She says, listen you three, please try to, try to be respectful and try not to do anything weird. Man, I didn't, is it still I didn't a make ball? It, it is. I was like a over there. It is still a ball. I somehow bathed Moxie, and that was less. And that was less inappropriate than what you did. Yeah, she, she closes the door, and then she teleports back up to the fifth. Fix it. God damn! I'm glad we got our back. <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> You don't, you don't know where she teleported up to. <laughs> then it was just, it just it was, hurries, up, have, hurries up and looks around. Just walking out of the door, just walking out. Walks out of the door. I will search this whole building. Completely naked. <laughs> He's just walking to fix it. That's all you just hear. Fix it. Fix it. Please, please fix it. <laughs> He's just walking open each door. Fix it. <laughs> 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 Alright, anyways. As Enos is doing that, player in uh, 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 sh sh Shackle, uh, what do you guys do? Huh. Yeah, I just start casting Prestige Base my teacher back to the Feywild, which is mildly unfortunate for no reason, actually. I can summon her right back. It literally would not take me more than five seconds. But I will yeah. not, because then she will be annoyed with me. And then she'll, she'll, fix turn, the she'll, turn, and, and she'll turn your thingy thing into a ball of two. Don't worry. This is only the second time this has happened. <laughs> oh, the man, Yoda man. tribe doesn't exist, boy. You're living in a fantasy. We're he all made it up. The Yoda tribe doesn't exist. He just made it up to make himself feel cooler. He is the Yoda tribe, all one member of it. 
<laughs> he's a goblin, and that's what he calls the name of his tribe. He's a tribal one. All right, all right, all right, fine, fine. I'll I'll let you have the Yoda tribe then. That's all. Cause you know it was, it was just for you. You know. Anyways. Yeah. He, he's just the only one. The only caveat is like no one else can join your tribe. <laughs> you all... No, 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 no. no. Oh, other God. other people can join his tribe. You know, it's just if they want to join his tribe. <laughs> Hey, maybe maybe you could convince the other goblins because currently uh, Max, no. he's their <laughs> chieftain, but he, he's not really. It's really no, it's not like, no, that's a that's a uh, Moxie will put a kibosh on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it, hasn't happened. it hasn't happened yet, Khadid, so you can't say anything. <laughs> but anyway, it is, it's not happening. <laughs> so, uh, well, uh, play player in a uh, Skahald. Uh, your name's gonna be hard for me. Anyways, um, what do you guys do? Ah, we will have to find a way to explain to Lilith that the goddess of this tower turned Xanros' penis into a fucking Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Maybe she can solve it. <laughs> she, seems, she seems to be the only healer in the group. Shaklud, are you adept at unpretzeling cocks? Particularly, <laughs> no. I mean, I do have some healing spells, I guess, but nothing. How are you that. with? How are you with not? How are you with not? <laughs> Xander Rose is still going through every door. Fix me, please. He's still going. Fix me. <laughs> and the moment, the moment, the moment you you reach what door she's in, she immediately teleports you back into the showers. And I'll head right back there. Fix it. Uh, and she, she puts a force field in front of the, the stairs so you can't go up there anymore. <laughs> ah, it seems that she's put a force field there. Not hey, to hey, worry. You, you can, I you do can't not have anything. dispel magic. You can't You're see anything, fuck. boy. You're still in the showers. I can sense magic. <laughs> no, no, you it can't. It tastes like <laughs> fucking ash. <laughs> you said to teleport me back to the yeah. showers. You, you didn't get detect magic, so you can't sense anything. <laughs> it it turns mean, out it, spawning a force field is it, it. It's very noticeable. I mean, even if he could, the whole tower is magic. Like, yeah, yeah you just sense the entire just... tower. I meant the I meant the casting of a force field inside of the tower while no. we're just sitting here. <laughs> the the, the force she cast the force field. Uh, between the <sighs> between the doorway, so it was and that was only between the doorway. Oh, only on her doorway. Only on this doorway right here, so you can't go up the stairs. <laughs> oh yeah, we would notice that. No, you you guys were in the shower. <laughs> Wall of you're force. It. You're in. You're washing yeah. yourself. Yeah, you're washing yourself. You're you're on the other side of the fucking room. <laughs> Hold on, how did she cast Wall of Force? Now that I think about it, because doesn't she need to be able to see? Because she's a god. She's a freaking oh, okay. goddess. They did, they did fuck and, you, that's why. And this is DM fuck you. you know? uh, yeah. DM bullshit. I forgot, I, I forgot about DM bullshit. Yeah. You know? And, also, and, that means we literally fact, can't leave this room. And the fact that we we can. can't leave. I mean, you can. Yeah. Once you get it done, once you're, then once you're actually out. done washing. Yeah, and and the fact that she can see everything that goes on in this in this tower. So. Oh, oh, but Royal couldn't. No, Royal can. What are you talking about? Royal oh, can see everything everywhere. So. so he knew he knew about the Void King. He knew about the gods showing up and just chose to do nothing. Yeah, because yeah. he's a dick. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting Royal's a dick. Yeah, we gotta remember, the gods, most, like, 80-90% of the gods are not good people. They are, I, I, they, they, they are, they are omnipotent beings who could honestly not care less about anything but their own power. They don't care less, they're dicks! Ah, most I forget, the gods are assholes, and that is why the void monsters are running amok. Tell me, the deities also entrust you to taking out these monstrosities that can apparently kill gods. Who are you saying this to? <laughs> to Sanro. Uh, <laughs> While they're in the show. Yeah, they're yeah. actually being talked to. <laughs> Sanro is still looking like fix it. 
<laughs> Don't worry, I can cast a mage hand and attempt to unpretzel your dick. <laughs> you can try. His dick, <laughs> his dick is literally a ball. Literally a ball. There's, there's no like, there's no like shaves or anything. It's literally just a fucking ball. Hmm. That's yep. That's bad if you have to pee <laughs> right now. Ah, I understand now. The goddess of this tower is an asshole and is now. Oh shit! That's actually fatal. I'm sorry, Zanros. Uh, the god has cursed you to death. That that is, that is actually fatal. You're gonna die because you're not gonna be able to take a piss. You guys, you guys hear the goddess's voice in your head. Is it? Don't worry. Just finish your bath, and then I'll I'll unravel his dick. In my head, I think, is she gonna do it? Okay, and then I finish my bath. <laughs> you know, I, I still play. <laughs> Player gets dressed. You know, up. I'm so glad we got finished yeah, with ours so, before all that bullshit. Player, yeah, you, you can walk through the wall, of course, with no problems. Oh yeah, more DM stuff. Now that you're done. Well, I mean, no, Mox, it's just because we didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> hey, no. I mean, you, yeah, you guys wasn't planning on making a fool of yourselves inside the. I made they they did make a fool of themselves. Were you even listening, Royal? <laughs> I, guess, yeah, I made a fool out of Moxie. Yeah, and he did the same we'll thing. Say, he just the, casually the, pulled the same, in. the same thing happened to Moxie. His dick turned into a ball as well. <laughs> no, you you can't go back and retro. That's too late for me. You can't go back and <laughs> hey, say hey, that shit. You, 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 you guys didn't like role play yourselves in the bath like they did, so I can do it. So, so, so wait. 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 Are you, you, are you saying that Lilith got teleported? You're saying that Lilith also got teleported all the way back to the Elven lands? No. No, they didn't get teleported all the way back to the Elven lands. We did. You just weren't paying attention, Royal. That was your fault. Yeah, they uh, yeah. did the exact same thing that the fans. No, wait, I mean, not doing. really. He just fucking pulled me in to fuck with me, and then I finished giving him a bath. We didn't do anything bad. Bathing him the entire Neither time. Neither did I. You're bathing him. I didn't do anything nothing, bad. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. There's <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with two naked people that take. Actually, rubbing each other. Uh, 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 if anything were to happen, Moxie would have been the one to leave the bath. Because there were three girls inside of that bath. Mm. Moxie was not paying attention to the goblins. Yeah, the no, goblins, yeah. that's tunnel vision at that point. That, he, that's he's so he's even out of so sight. Out of okay, besides that, Moxie was, in, was dragged up there before the goblins ran up there and jumped in. The yeah. goblins actually got teleported. No. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, done. You're not going to try to Goblins are little beans. beans. Goblins are little beans. Anyway, so, so now that I've left the bath, does it turn oh. back now? <laughs> as soon as Xanaros, uh, you, you uh, go to the, the, the door. The, the goddess home speaks in your head. Are you going to play again in the bath? Not in your bath. <laughs> Good. And then she turns off the uh, force field. And his dick. Dick. Yeah, and, it's like, uh, and, and his dick. Yes, cool? yes, and his dick. <laughs> yes. It's like, it's like you like said the force field, but you missed out. Oh no, out no, the no, no. He tur She turns off his dick. Like <laughs> it takes it away. <laughs> She, she 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 makes you impudent. You can't nah, use it in I'm I'm just kidding. No, she just <clears throat> she unravels it. It's fine. <laughs> I want to make a comment, but I'm worried I'm gonna get in trouble again. <laughs> <laughs> He's working real hard. Yeah, we we got no idea this happened. This is only the three. Only the three of you know this. Yeah. Me like, and Roxy were well behaved. Yeah, King. King, what's your character doing? Huh? What, what's your character doing, King? They've been quiet. 
And nothing, just listen. Just listen. Yeah, they didn't want to say anything, or else the goddess was going to turn on him, too. <laughs> he, saw, he saw that, and he's like, anyway, anyway, let's, let's, okay, everyone's bathed, everyone's gotten cleaned up. Oh, man. Take, take, your, take another long rest. All yeah. right. I, I got all my spell slots back. I lost <laughs> nothing of value. I can get rid of one more level of exhaustion. All Moxie lost was his dignity. Yeah. And now, now you smell like herbal, herbal tea. Were we bathing Moxie. in her fucking tea? No, it just smells like herbs. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't Moxie, want you don't smell. You don't smell like complete shit for once. This is incredible. I could say ah. the same about you. Ah, well, no, it no I, longer I... smells like musty must anymore. By the way, uh, well, Vi- no, Violet definitely because... cleaned off her uh, her um, freaking robot. Yes, she did. Well, well, the difference is, Moxie, I have I I have taken a shower, but like before, at at some point in my life, I I don't think you've showered before, have you? Yes, yes, I have. I I know how to use water. Thank you. Yet oh, yeah, I was, yet I had to bathe you though. I, don't I know. never asked you. You dragged me upstairs. It's your choice. I do not wish to sure. alarm you, but I shall inform you all that I had cast prestidigitation on all of your clothes, so they are clean but, now. Because apparently laundry does not exist here. What's laundry? Exactly. Did you ask for a consent, player four or five nine? Mm-hmm. No, I did not. Mm. Oh, that's a thirteen. It just looks that's weird. Twenty five. Let's see. What do I find with the twenty three? Yeah. Because you're stupid, I don't know. <laughs> ah, I understand this book about demons. <laughs> because I use them as my slaves to fight in combat. They do not like to listen to me. Well, in, 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 yeah, she's t- I hand this book off to. Okay. Okay. Hold on, damn second one. Give you a sleight of hand. (laughs) Don't don't say it like that, okay? No, don't. Which, which tools? She has a lot of tools. Yeah, she has tinker tools. Oh, no, it's not a... No. Just it have a, add an additional, like, three or two or... Th- yeah, three or so to the uh, roll. It's a tool proficiency, isn't it? Yeah, I told you I packed her down with because she's got the proficiency. She got the Oh, yeah, that's how that's how tool proficiency works. You add your proficiency bonus on top of the check that you use. Yeah, but some people like to make a custom like ability just for the tool. So that's a plus six. So that's a 16 on that sleight of hand. Hmm. She's good with her hands. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I have to reload the page. Hmm. 
Man, tools just got nerfed, boys. Sad day. Don't they already have expertise? Uh, don't get the. They don't get that expertise thing until a higher level. What the hell did they use to make it? Is this a book cannon? Is it gonna fire pages? Don't don't ask questions, all right? She she gets the materials and again we don't ask questions because Violet has her way. Did did Violet just make a new god weapon? I mean she's gonna add that cannon to the to the mech bot. <laughs> That's gonna go on the Mac. I'll, I'll go do a gun. What type? What type of gun? We we talk oh, about. It, uh, okay, oh, does it have to be oh, purple? Oh, oh, oh yeah, she says purple. she's definitely holding on to that. Yeah. <laughs> plus two rifle. Can it be a plus two laser rifle? What type of rifle is it, Royal? Because there's like 14 different kinds. Okay. All right. We'll keep working on it, Violet. We'll get you that laser rifle soon. Uh, I gave that book to Granny Gob that I found. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, the void creature book. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, we we probably all need to look at the void book. Four five nine is gonna read about demons first. I'll find some snaggle red. Get a roll. So what's in the demon book, Royal? So, I oh, will okay. be summoning them. Does it tell me anything about true names? True names. True names. The true yeah, names true. of the demons. Okay. Uh, I don't think Red finds anything. Okay. And what's in the void? Oh. Cool. I don't know if that helps me with summoning them, though. Just cast all of your summoning spells until you finally find the right one. Oh, and... Does Gran, the old lady, find anything in the book? Granny Cops. I can't remember her name. <laughs> and that's why I gave it away. Um. Uh, can I wake up the Nia? I'm doing that then. Like shaking her shoulder or whatever. 
Like shake, like jostle her awake, I guess. Right. I counterspell it. Thanks. What and she I, do, burning hands? And since we're finding all this good stuff in this room, <laughs> the burning hands in there. Well, it's a good thing you got evasion. <laughs> <laughs> wait, do you wait? Do you have invasion? Oh, you sure? Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> like, I know you're doing a multi class. I don't know how your split is. Damn, that's a shame. I failed to counterspell it. She has lit this entire tower on fire. Uh, this is a freaking magical tower. <laughs> the the wood is the wood and paper is immune to fire. What is this? Yeah, I'm, that makes sense. This is, think about it. This is a god's tower. This is a this god's is a, magic this tower. This is a god's tower. And even then, I'm sure it still holds up pretty good. Well, apparently it got nuked by necrotic damage, so. I mean, the void creatures were able to bust the wall, so. Yeah, they just, yeah, they just like walked through necrotic that shit. Dark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, man, this this god tower is all it's cracked up to be. If a void creature can just casually walk through it, so, I mean, the void creature have been casually walking through everything. What's new? Honestly, yeah. All right, but for the rest <laughs> of this time, uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, Xanaro. Okay. Uh, uh, a dex 22. A yeah, dex? they're casting a ninth level spell at you. Uh, you're getting I, burning I hands. I can't get to 22. Oh, actually, you're... never mind. Yes, I can. Yeah, no, I read it. I, was, I did my math wrong. Dude, I'm like, Not 20. you're a rogue. <laughs> She sneezes her one ninth level spell away. Uh, I ask her if there's any weapon rooms in this tower. Yeah. Well, she might still have a weapon or so she might have collected. Yeah, you could take a, you could beat somebody with a staff. Beat them over here with it. No. What type of staff? I could use a staff of the Magi. Where's that? <laughs> well, I, I think you might be interested in the third one that she said. No, he's already what? got a staff of power. Then why did you sword? mention that as if it was an item we could take? Oh, I should also mention, they said that there was some kind of legendary sword. I like swords. Oh, sword? Work? Uh, the way they I'm made it sound as if it was either a Holy Avenger or a Vorpal sword trapped in a rock somewhere, but they did not specify what kind of sword it is, just that it was a legendary blade trapped in a rock that only someone worthy could draw. Moxie, if it's not a really big sword, I'm taking it. <laughs> I'd like to look for this sword. I mean, just... <laughs> oh, there's a comment I could make that I'm not going to. Make it. You should totally make it. <laughs> no. Yes. Nope. Leaving that one alone. Damn it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Where's the sword? I, I <laughs> muted myself for so long. Oh my god. I'm dumb. Anyways. Silence. Bitch. 
I right. thought uh, Royal just I'm couldn't talk. I'm back. All right, anyways. She says, <laughs> uh, do, you know, do you know that there's already talking about it? It's Excalibur, right? Excalibur. Yeah. And, I and want there's, it. A, there's also its counterpart that's kind of evil and you know, it's kind of it's kind of whatever. We didn't know about that one. We didn't. We didn't need to. We, we've evil, seen like... what magic weapons can do. As she kind of tugs on uh, one of Moxie's uh, fox ears, he says, "And we're not gonna let that happen again, are we?" Well, um, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell you the requirements that you need to meet first. You have to be you. good, good with martial weapons. Yeah. Are you good with martial weapons? Yeah. Yeah. Are you good at fighting no. and being yeah. being good, yeah. like those paladin guys? Well, actually, yes, I am. Uh, uh, that that might be a little bit of a problem. Yeah. I, really I just don't... dodged your burning hands attack. Yeah, and, and, define and, good. Well, define and, define and, good. And first, you have to be you have to be good. Yeah, also. Yeah. I mean, the, I'm good at lying, I mean, but I mean, good is very subjective. Like you can't really like. For, good for one person might not be good for another, you know? I think they're okay. simply talking about alignment. You know that weird cosmic force that changes how damage works on, like, one spell yeah, ever? Points at you and says, Stop breaking the fourth wall. It's not breaking oh, the fourth good. wall. It's an actual strain of thought and magic thing. There are spells out there that are determined by alignment. I, for one, am neutral. So, I think they're simply talking about the positive good that apparently no god ever is here. No, there, are, there, are, there are some gods that are good. I meet all of that criteria. I meet perhaps I meet... most of those criteria. Well, and also you have to be really good at following orders. I'm good. I think oh, all right, well, I'm out of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So hey, what I'm hearing is that the good. only person here who can use it is one of your five goblins. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm good at. Fo I mean, Moxie's pretty good at following orders. Hey, fun uh, actually, I don't get Funnily enough, none of the characters are lawful good. N none of the goblins are lawful good. <laughs> I'm chaotic good. Yes. Um, you just right, said good alignment. Good. No, that has to be lawful. Yeah, no, you she, just said good. She said you have to be. Um, you have to be really good at following orders, aka being lawful good. Red is lawful good. Red's not lawful good, though. Last time I checked. Yeah, she is. Because that's why you asked me and told me to make sure I fixed it. Because I told you she was. Oh, oh yeah. She didn't. You didn't set up their law for alignment yet. I think. I, I did. Did it not show up? Well, no, you, you, you did. But what you're talking about is when I, when I asked you to. Yeah. You never set up their alignment yet. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I yeah, Royal, I have myself set it neutral, but what alignment should I be in your personal <laughs> uh, Chaotic neutral. Whatever you think. You're chaotic. <laughs> chaotic neutral at best. At best? <laughs> you worship literally Satan. Yeah. It's kind of hard to really advocate yeah. you higher than that. Yeah. You, you, she's, you, 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 she's relatively been, for the most part, nothing but nice to you people and sacrificed herself on one occasion. I mean, hey, hey, no, as, no. as Jesus, as Jesus said, oh, yeah. if you can and, only uh, be nice to people Nia, who are nice to you. Yeah, also says, oh, and also you can't worship Arcus because the god that made Excalibur doesn't really like Arcus all that much. Oh, well, Hold on. I need a I need to check something real quick cuz I know Arthur is but I need to check Ar is Arcus not Arcus is Arthur literally the only person in the entire party that's lawful good Once again <laughs> So I was trying to put it in like role play stuff but you have to be a fighter a paladin and you have to be lawful good I oh. uh, that's that's no neutral. one here and, that's and no also, one here you have to be a human Oh, oh, wow. Oh, so you just, wow. you, you just basically said, fuck the that's, whole party. That's, <laughs> that's literally only Arthur, and even then, Arthur would still have to go up one level to take a level in Paladin to even Arthur, be able to use it. Well, I think, you, I think you made this weapon for Arthur. Not even he can use it. <laughs> Arthur, Arthur would have to take one level in Paladin. 
and you that would be the only way to use it. I'll, I'll I think I'm going to scratch it. off the human part because I actually got that suggestion from uh, Carl the Terrible. So. <sighs> the Carl the Terrible. Why he's terrible. He's racist. <laughs> Jeez, tough because no. let's let's take a look. Out of everyone here that most fits the bill, it's only Arthur, and that's just because he matches alignment and race. And his name is Arthur. <laughs> See, oh yeah. my god. God hey. damn it, you made it for Arthur. <laughs> you royal, you suck so much. Oh, you don't really fit the class. Yeah, literally no one. The only no one who... the class. Technically, I guess blue would be the closest, but even then, that's just because and, she's a and, paladin. And jump shot, because jump shot's a paladin as well. Jump shot's not a human, though. Well, to be fair, blue's not a human. No, I got, not of, a human I got rid of the and, human part. And, and not good. Yeah, blue would maybe, be the maybe, second maybe closest maybe. because she's good aligned, but she's chaotic good. And yeah, she's a paladin. It? Why does it have to be lawful? Why can't it just be good alone? Yeah, yeah as it stands I'm chaotic now, good. As it stands now, I have her set it neutral good. I have I have Lilith set it neutral good. Because chaotic right people are unpredictable and uh, the sword doesn't like chaotic people. So. I wouldn't I couldn't use it anyway. I, yeah, I, you know, but unless it, I know because I know it's not a rapier. Yeah, the only person that could use it is Arthur. God damn it. So, and well, that's only if he gets Arthur, another level. Lulith could maybe well, finagle guess, her way into I guess there's it. also the trickster dagger. And that, that dagger was kind of made huh? by Loki, though. So I don't think I'd trust that one. If I were you. I, I might trust it, truthfully. I, I kind of want it now. So, this sword, it doesn't exactly seem to match up with, well... And yep. to be honest. Yeah, so red is lawful good, but you know, she's not a pillager or a fighter, so she can't. Can I ask her where this trickster dagger would be? Um I may look at a map real quick. And you see her eyes kind of shine like uh orange. And then she looks at her internal map. Her internal Oh, wait, no, no, it's not that map. That map, I jumped J with a bunch of abyssal chickens. Good times. Abyssal chickens? Don't worry about it. Not important. Someone's knocking at my door. Uh, hold up, man. Let's take a quick break. <laughs> yeah, this session has been nothing. It's, hey, it's been a it's been a bunch <laughs> of chaos and laughs. I'll give it. <laughs> Can't complain there. No, I'm not complaining. It's me. Not you know what? Let's keep on stirring the pot. Hey, Moxie. <laughs> Moxie. What? To speak of earlier, um, I just wanted to say, considering you're supposed to be the big bad barbarian, I'm so a bit squishy. <laughs> you think the abs are a bit squishy? Is that... His abs are a bit squishy. So that is what she said. Mm. Are you? I mean, you know. I'm glad you, you like the feel of them, since you've been rubbing all over them. Okay, Shut up. I, That's uh, not what I meant. No. How the fuck did you turn this up? <laughs> fuck you. Ah, uh, <laughs> I've heard of her type before. I believe she is what is known as a tsundere, according to the fucking psychopathic weeb from my college. <laughs> oh, it's a tsundere. Although I believe he called himself an otaku, but I don't think that's much better. The otaku does not exist. I think he's dead now because my home island fucking blew up. Oh yeah, you probably- oh yeah, you're a wizard. You live there. <laughs> I used to. I am now homeless. Oh, that's right. 
fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> if you remember that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Since I was on a field trip at the time. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Oh, since, uh, since, look at you. Since, since you was on the, the, the mage island, actually, you would know what, what happened there. So, pretty much, uh, a void devil. Uh, you don't really know what void devils are, but a void devil... Uh, went, came to your little, actually, no, first, a, an egg, or whatever, what, what do I call them again? You call void them eggs. No. Void eggs. No, it wasn't a void egg, it was like, what, what are caliper, calipers in, like, cocoons? There you go, cocoon. A cocoon? A cocoon landed on your island, and then, uh, hatch, and then the void devil started wreaking havoc. Um, the only reason the island blew up was because kind of a rookie, a rookie, uh, magician set off a spell that blew the entire island up. But Oh sure my god, so some fucking idiot jumped the gun and hit the fucking emergency nuke yeah. everything button. But ma made sure that, uh, you guys got, got away far enough, so all of the master magicians, uh, Wow. Took, took all of the students and then teleported them from their island to the main island. So basically just that one dumbass guy, that's basically what happened. Pretty much. We all we right. used our we used our special ability to take it out. Our uh, our one stop shop to make sure that nothing fucking kills us. Um there was also a weird thing. We all hit it with radiant damage because we believed radiant damage would take it out. And then it just kind of started glowing. Then we nuked it. After it nuked us. Mm -hmm. I should inform you, uh, these, these void people that I will call them, they're like devils, but I wasn't able to capture it in my Pokeball, so it can't be a devil. Um... It's, it does not seem to do well with radiant damage. It seems to uh, negate it in some way, almost, and then shoot it out at people. Mm -hmm. Radiant damage. But anyway, Nia says, ah, I found it, and... She kind of snaps. Actually, no, you see her eyes glow even more, or even more orange, and then it kind of shoots out like a projector, and you see kind of like a hologram of the map, and she says, this is where the sword is. Oh, let me grab a note. That's the wrong thing. God damn it! Uh, I'm about to kill someone. <coughs> Sorry. Hmm. Looking at this map, it appears that everything north of the mountain range is fucking obliterated. Yep. Uh, this is this sure, is you. around is around in in this in this this forest. Hmm. The trickster is Galibur or the trickster blade? The trickster blade. Oh. Okay. Okay. Where's Excalibur? Genuinely surprised she hasn't just gotten it herself. No, she doesn't need Excalibur. <laughs> it's like the equivalent to like a walk down the street. But this but... is where the where Excalibur is, and right? that, that blue mark. Hey, I have a slight question about this map. What's this tower here? The tower? Oh, that tower there? Um, yes, that's where all the mages teleported to. Ah, damn, they just left his ass. <laughs> they fucking did I was on a field trip at the time. Yeah, I was already trip. on the mainland. I was informed by one of my colleagues who went to go check it out. Also, need I remind you, I had no friends. I capture creatures and summon them at will. My only friends are the slaves that I keep. Wow. That's pretty sad. It is, but it's fine. 
because now I have hold on I have to look at the campaign again I forgot his name <laughs> just look at his character dude he's right there what do you mean he's right there we're in the alley oh, yeah. there well I mean he's in 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 the campaign well, I mean like in in in, in you know he, he he's I'm gonna go pull up the campaign now he's in the room just, just, you can just uh, be like him yeah he's just, in just, the just room stop. dude he's right just there stop. just stop just stop Jeff. <laughs> just stop talking <laughs> He's in the room. He's like that weird looking goblin over there. That fucker. Ah, Shaq Lulled. What Lulled? What the fuck? <laughs> Shaq Lud. That was his name. Shaq Sh- Cyclone. Shaq Lud of the Yoda like, tribe. King, you doing all right? Hold on, guys. You, you haven't said like basically anything. You all right, man? King, I think King's just enjoying the show. He knows what? that every single time he's talked so far, he's been forced to do a check or a save. <laughs> King, King, what, what, what is your character doing? Just watching you guys still? My name is not Cyclone. My name is Sh- Shacklud of the Yoda tribe. Why can't you ah, get my damn name right? Shacklud no of the Yoda tribe. Snow cone of the Soda tribe, yeah. What the Indeed. fuck is a snow cone? I will cast Eldritch Blast. I will Dang. cast Counter Spell. You already <laughs> used your ninth level spell slot, and Shacklud is known for his ability to not be able to cast ninth level spells. I mean, you're right. <laughs> We're kind of all known for that. <laughs> I am renowned for my ability to be incapable of casting a spell above seventh level. Great. How do you have a spell anywhere near that close? You should have only fifth level spells, the highest. I'm level 12, you goblin. <laughs> he's 12, remember? He's got two <laughs> extra levels on everybody. It's from my time of living on Mage Island. I believe if you were all to have visited Mage Island before it got turned into an apocalyptic wasteland underwater, you also would have gained two levels. You know, <laughs> Mox is going to go to sleep so he can get rid of another level of exhaustion. Yeah, from this point uh, on, no, uh, 459, unless something, unless something else sleep, happens, 459 is just going to go around and ask the players about like what they do, what they are, their curse marks. Yeah. And then how the goblins feel about living here. And then aside from that, he's just gonna stay here for the next couple of days. Ooh, that I'm, just gonna... Gonna... Oh, sorry. Right. I'm just gonna cook for everyone. So far, so we're gonna, we're gonna, so we have like three days left until Moxie's full and back up to finding shape, I guess. Um, we're gonna do the same thing we did in the elf village. We're gonna go around and see what everybody's guys are doing. <laughs> So, All right, starting from the top. Yep, starting from the top. So Alexander, our player. Oh boy! All right, four, five, nine up in here. <clears throat> Shacklude of the Yoda tribe. What are your thoughts about being here? Uh, I guess it's very strange, just sitting around here, you know, doing really a whole bunch of nothing. Hmm. When was the last time you had a chance to sit down and relax like this since the void creatures attacked? Uh, I suppose right before they destroyed my tribe. Yes, apparently I am I am the only member of the Yoda tribe now because the void creatures destroyed my tribe. I see. Do you believe you will have to repopulate your tribe with the five goblin girls down there? You're trying and you'll die. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, five weird goblins. Wait, wait until you turn, okay? <laughs> oh, no. What do you do? Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> fucking went right for it, too. <laughs> if I have to. Yeah, wait till your turn. Yes. <laughs> All right. Xanros. 
Yes. You don't have a surname, do you? My na my full name is Zanros Wellford. Ah, Zanros Wellford. That is actually a relatively good name. Damn, I wish I still had one. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I might steal it. <laughs> May I have your name? No. I Damn it. Are, you, uh, are you proposing to him? <laughs> ah, I tried to do what the Fae did to me that one time. Th they succeeded, but they found my name was so fucking terrible, they gave it right back. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out that the they don't wish to be known by numbers. <laughs> what are your thoughts of this party? How long have you been with them? We've, we've been together for a few months. They seem competent. Have you been able to use your specialties of stealing to benefit the party? To benefit the party? Maybe not. But ah. to benefit myself very much. Asking you just straight up, I don't care because I'm not exactly a cop, but I do like writing things down. How much of your uh, equipment that you have there is stolen? None of your business. Understood. Speak very clearly into this microphone. <laughs> I am not. Can you state your full name? How much have you stolen? Where did you steal Can you it? Speak a little shirt. clearer into my shirt for me. <laughs> 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 They're on to me. Send them in. <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on. Horde of goblin All women. All right, and now uh, a bunch of soldiers start storming the castle. Anyway. No, they <laughs> don't. We are. Uh, my backstory's finally kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> no, in all seriousness, uh, 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 four five nine is gonna approach the horde of goblins. <clears throat> Horde of goblin women, and also comically large robots. What are your thoughts on this party that you are in? The robot says, no one, I don't talk to anyone, but, oh shit, I'm talking to you. And it shuts <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating. I can also create a robot. Violet, I don't know your name. I'm just going to call you by the name of your hair color, Violet. <laughs> he says, my name is Violet. Holy shit! <laughs> what a coincidence. Well, technically my name's Poppy, but everyone calls me Violet. Ah, what about the rest of these people's names? Red, 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 Red looks at you and says, "Yeah, my name's Red." Apparently, Red does not sound like them. Sounds like some <laughs> smoky. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a moment. Allow me to allow me to test something with my knowledge that I gained from being in a college. Your name is Violet. Your name is Red. By well, my by name, my uh name by, isn't by pattern red. seeking. My name isn't Red. Oh. but I'm called Red. I don't know why they call me Red, but I'm called Red. So, have you ever said your name to these people before? <clears throat> no, because I'm too scared to. Oh, that's actually reasonable. <laughs> they look like very frightening individuals, and I am scared to turn my back on them 90% of the time. <laughs> this is the other 10% of the time where I wish to learn things. Now then, I assume that the rest of your name matches the color of your hair? Uh, yes. Ah. So then what are your actual names? Uh... Red pipes up and says, well, my name is Scarlet. And I'll cut the, the color of my hair. But... Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going to stick with red. <laughs> Fucking Moxie speaks up from the other end of the room. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to realize, I think, I think these goblins are just genuinely afraid of fucking Moxie. I don't think it's all QC. I think they're just genuinely afraid yeah. of him. And then, uh, I guess Granny Gob says, um, well, most of my tribe calls me Granny, but my actual name is Melinda. 
I see. And he's gonna write. He's gonna write this down. And I'm also going to be writing this down, like in real life. I just got jump scared by my fucking browser sounds. Uh, give me a minute. His browser history was so bad it scared him. <laughs> it was so fucking loud. It was so weird. All right, Green. Green uh, speaks up and says, "My name's Shade." All right. And, and yes, Moxie, I did steal your other character's name. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and uh, could and, you uh, spell your name for me, Violet? I mean, Toppy. Um, Poppy. Uh, P O P P Y. Ah, I spelt it as Toppy. You know, because of your hat. <laughs> Thank you. Now then, uh. Ah, one with blue hair. What is your name? The blue kind of looks around. And she says, My name? You really want to know, huh? <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. My, knowing my name is dangerous. Ah, I see you have also like encountered a singular fey creature before. But not to worry. As you can tell from my round because ears green and kinda, very human. Green smacks blue on the head. Just tell him your name already. Stop being dramatic. And it's just, ah, Damn it. Ow, fine. Uh, my name is. What the fuck's those flowers called? That like the blue flowers? What? Lily? That's a lot of things. Like, yeah. <laughs> there are several blue flowers. <laughs> there are a lot of blue flowers. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of color flowers. Uh, yeah, I mean, just, 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 just name all of the blue flowers, and I'll, I'll pick that name. Uh, orchid. Lily. There's yeah. cornflower. Centauria. Lily. Lily's. Uh, you Lily. already said poppy. We'll, we'll just say Lily. So, is it, isn't poppy Lily. like? Lilies are white and pink, aren't they? No, Lily's gonna be blue too. Well, to be fair, rich. any flower can be blue. Like roses can be blue. Hi, Dranger. Yeah. Are, are, are poppies like. <laughs> what, what color is a poppy? Is it red? Poppies are usually red, yeah. Uh, okay. Yes, poppies are red. Yeah, yeah that's whatever. I can still, I can still call it. Yes, the golems in Minecraft. But she says, My name's Lily. All right. Isn't that a normally a white flower? Uh. Well, my uh, unlike uh, red over there, uh, or scarlet, my bad. Um, re 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 scarlet says, "Shut the fuck up." And then, my name isn't named that. I'm not named after a color, so. Ah. That actually makes sense. I would I would not have noticed that you are not all named after colors, except for scarlet. Who is? Very much have red hair. Scarlet says, All "Listen, right. okay, my mother was very creative." Oh, well, not, not, no, never mind. Don't worry. It Scarlet seems that your parents were slightly more creative than it seems. Your new, what even are they? Are they your owners? Um. Well, technically, we came from a goblin tribe that actually wasn't treating us very good, and. And then they they came in and killed all of our goblin friends and then kind of took us. Oh, Correction, so they're kidnapping kill, you. Correction, we only killed the leader, then the rest of them were brought up oh, on, oh, brought well, on no, trial, and no they were way. supposed to also well, die. Technically, yeah. The, technically, they didn't kill our goblin friends with their own hands, but they technically did kill their friends. Yes. Ah, I see why do you continue to hang around them if they have murdered all of your friends except for the five of you? Uh, because they can we... kill us at any time. What? That is perfectly we... reasonable. We did I will not kill no further... <laughs> no further Mox questions. Mox just annihilated the ah, leader. Actually, I, just... I lied to you. I am a liar. I do have one more question for you. What is the name of your robot? Um, hold on, let me pull up my notes real quick. Poppy. Her name is Poppy. Poppy. Uh, <laughs> what is the name of your robot? The name of my robot? Poppy. I actually haven't thought it's about it. You want to know? You want to name them? Certainly. 
Let's see. Uh, going by the but current was, naming conventions thinking, here. I was thinking of naming them Fred, but you know, that might, that might, be, that might be not as creative. Yeah. How about see, seeing the current naming convention of flower, flower, actual female name, <laughs> color, concept. How about we call him Obsidian because he is black. <laughs> Violet says, "Hey, are you being racist?" <laughs> Black is in fact a color. We could in fact call him Ruby because he is red in the center, like a ruby. He says, "Okay, Obsidian but that may crazy. steal the naming convention of Scarlet, who is also red." Uh, Violet says, "I like, I like, I like Obsidian," and then she looks at. Obsidian, it says, you like Obsidian too? Yeah, Obsidian says, I, I will approve of any, any name you give me. Give me a second as I figure out if I've spelt Obsidian correctly. <laughs> I have not. Give me about a second. <laughs> there we go. I had to, I had to change one letter. <laughs> now then, and with that, I will bid them adieu, and I will go over to uh, Lilith, who is my next target. Lilith! Yes? I have recently spoken with the goblins. It seems that you may be mildly misinformed on their names, if you care to call them by their actual names. Or continue... Well, I, know, I know some older. of them. I, I know... I know Red's actual name is Scarlet. That's the only one I can actually remember. No, you though. don't. Stop lying. <laughs> I'm, we changed her name. I know her original name. Her original name was Scarlet. We were told this. No, you wasn't. Yes, we were. Her original name was Scarlet. Then Moxie changed it. <laughs> no, no. Her original name wasn't Scarlet because I just came up with those fucking names. <laughs> I know you're lying. No, one right? of their names was Scarlet. I know that for certain. None of their names was Scarlet. <laughs> am, am, am I hallucinating again? You are. What the fuck? You are. Can I, I, All right, I, damn. You're hallucinating because I literally just said those names. And that's in I could have sworn that Scarlet mind. was one of their names before. Damn, I must actually be tripping. Don't worry, Lilith. I understand you have schizophrenic episodes with the gods above, but that is just a common theme for all of us. Now then, according to this list that I have that totally isn't on my computer in real time, What's Red is known by Scarlet, whose name you already know, but are currently hallucinating about for some reason. Green is known as Shade. You know, like the concept, because they're sneaky. Violet is actually poppy. It's a flower. Granny is known as Melinda, no further comment. Blue <laughs> is known as Lily, and lilies are in fact not blue. But then again, I don't think poppies are also usually violet. I could be wrong on that, as the last time I saw a flower, the world wasn't on fire. And the robot <laughs> has been recently named Obsidian. Because he is black. <laughs> By the way, Moxie, since you are next to them, you can hear their conversation as well. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm. Well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Now then, uh, from what I know about you, I would wish to learn more. It seems you have pointy ears and a ferret. That would imply you are an elf, but I could be wrong on that front. Yes, I'm an elf. A ferret. <laughs> <laughs> an elf. And don't forget the pointy ears. It's the ferret and the pointy ears. <laughs> and this wow. is my ferret, Moxie the Second. Ah, which of the several dozen different kinds of elves are you? I assume by the fact you have pale skin and a ferret that you are a wood elf. Yes. But you are also blonde, which would imply you are a high elf. A bit of a mix of the both, but... Mm, ah. Thank you, pig. You also seem to be a paladin, and I can sense this by the fact that you are a paladin. Yes, I do emanate the... 
light of the gods. I mean, light in a sense. No, it's definitely not light. It's definitely not light. <laughs> it's very much not light. <laughs> it's very much not light. <laughs> Darker. What, 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 what light is that? D dark light? Did he just say dark what? light? Oh my god, I should. Have it, it, it's still radiant. <laughs> Hello. It's it's still ra it's just not as radiant as most. Ah, like a microwave. <laughs> so your your radiance is less a matter of divine goodness and more of radiation. Well, not precisely. It's just the means is a bit less than uh, pure. I would also like to uh, question you about the numerous scars that are not present on your character's avatar. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey there, buddy. You're getting kind of personal with that. Yeah, it's just, uh, to put it simple, it's some of the wear and tear of battles. Mm, or... It's ah. none of your business is what it is. Ah uh, yes, if you could not make it more 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 suspicious, I could have just left it. At <laughs> mm. I shall assume it is seeing how the rest of your companions don't seem to be. Anyways, I assume it's some form of religious ritual that you underwent. Is that all in the general world? No, no. Oh, it's just I. I'm a bit more. Uh, uh, I'm a bit reckless sometimes in battle. Ah, have you Everything. heard of a helmet? You should wear one. It might protect you. Actually, I do have a helmet. And she kind of points to her waistband where she still has um, Varric's dread helm. Oh. I've heard of these things. They're like helmets, but with glowing eyes. They exist yeah. solely to make someone look cool. It's a bit, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit too, uh, edgy for my taste. Ah. Have you simply thought of changing what it looked like? No. Reasonable. All right, Lolith, whose last name I doubt you wish to tell me. It's Ravendust, like I said before. I forgot, because I did not write it down in my notes that I am constantly writing in, that I am not writing in right now. <laughs> I shall write that down, in fact. Hey, I, listen, I told you to give your character a personality and you certainly succeeded. I heard I needed a personality, so I said, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> Crank that shit up for 99. Now then, I shall simply speak with the other two members who I... Fuck, I already talked to one of them, but I didn't write their name down. Hold on a moment. I just kind of, I just kind of sidestep, like a step to the side so you can speak to my... Thank you, you were actually blocking my path. I had no way through here. Um, Alexander, <laughs> Alexander, would you like to talk to the entire party, like, through multiple days or just through in one day? I'm gonna speak. I, I'm speaking to them all in one day, and then I just ignore them for the rest of them. It's up to you. I'll leave that up to your character. All right. Uh, I will talk to Moxie next, though, who definitely seems to have a positive opinion of me. Xanros, what was your character's last name again? Well, Ford. Well, Ford. Yep. All right. Two L. You can see how it's written on Discord. Uh, let me look at Discord. Uh, well, for, oh, it's one L. Okay. Yep. W E L Ford. All right. Moxie. Hi, I'm here now. I would wish to speak to you as you seem mildly incapacitated. Not as much as I was. That is a good thing. Now, it, it seems you are mildly injured in some way. But not physically, it seems, as you are not bleating. Bleeding, not... sorry, not bleating. You are not a sheep, I believe. No, I'm not a sheep. But that does segue me into my first question. What exactly are you? Because you 
are you have pointed ears, but not of an elf. You also have multiple ears. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, what exactly are you, Moxie? Oh, uh, Nia has multiple ears as well. Uh, you got, now, now that's now I noticed that too. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I am a Kitsune. The I've fox. heard of them before. From the resident Otaku. <laughs> you don't, Otaku is one of the invented yet, okay? Sure. Yeah. He sure. spoke of all sorts of creatures. <laughs> sure, money. Sure. Most of them women. I bet you did. I bet you both of you had wonderful conversations with them. I did not like him. Apparently, he thought slavery was wrong. But I informed him that most creatures do not have free will. Wait, so you think slavery is a good thing? Depends on the creature. I would not try to enslave you for numerous reasons. The main one not being what you think it is. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't hey, worry. You... I think the sentient races are good. That's why I only enslave spirits. Like demons that do not listen to me. Or robots that sometimes listen to me. Or fey who listen to me way too eagerly. Uh, huh. And you think this is okay enslaving fey and other spirits that just are trying to live their own life? Well, uh, you see, the issue with them living their own life is that they tend to cause mass destruction and annihilation. Moxie, could you could well, you inform me of gone. the last time you've heard of a good demon? Oh. You still got Arcus, he's not a good demon. <laughs> he is very much not a good demon. Let's go fuck Arcus. Okay. Ar Arcus Demons. in front of you. The fuck did you say? I, I said fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> he poked you in the eyes. Take one point damage. Ah, bitch. <laughs> then he teleports away. <laughs> see? It's that like see? I should the enslave fuck? Arcus. <laughs> the fucking dick. <laughs> then again. You have to see who his father is, so it's no surprise. Royal up here ah, you. that brings up a wonderful point, Moxie. You see, my ultimate goal in life is to turn the god of this entire multiverse, Royal, into a Pokemon. Wow. Royal appears I wish in front you of you and says, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to inform you, I am not talking about Royal as in, like, the god. I mean the DM himself. <laughs> That's right, Roll. I'm coming for you. You're trying to enslave Stop. your father? I mean, come on, man. Come on. Stop <laughs> breaking the fourth wall. Apologies. It's part of my schizophrenia. Anyways. Uh. Oh, hey. Royal is here now. Royal, to, fuck off. You're trying to enslave my shit. father, bro? What the fuck, man? <laughs> Royal, you're trying to enslave Don't worry. I do this to most creatures. Now then, Moxie. Uh. Do you have a last name? Moxie uh, <laughs> 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 teleports away. No, 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 no. no Royal teleports away. <laughs> no, Moxie. Uh, Moxie looks like. Sure, I do. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> ah. Do you wish to tell me your last name, or shall I simply call you, uh, Moxie... Yep. Harem Haver. I don't fucking know. I, I, I'm not <laughs> one to give last names. Why do you think my name's 459? Anyways. <laughs> you can just call me Moxie. Thank you. Is that a Harem All Haver, right. dude? Oh my god. Ha Moxie Harem Haver. <laughs> what a wonderful title. Do you not have a Harem? Okay. 
Oh, oh, right. up on, I am trying to oh, that reminds me. Thank you for reminding me, Moxie. The goblins have names that are in yeah. fact not colors except for two of them. One of them. One of them. Would you like yeah. me to inform you on the name of your goblins? Yeah, by the way, Nia, Nia wakes up and casts Mage Hand because she starts messing with your hair. Whose? Uh, your, your hair. I am being pet by a cat. I have a twist of fate, huh? Anyway, I heard what you said talking to Lilith here. Ah, I forgot that Lilith is behind me because I do not have eyes in the back of my head. However, I do have hair being tussled by a sleeping cat. By the way, Nia doesn't actually open her eyes whenever she's awake. Oh, what the hell? That's creepy. <laughs> that, that is very... How do you do when she's awake? How do you know she's actually asleep? <laughs> I assume she's always asleep and is simply sleepwalking through life. That's, that's the best the best way to put it. It's so lucky. Anyway, next question. Well, let's see. Um, you are what is known as a kitsune. Uh and from the judge of your mass in every way. I assume you are some form of fighter and or barbarian. Correct. What kind of barbarian are you? I've heard there are many kinds. Ones that like to grow big and strong in the heat of battle. He's a big boy barbarian. Yeah. I will assume that you mean you literally grow bigger, as in your body, and you do not get aroused during combat. Maybe he does. You don't know. He just, <laughs> you just see him smirk. He doesn't oh. Him. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he smirks at Lilith. At Lilith? What the fuck? Anyway. <laughs> wait, wait, what did he say? What, how, I, wasn't paying, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't even paying attention. In like, character. I, 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 like, I heard I like what you said out of character. <laughs> but in character, she wasn't paying attention. This was just staring off into space and just sees Moxie staring at why, why staring at... I, 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 won't even, I won't even ask. I won't even ask. I could inform you if you wish, mm. but you may not like the answer. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, you know, I think I, I think I'll stay in the dark on this one. All right, that was really the only questions I have, Moxie. You seem to be a strong, capable leader. Yeah, no, Nia, Nia floats up to Moxie's ear and says, "Do you like Lilith?" She asleep or she awake? <laughs> like, like, uh, <laughs> Moxie is just gonna push the pillow to make it float. <laughs> Not yeah. even answer. The, the pillow starts floating away slowly. <laughs> <laughs> just one of those casual, just like pushes it away. Anyway, not paying attention to the cat. I uh, see your face is really red, so that means yes. Ah, uh, oh wait, you can't that even see my face. Me. Your eyes are closed. I can. See I you. do have another question for you, Moxie. I don't need to see you to see you. Has has the uh, has the has the sin of lust entranced you, Moxie? Uh. Everyone knows that the sin of lust is capable of very thoughtful manipulation of the heartstrings. Have you been seduced by her? Um, nope. Oh, that's just been cat. I like to think, like, every time Lilith goes to the Elven village, everyone just looks at her with loving eyes. No, no. Sorry, it's sorry. funny no, because let, technically... let, me, let me change that. Let me change that. With lustful eyes, sorry. Oh, God. Here, here's What's the funny thing. is, technically, 
Technically, players, uh, players' information is false. That is not how uh, the actual curse works. So yeah, okay. it's actually the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. His information mm -hmm. is entirely. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that, he's that, that, that's that's why Moxley said no because it's like it doesn't work that way. Well, he doesn't really know how the curse works either. Only she would know. Now then, now then, I've noticed that you have the sin of wrath upon you. Does that mean that you get angry over every single minor inconvenience? No, because I'd be angry right now. I see that. Give me a, give me a wisdom saving throw, Mark. God damn it, Royal. <laughs> You're within 10 feet of me, so you get my plus four from, from or protection. Um, sure, I'll humor you on this, even though it's bullshit. <laughs> it's for the funny. Well, no, because <laughs> for, I, I heard what you said, because you said you would be angry right now. Did you, did you not? I didn't say it. I said if I was angry at everything, I would be angry right now. That is exactly. 18. He's good. Yeah, so you're good. I see that. Now then, Moxie, what exactly does your curse mean then? I'm planning on writing a book about what the seven deadly sins actually mean, as I'm sure you've noticed, but my information is slightly incorrect in some parts. You don't say. Yeah. It does mean that I can go off at a hair trigger. But it's usually just something that bolsters me in bed. As soon as you said uh, a hair trigger, uh, Nia goes up to you and starts messing with your hair. He just pushes the pillow again. <laughs> pushes it away. <laughs> Just lift out of and push it. Fascinating. So your curse is more of a power boost to you rather than an actual affliction. I mean, sometimes I can lose control. I see. And you, Nia, the sin of sloth who is currently petting a kitsune. No, 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 what I'm exactly does you? you right now, too. I noticed. I can feel your mage hand <laughs> inside of my roots. <laughs> You're gonna stay inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly does your curse uh, uh, mean, Nia? Well, sometimes it makes me very sleepy in unfortunate situations. Sometimes. <laughs> When was the last time you've ever opened your eyes, Nia? Um... How about you open your eyes now? She let's let's see those eyes. Uh, Nia says, um, okay. And then she slowly opens her eyes. And then you see kind of... Holy uh, shit, it's the Sharingan. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she has she, the she Renegade. Makes, she makes the Sharingan noise, and you caught fire and black flames. <laughs> no, oh, that's no. no, no, that, 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 that's the Mangetsu Sharingan. <laughs> who did she kill? Who, who the hell? Uh, she, I no, mean, she no. killed someone that she cared about. No. Holy shit, she activated her domain expansion. <laughs> No, she slowly opens her eyes, and you actually, you see silver eyes, but you see kind oh, of... Oh, it's the Miyako guy! You see, oh, star... shit. <laughs> you see stars in her eyes, like literal stars. Oh, nice. Now, Nia, I've heard that you're a very powerful spellcaster, according to your goddess, who has oh, also called you also, a lazy... Uh... As she looks at you, all of your magical items just stop functioning. Ah, your this... eyes are an anti-magic field. Nice. Wait, they are. I didn't know that. That's that's what that. Oh, okay. I see. Could you please close your eyes for me? My books aren't working. But you look so beautiful. Do I? <laughs> Do I really? 
Yeah. It's like, hey, 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 if you two are going to flirt, go over there. Get you away look from my pillow. Too, Moxie. I thought Lilith was the sin of lust. <laughs> I wouldn't flirt in this tower. Bad things happen. <laughs> they might turn your they might turn your boobs into flats. Boobs into flats. Jesus Christ. So, what's flirting? It is when you say things to make the other person feel good about themselves and also to show you are interested in them. Some may also call it the uh, romantic form of a compliment. Well, are you, do you guys feel good about me saying that about you? I would say that some of us may be mildly uncomfortable. What? Why? Because Moxie is in a committed relationship with Lilith. Uh, Lilith, how, how do you how do you um, answer? How do you uh? What do you think about that? Whenever you say that, whenever he says that, what does Lilith think about that? Whenever he said you're uh, Moxie's in a committed relationship with you, she's completely spaced out because she's an NPC. She's not paying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> She's spaced out. She doesn't hear anything. Since, since you're next to them, you're not an NPC. Since you're next to Arthur, you want to be considered an NPC. But wait, they're next to Arthur right now. Oh, no, cool. No, Arthur's gonna no, turn to you. No, what are you no, doing? No, 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 no. no. I'm at player. Sorry, your fucking <laughs> characters confuse me, dude. All right, since you're next to That's... player, you're not. You're not an NPC. Oh, all right, like. Yeah, please. Moxie fucking hates me. I piss his ass off all the time. Don't worry. I've heard of more abusive relationships than that that were still considered romance. Most of them involve the Fae, believe it or not. What language is this little speak? Uh, she speaks... Do, 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 do. Also, uh, you would already know this, Dova, but for for just so, because I'm sure your player will, uh, player will comment on it. Uh, uh, just to remind you, the way that she speaks is through co telep telepathy. All right. I've noticed something. You're speaking directly in my mind. Is it because your mouth is sewed shut so that you don't seduce people with your honeyed words of being the sin of lust? No, it's... You guys hear randomly... I don't like to speak. By the way, you guys hear randomly from Nia. She, she looks around and says, Why are there so many people in this room? Because we're a full party. Uh, uh, but uh, Moxie, to answer your question, she pe she speaks celestial, common, elvish, and sylvan. Uh, oh, big sylvan! <laughs> she says, I, "Well, I see you guys, and then I see other people next to you guys. Like there's and one there's guy there's, down the hall. There's one guy on Moxie's face twerking. Whoa! Oh, you can <laughs> see dead people. Fascinating." <laughs> Can you tell us more about these dead people? There's well, something on my face! Get it off! <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one guy next to you, player. Um, I don't want to know what he's doing. Neither do I. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I don't want you twerking him. You're not the one I want twerking him. If I, if I can't <laughs> feel him, then he's not violating me. <laughs> then who do you want twerking in your face, Moxie? You shut up over there! <laughs> I'm sorry, I spaced out for a couple seconds. All I heard was you. <laughs> Moxie's reaching for his sword again. Give it left with my sword. Oh fuck, dude! Oh my god! I, you gotta gonna be the death. If we're going off of where I left it, it's technically it's it's more like it's near like the pile of books underneath Nia because I I slightly pushed it away from you like three days ago. Yeah, the sword. Yeah. Damn it. 
Yeah, Damn it. She, she says she she points at Lulith and she says there are multiple women around you. Ah, we're in the gay tower. That's why all the men are doing weird things to us, and all the women are doing weird things to her. <laughs> yeah, and then you guys see the entire tower just glow, and then the just glows for like five seconds, and then stops glowing. And then she says, "Oh, oh, now all of them's burning. They're burning." So oh, that means that there is a burning naked man twerking on Moxie's face. No, he's no longer twerking. Because he's burning to death. Yeah, now now he's he's screeching and burning agony. Guys, this might be a bit I'm of a far fetch, but I think now. she might be talking about the ethereal plane. Uh, that might be a good thing for you to close your eyes now, so yeah. you don't see... And she yeah. closes her eyes, and now she can only see you guys. Oh, great. That's good to uh, know what happens when you open your eyes. You can see into the ethereal plane. That's cool. I believe they call that true sight, Moxie. It's like yeah. regular sight, but actually correct. You guys hear the, 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 the goddess say, Now, Nia, what did I say about opening your eyes? Uh, Nia, so why can't she, why can't she open her eyes? And... Why can't she be able to see like everyone else? Because Nia's special. You can't <laughs> say that to another person. I was called special, and now look at me. I'm in a room with ghosts that were uh, naked uh, and are now on fire. You're you're not special. You're just weird. <laughs> what's the ah, difference? Ouch! That hurts. <laughs> what's the that's what my father told me. Damn, those spirits aren't the only thing that's burning now. I don't think I can counterspell that vicious mockery. <laughs> Woo, that's worse than a fireball. That burned. <laughs> Man, I sure am glad I have max hit points because I'm pretty sure that was power word kill. <laughs> Well, she says, okay, you're wearing it out now. It, you started it. Anyway, are you are you are you done questioning trying to pry into my personal feelings here? Don't worry, I already know your personal feelings. Incomprehensible. I shall now be talking to Nia. The last person I shall speak to. Yes. Who is All a brother. Right. Now can then. You, can you take that over there? <laughs> you got to push Nia with the pull away from Oh, me. Moxie, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew. This is called a woman. Dang. I, I, I swear to God, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> By the way, Nia... Nia you would Nia, not Nia be actually, the first. Nia actually falls asleep again. Nia... I am going to drag you into a corner and ask you things about yourself. Dude, that didn't sound right. You might want to rephrase that, Romeo. Don't now worry about then. It. Just, just don't think about it, and it's not going to sound bad. <laughs> Nia, you seem to have the curse of sloth upon your chest. A Nia, leg. Nia still sleeping. Fucking limb. I wish why are you to looking, ask why are you. Looking at the chest? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> it's not there. But uh, Nia's on, Nia's thing. Nia the mark is on their leg. Yeah, leg, leg, I, legs. Or their thigh, to be precise. Ooh. Ooh, you sure are staring at them thighs, player. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 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 now then, J just Nia, the who is currently thing. asleep, I am going to keep talking to you, but there is a slight issue that you may turn me into a fine paste because you cannot control your own magical might. Oh, fuck! I should have made them a damn... Actually, did I make them a damn thing? Hold up. Wait, did I make them a wild magic? No, damn it. Whatever, missed, missed opportunity. 
<laughs> now then, Neo. a wild magic sorcerer. Yeah. Would you mind telling me your name? Uh, my name is Nia. Why am I in the corner? Fast the corner. I put you in the corner. Actually, now that I think about it, there are no corners in here. This is a fucking circle. <laughs> well, technically, if you really want to think about it, everything's a corner. This is a corner. No, we, you were always everything. in a corner, Nia. Exactly. Everything now then, in a corner. what is your last name? My last name? Um, I was never given a last name, because a last name is a family name, and I don't have one of those. Ah, how were you <laughs> created? Um, I don't know. What is your last memory? She falls asleep again. <laughs> your last memory is sleeping. Fascinating. <laughs> First and last memory of the day. <laughs> How many hours on average do you say that you sleep? You just hear snoring. <laughs> no, she doesn't yes. snore. She doesn't snore. Oh no, she does that cat snore. Yeah, she snores. She is, but it's that cat snore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck that. How the fuck does cat snore? <laughs> You don't know how cats snore, man. Look it up, man. All right. Do they bark? <laughs> they don't. But they, the cats do snore. Well, cats can bark. <laughs> I've seen, I heard it happen. <laughs> I mean, yes, I know cats can bark. Do you fall asleep on purpose so you don't have to answer questions from strange human men who drag you in corners? Whoa. Rising. When you say it that way. <laughs> it's alright. I don't get enough viewers to even, for it to even matter. So. No, this is good. This is Moxie who just yelled over. Crazy! <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it, Nia, this seems like a terrible defense mechanism. You should think about putting a wall of force around yourself every time you sleep. You creepy, weird people from asking questions. And as soon as she yes. Says that, as soon as she says that, she casts Wall of Force. Wonderful. I can tell oh, you are still comprehending Actually, me. Actually, no, she casts Wall of Fire instead. Fuck. <laughs> I should counterspell that to avoid being turned into ash. Now, what's, what's, your, what's your highest level of spell? You said seven, right? My highest level spell is six. Why? What oh, level okay. spell is she okay. casting? Okay. It's a level six. No, that was actually what the fuck? Wall, wall of fire, fire is a fourth. Four. I thought wall of fire is a fifth four. level spell this whole time. That's crazy. No, it's a fourth level. Uh, yeah, I'll use a fourth level spell slot for that. Okay. Ah, now that I notice the fact that you can at will cast obliteration spells, I shall be taking several steps away from you. I shall then call your name from a safe distance behind full cover to prevent you from then casting magic missile upon me. And now that I think cover. about it, I already have all the information I need about you right now, partially because you are not answering me anymore. <laughs> I shall now go a, go and write down all of this information in a book. And uh, yeah, that that that's I'm done. I'm done. Go, you guys can do whatever you want. I'm done. She cast. Uh, that's, plane, that's, I'm done with my character. She cast plane ship. No, I'm just kidding. Fuck. <laughs> I, that whole thing took an hour. For that me. did. That did. Oh my god. Alright, it's not jump hey, shot. That's man. okay. We still got time because we're basically just doing role play now. Basically. Yeah, who's no, next, bro? You, jump You're shot. You're next. Oh shit, I am. Okay. Damn. Fuck. Alright, I guess first I will go to Xanros. Yes. 
Especially what the show, fuck did you do to is... get your dick turned into a fucking marble? Especially just to show... I oh. may have asked... Yeah, Which this, lady? This is basically this is the goddess. What, what you're doing for three days. That's pretty much it. You're Why in the hell would you do that? Because I already had the one person in there and I got greedy. <laughs> <laughs> that is Arthur's job. He's the greedy fuck, not you. Well, I mean, gluttony is overindulgence, so actually that kind of checks out. Well, Perhaps this will teach you a lesson on not being a womanizer. Yeah, it'll teach you a kind of over, over to do. I'll just leave goddesses alone. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's best that way. You see, you hear from the from the you hear from the goddess. Now that is very preferable. <laughs> Shock lewd, was it? I ran across the entire thing. Shock lewd, shock You hear? King, king, king. Oh, Yoda. Oh, God, king. Yoda. King, wake up. Yoda boy. Oh, shit. He's not dead. He's gone. Let, let the poor man sleep. Let the poor man sleep. Oh, no, yeah, but... unconscious for now. Oh, yeah. okay. Unless he comes yeah. back or was doing something. Automatically comes back. <laughs> yeah, no, I think he was, because he was over there. He was heavy breathing for a bit. So yeah. I, think, I think he's passed out. So remind me, uh, remind me, player, what was Violet's actual name? Poppy. Poppy. Hey, Poppy. What's up, Gailey? Wait, you actually called me by my name? Thank you. You're welcome. What's up, Gailey? Uh, nothing much. I'm just working on my gun. How's that going? Um, actually, I'm already done. I'm working on another one. You want one? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> okay. Let me know if you ever need a target practice. You ever need a target for target practice? Uh, you're, you're not going to be a target. You want I'm just to... here from across the room. So, what, so you want me to shoot you? I mean, if you need to work on your aim. Not right now, because, you know, we're kind of... It's a, when we're on the road, and if you need to work on your aim a bit. Uh, Nia floats over to her spot again. <laughs> okay. You're not shooting at each other! We're not shooting at each other. She's shooting me. Anyway, I was thinking... What the hell is your last name? Talking to Moxie? Yes. Moxie? Yeah. Uh, yes. You're t he doesn't answer. Moxie, you can't ignore me. You can't I'm, not get telling you. I'm not telling you my last name. Why not? You have reasons, just like you do. Is it because your last name gives you power? Or gives them power over you? Hush. I do ask that question. I know of, I know that's how it works with devils. Are you a devil, Moxie? Are you, are you, are you a devil? That'd trickster? be pretty cool. Are you a little trickster? I'm not a devil. I'm a kitsune. We are similar to fey creatures, although we are not fey. Hmm. Wait, is Moxie your real name then? Because you're a fey creature? No comment. <laughs> Wait, who, who's asking me this? Is Violet? Uh, N Nia did. N Nia's asking. Oh, Nia. Nia, you float back over that way. <laughs> I would like to point out, I did not move Nia. She moved closer to my character. No, I, I, I know, I know. I moved, I moved. <laughs> Uh, Mia, Mia wanted to go back to her spot that she was in. For the record. <laughs> You're hiding something, obviously. Oh, I mean, you would know about hiding things, wouldn't you? I have told you relatively the truth since we made a little <laughs> arrangement as she kind of pokes her um, mask. 
Uh, huh. You did. Be great to be able to actually hear your voice and not just hear you in my head. It hurts to speak. Why is that? Something happened to your tongue? No, with, more with my throat. How did that cut up to do it? Let that one go. <laughs> your throat, your throat hurts. Oh, my. We're off to a wonderful start, aren't we, boys? <laughs> what happened in that bath? <laughs> Yeah, uh, Lou, you know, Lou, Lou is talking about their throat hurt, and you know, with all these oh, gods God. and there's a goddess, you know, maybe you could ask one of them if they could do something about it. I tried, but it make was... a religion check. It Can't wait to find out that Royal forgot to like record the stream or something. No, no <laughs> stream recording. It was already. It was already an issue before, but when I made my deal with Arcus, it further solidified it. So mm. Arcus did something that made your throat hurt more? So oh, Arcus did something to you. Uh, uh, Arcus, Arcus pops into existence for a second. Hey, don't you dare take that out of context, and he leaves. <laughs> Arcus, Arcus on his way to pop in to clear the allegations. <laughs> <laughs> take what out of... Uh, <laughs> You <laughs> Arthur shows up. So what had happened was, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Boxy is never gonna like Arthur. Okay, ever, no matter what. So, so it, it's a dead thing. But she kind of like, you know, like she kind of pulls her collar down a bit, dude. Like you know, further reveal like the the whole of the kind of a uh, lust uh, marking engraving thing. So your markings on your throat and that keeps you from talking. Well, I, I I can speak. It's just, it's very painful. Did I jump scare you? I, again, there is a literal goddess that's up there. Did you yes, ask her yeah, that you can... but a literal god is what did this. Well, actually, technically, a... uh, technically, that little that goddess is technically my mother. Who said that? Nia. Nia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, which one of these people is speaking? Okay. Anyway. Uh, what's her? Um, it's like, it's if, like hitting a stick a, with a well, stick. Why are you like, ignoring me? If a god did it, why wouldn't a god or goddess be able to do it? <sighs> because it's the nature of a devil's contract. A contract with Arcus? Yes. And this contract would be? I can't recite it. Literally. You can't? Okay. Okay. And I was like, all right. Arcus, you dick, what kind of deal did you make for where she can't speak? It it never explicitly it is it's not that I cannot speak, it's that it's painful to speak. I, you can't speak because it's painful, therefore you can't speak. So again I say, Arcus, you dick, what did you do? I didn't do anything because I should have healed their their throat. Their throat should have well, been healed, then... and I threw them in the, in the, at the building. So then why can't she, Why does it still hurt? <laughs> well, it is very possible that she she could have swallowed a wood chip. I did throw her pretty hard. Did you swallow a wood chip? <laughs> I don't think so. Argus, get over here and fix this shit. Nope. I want you to ask nicely. You see Moxie's about to say something else, but he like, stops himself. 
you hear him start speaking a different language. And you're like, fine. I guess we fix her throat. You see the... He, he, he says, ah, better. And then you see a demon hand appear out of thin air and then touches Lulith's throat. And Lulith's throat feels better. Well, to remind you in this of how it works, because here, I'll, I'll, I'll remind you when we spoke up, because I'm pretty sure it was late as fuck, and you probably forgot, because this was months ago. Probably forgot. Your yeah, your memory is a bit wanish. The, the part of the contract that they made was that she would get the power of the, um, the lustful uh, deadly sin, and it would be engraved into her neck, which is why it's very painful for her to speak. She oh. can speak. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. So no, to, that was, that was, to get that rid of that would get rid of the marking itself. Wait, that was, that was last, wasn't it? Why would you make it painful? And why would you get it on your throat? Uh, and then the arc all Arcus did all Arcus did was just inject you with anesthesia. So then just yeah. move right, Arcus, it to Arcus stabs you in the throat and it, you can't feel any pain from coming from the, the scar. Motherfucker gave you painkillers. Pretty much. <laughs> he injected you with painkillers. Which I think would probably kill you, but we are not going to question that. So, at least for the time being, I can speak. Uh, for three days, you can speak. Okay. I'm going to meet myself for two seconds while I figure out how I'm going to slightly alter Lulu's voice so she can actually speak. For three days. <laughs> it's a terrible. All right. Figure out how to sure. change. She's it. still she's still making the telepathy of this section. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? She's still making the telepathy as of this second. If you're speaking through telepathy, then why the fuck? Oh my god! I'm gonna slap you. Well, she's asking what the hell he did. Oh. Oh. Your voice wouldn't change then. <laughs> if you're speaking through telepathy. Because you're speaking through your mind, not through your voice. He's, she's asking what he did, and then I went, I guess, after he tells her, well, she'll, know, uh, they'll about. switch. But yeah, um, she says, he says, um, well, I just gave you, I just made it so you don't feel the pain of your voice, so... All right, and she usually. But um, once once it's over, it's gonna hurt like a son of a bitch. Hey, dick! What? You just made it temper? I don't really know what you expected, Moxie. He's literally the devil. I expect him to not be a dick. He's the dickiest of dicks. No, he's no, the. This is why he's the. Of, uh, Dick. All of my, all He's of my the big dick. <laughs> you fucking dick. He's the original dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that would be his dad is the original dick. He's the son of the dick. He's the sick master. Dick. Yeah. Oh, my God. You guys are weird. <laughs> the master of... <laughs> Sorry, man. I was thinking of Phasma Hotel for a minute. I, me too, man. But she speaks. She kind of opens her mouth, kind of I'm trying to remember how the fuck to speak. Because it's been literal years. <laughs> and as she does begin to speak, her voice is it's slightly raspish and a bit uh, slough. So she's trying to, you know. Not really used to this stuff. It's just, I... Arcus kind of, kind of eggs you on. Hurry up, God! Get, <laughs> get all your words, dude. Fuck. Alright. How fucking bad? I guess I'm speaking. Yeah. I'm gonna go bug the heroes party. Yeah, go. Too far. Hmm. Hmm. 
Nice. Now, that last name, give it up. Uh, I guess so. This is her speaking with her actual voice. <sighs> I'll tell you, you cannot share it with anyone else. Fine. If you, don't want to say it out loud, if you don't want to say it, you can type it to me and say that you said it to me. He, he's looking like he looks yeah. around. Because I'm pretty sure everyone's looking because they actually hear Liz's voice for the first time. And he's like, God damn it. It's so like, yeah, he like pulls you closer, whispers it in your ear. I'll hey, send it to you in a minute. Let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> uh, lots of things I do not know about you, and I'm gonna fucking figure this shit mm -hmm. out. You are a mysterious bastard, and I do not know a lot about you. None of us know anything about you. <laughs> well, I mean, it is the nature of yokai and fey. <laughs> oh, you, you good, Dova? No, sorry, I'm dying. Dang. Anyways, thug it out. Quiet. Just thug it out. I, I, this is not fair. I'm, I'm technically Fey. Well, Fey and well, descendatory of Fey, because, you know, elves. You get my point. Uh, you're Fey adjacent. Mm -hmm. She kind of sticks her tongue out. That's not a bad thing. Okay, I just washed her hands. Oh, here we go. Trying to pull your name up on Discord. And Discord's like, nope. Here, let me make it easier for you. Well, I got it now. <laughs> There you go. I have texted you the word boom, as in B, capital B, O, O, M. Discord's <laughs> oh. supposed to be a fucking right now. Discord is not being a bitch. Is that something? Come on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And right now it's we still being a bitch. Are, are you coming up with a last name right now? Because you don't actually have one. <laughs> no, I have one. It's just it's going to be <laughs> In the meantime, I'll continue. I'll Some, continue. Somebody tell me uh, they don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> it was continuing on. Yeah, there's lots of things I think we didn't know about you. Except we didn't. I didn't fucking know you were 550 to like a week ago. Mm. Yeah. Well. Mm. By the way, I just realized I did not give Mia any feet. So let me do that real quick. There's a lot of things we do not know about you, and I don't quite like your secrecy. Definitely. You just have frogs. By the way, uh, Zenero, since you're around jump shot, you're not an NPC, so you can in intervene whenever you want to. I'm not gonna lie. I zoned out a little. <laughs> oh my God. You, it don't no, understandable. It happens. I went it, to pee and then I came back and heard nothing. 
so we just we were we here. were waiting for I was waiting for um uh freaking Moxie to type me out his uh, character's uh freaking last, last name because he whispered it to me, but I'm pretty sure he was either trying to bring it up or was totally making it up on the spot. <laughs> Oh, okay. so you asked for his real name, and then no, his last yeah. name. Oh, his last name. Okay. Well, okay. Is you Nia see the name again? Yes, Nia. Just... Okay, well, I'll leave her because that I feel like trying to dodge an attack again. Uh, well, only when you're around uh, jump shots characters, then then you are a not an NPC. Because it is yeah. apparently Jump Shot's turn. Yeah, you're not allowed to uh, keep yourself safe, Sanros. I'm sorry. You uh, <laughs> need the ability to protect yourself. <laughs> All right. He whispers it to you. He whispers it in Sylvan. Yeah. I'll just let them keep having their conversation. Like... Okay. Yeah. yeah Player doesn't even. It's not because you're doesn't... there. He's just super down on the low about this. Apparently. <laughs> Player doesn't even have a pa high enough passive to hear anything right now. He's also an NPC, so he, he can't hear anything. But yeah. You you got you 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 got what you asked for. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. He looks at you and he's like, you tell anyone. I will have to leave. And he'll take the goblins with him. <laughs> Names have power. Especially when it comes to the faith. So you Insight the check. Go ahead. I think... Yeah, isn't Lilith's character the only character here that has Fey ancestry? Yeah, no. Uh, I so have does Xanrus. Oh, Xanrus has it. Too. He, uh, sorry, she's not trying to incite that part. She's trying to incite if you're holding any other information, omitting any other information. Because she does understand that that part is true, but she's trying to see if you're omitting anything else. That's a fucking natural 20 <laughs> for a total of 26. <laughs> oh, so what else are you trying to Well, I suppose with a, 20, with a 26 yeah. off of a nat 20, I suppose <laughs> she's, she's trying to figure, find a mix of if you're omitting any information <laughs> from that and if you're lying about anything in your statement. Um, let's say... Or possibly get like some sort of meaning of the of the the uh, name or any like, anything of that sort. You know he's telling the truth about the name has power, and you can tell that he is serious. That if you give the name to someone else, it will force him to leave. And when he's like, when he says leave, he doesn't mean he's just going to be like he he's going to be gone. He's going to kill himself so that he doesn't get dragged somewhere. Is he omitting any information in that statement? Or anything that could sense that he might be? You can tell, well, but the man point, you can tell that he does not want to leave. <laughs> you see the slightest bit of fear. She ponders for a moment, does she say? Then she says, I think you're more meaning to the word of something is going to make you leave. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, let me say the reason why I'm here and why I got this curse and 
let's just say if a certain someone hears a certain phrase, I won't be here anymore. She thinks for another moment, uh, a slight grin, a slight kind of jokish grin falls across her face. She says, and yet you lectured me of a contract. Well, why do you think I feel so strong? Maybe we're not so different after all. <laughs> Never said it worked. Except you're more reckless than I am. I am not. I am not more reckless. No, 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 no. Oh, you are not turning this on me. No, no, no. no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you always thought, always lying in there. Please just try to put yourself in harm. Did you just do the Asterion? No, 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 no. No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me. How dare I, the woman in full fucking armor? How dare I? Yes, so reckless in full plated armor with a fucking massive shield. Then you. The fucker with no armor or shield whatsoever. I, I don't need it. You never have. Ah, oh, yes. A person who resolves every single thing with violence. No, not every single thing. Can't solve you with violence. I'm sure you would have tried if you knew you had a chance. <laughs> he just gives you a look. She kind of just puts her hands on her hips. Like, <laughs> oh, you, oh, oh, you don't want none of this. <laughs> sure does suck that me and Xanros are NPCs. They're going to get into a fight and destroy the tower, and we can't run. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even move. You're just standing if there. Any, just if like... anything like that happens, and you know, everyone would roll yeah. initiative, and everyone would become players again. <laughs> he's, he's not trying to fight her. The but... chick can tell that. Yeah, this is more uh, goading <laughs> rather than actual. Yeah. Oh, anything else you want to know? Hmm. Why do you have four ears? Uh, Nia, Ma put, uh, put your head up. I have four ears, too. Of course, that wakes her up. You kind of like... You have four ears. Like, You're going to roll with his eyes. What are you... Technically, whenever I sleep, I have to close my second eyelid to sleep. Which is kind of hard. Second eyelids. Nick, 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 stay over there. <laughs> Things are already weird enough. You don't even want to hear about a fourth eyelid. I don't have. <laughs> I don't have. You're, you're talking about me and my ears. What about you and those bloody wings that appear? Well, I mean, it's. Well, if you're. If you remember, I am an Asimar, and well... Yeah, and as far as I know, Asimars don't have wings that trip with blood. Well, that's more on the custom of... Hey guys, I think King's back. He just left uh, unconscious. King, are you back? No, no he didn't jump back, but I'm just he's saying... He's not in here, he, he just... He probably just left the call and fell asleep. Yeah. His phone might have died, honestly. His phone might have died. <laughs> Probably. But, um... I think I'm... He, he can't hang. He can't last. <laughs> he usually knocks out that, of that's the Monday game. So. Shit. 
<clears throat> Sorry. Oh, uh, yes. Well, mm-hmm. it's, I, it's because of my devotion to Arcus. It changes the look around a bit. They actually used to be white, but that was a long time ago. Why? You, you like, stops you right there. He's like, why? What, what, what part of, what part? Why are you devoted to him? Well, I mean, it, it depends what god the Asama is devoted to, from how I see it. If why was... him? Arkia says, why else? Because I'm fucking great! Shut the fuck up, you dick! <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, Argus is literally just fucking Adam from Asmund Hotel. I swear to God. New head cannon. After Adam was killed in hell, uh, he was reborn as Arcus. <laughs> head cannon is crazy. <laughs> but anyway, sorry. <clears throat> well, she ponders for a moment. When you. When you throw your hand out to light, yet there is no light, you only have darkness to grab at. I suppose is the way I could put it. Is he, he, he's about to say something, but he stops himself. He takes a deep breath. And like... Detect thoughts. <laughs> okay. Sure. Surface thoughts. He's like, uh, that's that. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Uh, are you trying to press deep? Sure. Uh oh. You see, you see the what? Void King say, "Fuck off." No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so what is that? That's a wisdom save, right? Yeah. yeah. That's to, I believe, to know if I'm intruding or something like that. A 19. You rolled a 19? Yeah, 19. Did you, or did you guys roll a 19? Yeah, he rolled a 19. I rolled a 19. Um, you what's your DC? <laughs> Lower than a 19. <laughs> okay. Why'd you roll an insight check? Wait, yeah, it's not supposed to be... It's supposed to no, be it's, 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 it's your DC. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. How do you have the tech thought? Uh, Actually, did Moxie roll? Or did he roll the private to Royal? No, it, it should show it's a 19. Uh, I'm not seeing your 19. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Roll not going up. Anyway. I don't lie, home slice. It's not in. It's not in the thing either. The last roll it has is my is my insight, my nat twenty insight check. That's the last insight check. <laughs> <laughs> last roll. Let me check. Oh, that's that's fucking. It just did. Uh, okay, I'm re-rolling because you know. I call me. Roll again. Yeah, well, yeah the player can roll. Oh. All right, that's so sorry. Oh, right. oh, oh, oh it was just lagging. Okay. Yeah, so you got a 19. Uh, yeah. So a 7, got it. Yeah, you know, 19. Uh, oh, no, it was no, a 19. Don't, don't you, don't you oh, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean we're just, I'm, I'm just going off what I see. see. <laughs> All right, I thought we agreed the most recent. The 7, so if you see deeper, you'll see that he is kicking himself because mentally. Uh, because while he's like, that's bullshit, he can understand that when you're in type of distress, and he's, the thought is that there could have been a different way. Like, you didn't have to reach out to the darkness, you could have reached out to someone else. I mean, you could have reached out to Latina. She's like the nicest god out there. In, in case you were wondering, like I said, I, when you reach out to darkness, to light, but the light does not answer, you grab at only darkness. And are you satisfied? 
Look at what you got from the darkness when it reached back. Yeah. Really? Hmm. Are you really happy with your current situation? With this deal that you have? Mm, that your question brings her pause for a moment. I'm alive. That's not what I asked. If I had to choose between the life I live and death, I cannot complain. I am complacent. At worst, I mean, uh, may not be the best, but at least I have good company, so I can't terribly complain. Would you change it if you could? That's not for me to decide. It's not what I asked. Arthur says no. Because they're a pussy. Where the fucking god? You see, uh, Boxy's like first starting to stand up on it. <laughs> <laughs> Arcus over here on his way to make Moxie fail his first wisdom save. <laughs> Are you gonna... Speaking of that, give me a wisdom save, Moxie. <laughs> Oh god, and you have a plus four, don't forget. <laughs> Standing funny. right next to Lulu. DC is still 15. Oh, yeah, Alright, he's good. good. I'm good. His no. hair is standing on, standing on end, but his focus is still on Lulu. So. <laughs> he's trying to gaslight. And then, and, like, Moxie looks at Lulu, looks, looks her directly in the eyes. He's like, if you could change it and get away from that dick, would you do it? Uh, question, uh, Royal is... Oh, Royal's muted. Hold on. I have a question for him. Alright. Uh, is, uh, is Arcus physically here? Is he just, uh, speaking through our minds? Uh, considering you're, the, you're following him, he already, he always can hear what you're saying. So he's not physically here, though. He's not physically You know the devil on your shoulder? It's He's basically that all the time, Pretty always much. on you. Pretty much. So he's not physically here, but he can hear what you're saying and doing, because you follow him. Her eyes dart around the room quickly as she kind of thinks. He puts a hand on your cheek to, to bring your focus back to him. I don't care if, if he's listening. I don't care who's listening. I'm asking you, Lilith. So answer. Speaking of listening, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, um, player, if you really want to chime something in, go ahead. Oh, he's just he's listening in as much as he can. Okay. He's got some pop. He's got popcorn and shit. He's like. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's got popcorn in one hand and his notebook in the other. He's writing down everything. <laughs> everything you can hear. And Moxie, like, realizes, like, everyone's looking. And this is... Even the goblins are here, too. This is... You kind of, like... Okay. Mm, all right. He, like, uh, grabs Lilith and just starts walking out the door. Like, we need privacy. <laughs> Are you sure it's a safe idea to walk outside with the void monsters around? 
I assumed it was only safe inside of the tower. I'll take my chances. Be walk, careful. You, you walk, might vanish you like out. that other man. So wait, you walk out the door? Like, outside? Yeah, I feel like we should probably just, I, I, I feel like we should probably just go to a different <laughs> floor then. I mean, like... They straight up leave the tower. There's 13 <laughs> void monsters sitting there. <laughs> they just posted up waiting. Void dragon perched on top of the tower. <laughs> Three different void kings. He's like, I who looks, got who looks, you. Out, who looks outside, sees all the void kings waiting, shuts the door back. Like, you know what? Maybe we should just find an empty room. <laughs> empty room? No, you, you, once there, we, there, once there are we, no void creatures in there. You don't have to worry. Once we find hence empty room where we go outside, whatever, either way. You guys, uh, oh, if you do, good. just go upstairs. That's fine. They're going to oh, take yeah. a bath together again. <laughs> that is not what happened. <laughs> they, t- they took separate baths in separate in separate. The goddess baths. won't fix it this time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, she, she didn't mess with me. That was just you. Because you guys were uh, perverted. If, if you guys That's not what the retcon it, says. If you guys want to no, there was no retcon. He definitely knew. <laughs> if there you guys, was none of that. For whoever, on, for whoever wants to follow them, you guys can make a stealth check. Oh, no. Not a stealth check. <laughs> oh, stealth. <laughs> Whatever Whatever's shall I do? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gotta be the passive perception to 16. We both got 16 passive perceptions. I have to get a 2. Yeah, yeah, not a <laughs> You have to get a 2. Good yeah. thing Speaking I have advantage. Twos. Speaking of 2. <laughs> yeah, Speaking of 2. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me look through my massive list Holy of spells shit. here. So, yeah, he actually <laughs> fucking failed. So, no Ma- way. Moxie and jump shot, you guys can roll perception check too. Holy shit, Zero's actually failed. No, uh, I didn't. No, Zero's, I had advantage. Zero's got a oh, that's Alexander. That's all, my bad. Yeah, that's Alexander. And Alexander. to make sure I do get to hear this or follow you guys, let me add my knack onto that. God damn. <laughs> damn, you couldn't have given me that. You couldn't have given me that. Damn, you I can only give it to myself. Damn. You don't have psionic yeah. energy. So if you got, if you guys get a natural twenty, then you can uh, see Zanro. Nah, didn't get a nat twenty. I'll tell you that. Damn, I helped, I helped Zanros out. They were all focused on me. They didn't see you slipping. <laughs> God, Zanros fucking snuck into the night, fucking completely unknown, unheard. Moxie, Bro was literally inside of my shadow. Moxie, did you roll? Brother rolled a thirty-three. Jesus Christ, hold on a second. <laughs> Xanaros is really interested in that backstory. <laughs> yeah, no. He, he's too focused on living. <laughs> Ain't no way. He didn't see me. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I but Lulith. I but Xanaros, Xanaros is kind of back there, faded into the shadows. Just Say it, Dave. I am the knight. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> are we go. We go into an empty area, or whatever. Play, I forgot. You're, even you're not <laughs> there. You're not there. You you got caught. <laughs> I did get caught. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's yeah. not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> see, <I> did, uh... <laughs> see, see, seeing that you know we try to go to a, uh, an empty room area and then he's like you know what fuck it and he goes right he, he pulls her outside he's just like you know sh- you guys just straight up go outside and then... just go outside let's say you guys mm-hmm. you, Moxie took you to there I will connect to Lulith telepathically I can't hear what she's saying, but just to make sure she doesn't get attacked by any void creatures. All right. Uh, wait. So what is? How does that work exactly? So what? What is that? What is that? We mean? can talk back and forth in your mind, but isn't I can't hear what you're saying or what you're passively thinking. You have to like purposely do it. Uh, I think. Po- okay. Possibly considering. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no. Considering how I have her telepathy working, that might mean that you're able to 
hear what she's saying if she speaks in telepathy in general. Well, you're outside, so just speak out loud. And, and you're not <laughs> using your telepathy. You're yeah, actually talking. Well, uh, I was gonna about to say she does uh, telepathically say uh, yes to your prior question. Actually, when do you guys go outside? God fucking damn! Yeah, it. make me perception. Well, it's not. It's not very hard, but make me perception checks. You have to beat a fucking ten. I knew we shouldn't have come out here. Fuck. A ten. There's yeah. a car. Yeah. So pretty much, you guys see a giant fucking T Rex charging at the 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 tower. <laughs> And uh, a oh, I, I put the wrong token. Unmute uh, un- 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 my, un- un- my soundboard real quick, everyone. As I show you the terror of this event. Okay. okay. Can we have our character moment first, then the mm-hmm. T-Rex can come in? <laughs> no. The monster yes. don't wait for you. He wants some. He wants Moxie, some I told you. Why the fuck would we go outside? This is. This and is, and this also, is... everyone here. A uh, car. What the fuck? Get out of here. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> you didn't notice the car? Everybody here is the guy to say, oh, God damn it. Not again. Um, Can you guys go and deal with that? Can you deal with that? I mean, fuck. And then the Moxie's like, Rex, he's trying to talk. And he's trying to have a moment. And this fucking T Rex is running. And he's like, God fucking damn. And he just rages. He's like, no, I'm fucking tired of this shit. <laughs> and I First, tell Lulith we're on the way. I, I, I did First it was the party, then it was player, now it's a fucking dinosaur. What's next? Is Arcus gonna come down himself? You know, he, he, he's fucking pissed. He fucking yeah, he pissed on that. Like, <laughs> uh, like he, he's not fighting the rage this time. He lets it go through. <laughs> All right, you gotta see this this guy come up. No oh, shit, it's a Void T Rex. No, it's not a Void. T-Rex. No, it's just a regular one. Just a regular. Okay. One. Um, Holy shit! First actual monster that isn't a Void creature. <laughs> Don't forget about that wolves from the first session. Right now, there's, 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 there's <laughs> and, two and, of them. and the ro- and the robot snakes. No, those weren't Void. You're, you're, you're fighting. You're fighting brothers. Oh boy. Oh, two T Rexes? Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me set up the encounter, guys. I I fought a Tyrannus. I I fought a T Rex before. We we should be decent. I I fought one in a one shot before. I don't. This was like months ago though. But from what I remember, they're nothing too crazy. So we might be. We probably hopefully you should be able to maybe probably take this. What well, you're gonna do when Hulkamania run wild? Anyways, though, so, uh... So, the goblins aren't gonna be be down here with you guys? Only you guys are? We should actually be able to take this relatively quickly, guys. We could probably... We could end this in, like... Probably like, 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 probably like before 1 o'clock, I think. <laughs> before 1? <laughs> Hold on, I have to check what time it is. Oh, uh, yeah, it's 12 a.m. <laughs> we, we got time. Uh, yeah. I got it. This is unironically, guys. If if my memory serves me correct, I think these are weaker than the Void Ravens, so we should be good. No, T Rex. It doesn't like take finding them didn't take forever. Exactly, and this is there. This is just two of them, guys, and there's like five, four of us, five of us, five of us. Well, there would there will be five of us. What well, would be if King was here? But there, there's listen. Do, just do the math. Four, two. Okay, we we outnumber them four to two. All right. So we're rolling this uh, right I'm, now. I'm just doing this because fuck it, dude. Why not have uh, a, a combat? Just, oh, like, just one combat boy. here, you know? Oh boy, guys! Amazing initiative. I mean, oh, you know, maybe a triple. It would be something because again, you know, Moxie's been what? trying to. And people have been pushing him. He's been holding his temper, and then he's like, "Okay, a T Rex." You know, no, no, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, he's been fucking. He's been um, for, for all all intents and purposes. He's been holding his tongue actually pretty good. All like he's been on his best behavior the best couple of days. Yeah, he hasn't the, the T-Rex completely flipped out in anybody. Too. 
Ah, Xanros, I seem to sense some dinosaurs outside. We should probably deal with them. You don't sense dinosaurs. You were literally informed that there were dinosaurs outside. You also, you can kind of hear and see them. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, you, you that is them. what a sense is. You sense, because the goddess was like, hey, there's two Rexes outside, go deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, fucking Luf is like, yeah, shit, we'll, we'll pick this, we'll pick this up after this. This is what you heard. <laughs> there you go. Definitely my senses are going off there. <laughs> Moxie just roars back at them. <laughs> Do a battle cry. Do a roar. <laughs> so I'm not gonna roar because I, I ain't got the lungs for it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the what? I ain't got the lungs for it, okay? This ain't the, you gotta okay. catch me earlier in the day. Okay? Also, I mean, yeah, you're probably not trying to get... I mean, you're, you're, you're in a house and, and probably gonna piss somebody off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, don't need to wake, I, don't, I don't need to wake up the people in the house. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, I can kind of... I can picture in my head what Mox fucking... Uh, which we call it roaring with self. Your yeah, uh, on the on the initiative board, you guys. And Moxie got a nine. Just <laughs> with his initiative. All right. Everybody put Moxie down. He oh, did rage right. beforehand, so let me, let me put roll initiative for Nia as well. I got an eleven. Oh, never mind. Never mind, guys. Nia's in the fight. Let him solo it. <laughs> level 20 wizard over here. Uh, you yeah, mean level her, 20 let, wizard has chronic let, sleeping issues. Let her Good point. Go. Just keep them awake. Just keep them awake. <laughs> Just keep her awake. It's awake. Wake them up. Point them at the dinosaur. God, everybody's really doing shit on it. <laughs> everybody's really doing yeah. that. All right, so first up, Xanaros, what do you do? Moxie, you didn't put yourself on the initiative board. Yeah, someone's going to have to put me on that. Oh, uh, shit. What's the roll? Uh, uh, she rolled a nine. Uh, he, he rolled a nine. Yeah. Uh, you, you forgot to no, copy cash. it. You forgot to copy it. I didn't copy it. Why did it? There you go. I'll move out here. Using all 40 feet of my movement because of the dread ambusher thing. Uh, then I will bonus action steady aim. Does I get? Is it just my next attack or? For... Okay, you know you can't use steady. Oh aim. yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I just realized. Uh, so instead, I will use Zephyr Strike. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'll go <laughs> up here. And I'm just gonna s wait, 60 feet. Yeah, no, so. I'm going to throw my dagger of many daggers. Okay, I see it. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen? Uh, fifteen. Yeah, that hits. Okay, so then I roll these. Which one are you hitting? Nice. Uh, the one, the one, this one, two. Number two. All right. So I get nine attacks. Cause I rolled an eight on my dagger mini daggers thing. So that's one, second attack. Uh, yep. Yep. Three fours in a row. Yep. Oh, 
lost. All the attacks hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yep, they all hit. Okay, so that will just be. I'll do it like this. And then. Eight times. And plus four, I think. That'll be 96 damage. Damn. 96 damage to number two. You see Wait, a, actually. You see it roar in pain. 96, you said? Yep. Where What's the 72 additional damage from? The modifier. Mmm. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> and then I'll also roll a d8 because of Dread Ambusher. So that's three more damage. Okay, three more damage. Yeah, you just see it. You just see just a fucking wave of daggers be thrown and all, all of them sink into the T Rex. <laughs> it just fucking roars out in pain. Okay, so it was like 40 to get here. I'll use the last bit to be here. And second attack with my bow. Soul bow thing. Okay. Yep. And I'll be 15 damage. 15 damage? Alright. Yeah, this thing's almost dead. And that will be my turn. Right. Yeah, Xamarin is unironically probably the strongest fucking party member, not gonna lie. That's a once per day thing. I can use that throw. Yeah, it's a one one day nuke. You can uh, nuke one thing a day. Next up is Luna. I almost have to land everything. Yeah. She getting kind of fucking irritated because she was trying to have a moment. I'm trying to have a fucking moment here. As she's going to use Celestial Revelation. T Rex number two is, uh, has his sights on Xanaros. Yeah, so she's going to use her bonus action to sprout out her, um, the wings. You already have your wings sprouted out, though. They're not always sprouted out. I didn't want to think it was. <laughs> but anyways, continue. Unfortunately, I'm not an arrow cocker. Yeah. That would be like, unbelievably OP, though, if, if uh, Asmar could have the wings all the time. Yeah. It just depends on how demons play it. Ah, shit. What the fu oh, I gotta close the I gotta close it. That's why I wouldn't let go of them. I move her there. So she's thirty feet up and forward. And she is going to let me see, do I get any spells here? Let me see. Hmm. 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 You know, I don't really have a lot of good spells, but you you want to know what I do have? Hmm. Haste. I'm a haste moxie. Are you not gonna haste yourself? <laughs> okay. No, he said moxie. All right, go ahead. Moxie is hasty. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Anything else for your turn? Uh, that will be the end of my turn. It is now Nia's turn. And Nia is going to uh, go out here. Look you at get to end. measure yourself, Royal. Let's see, how much movement does Nia even have? Oh, 30 feet. That's more. That's more. That was more than 30 feet, huh? Okay. Yeah. I can just simply do this. 
the fuck? Go back, bitch. Oh my god. Wait, yeah, right there. Yeah. Maybe that is going to move over to here. 30 feet. So just to the door. And then. Alright, she's gonna make a wisdom saving throw. You're gonna make a wisdom saving Okay, never yeah, mind. Yeah, uh, well, sure she can do literally anything. She has to make a wisdom save. No, she goes to sleep. <laughs> Oh. All right, uh, Moxie, it's your turn. <laughs> Freaking I was like, what? She, so, oh, so she, essentially, she, can... she goes to the door, you see light in her hand, and then she just fucking passes out. Yeah, Moxie's not even paying attention to any of that shit. <laughs> he is fucking pissed off. Yeah. Uh, so he's flying. Doubled, I think, right? Say what? Like, I think haste doubles your movement speed or no? Yeah, it doubles your movement speed, ups your AC by two, um, yeah. get advantage on deck save, Go and you get the extra attack. So yeah, he is going... He's going at it to the closest one. Yeah, and you're, I'm pretty sure your speed... Yeah, you get a plus two to your AC. What's uh, your, what's your you get obviously speed? two action. Uh, so I have... 40, so 40 doubled is 80. So yeah, and you got and you got advantage on deck saving throws. Right, so, and you're raging, so you're considered a, a large creature. Yep. So you're right there. Yeah, fucking. God damn it. <laughs> Literally, like, putting Moxie on fucking steroids. Jesus Christ. And I am leashed on this world. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, you you catch you you fly up to them easily, Moxie. What do you do? All right, he's fucking with his sword that he infuses with fucking fire because he's hot. That's hot. And uh, and uh, he's gonna fucking bitch slap the damn damn thing with the twenty two. No, that hits. There's some damage. Oh, uh, oh, oh, that's right. I forgot I get another D10. Yeah, I, I marked it on your character sheet already, so you just press the button and go. Oh, I can. That's no more. Wait, where is it? Right. It's in your others, I think. If I remember correctly. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I think there's some others. Mm -hmm. Cause the, uh, the freaking app is so Yeah, it is. It's called Wrath Extra Damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but essentially you add an extra 8 damage onto that. So how much damage is that? So it's uh, 30, uh, 38, right? Oh, there it is. Okay, I see it. <laughs> yeah. uh, the damage I did to him was, yeah, 38. Okay, and that, that was just the first, right? Yep, that was the first hit. Bones. That's another hit right there. Good. Well, 
can just go down here and hit the damn button and go. Alright, plus 17. Okay, so 12 um, plus 17. It's 29 plus 3 on range damage. My own system. So, 35. 35 damage. Uh, and that's not it, because then I get another attack because hasted. Yeah. Masha is going on. Shit, my mic was blowing for a bit of that. Don't worry, I didn't say anything to a point. I was saying, yeah, shit, I'm only disappointed I didn't do this shit sooner. <laughs> 14. 14. Because uh, a psychopath. What? <laughs> Fourteen. Twenty-eight. Plus plus thirty-one points. Yeah. Oh, plus another five. Mm -hmm. That's thirty-six mm -hmm. points of damage. Thirty-six. You know what? We're going. We're going. Roll that with two as I do my frost strike. So add another two to that. Add a two, so that's fuck, dude. That's forty-eight points of damage. No, no, not forty. Thirty. Thirty-eight points of damage. What's wrong with me? Thirty-eight. That is supposed to do something with my. Uh, he is supposed to make a save. His uh, speed gets reduced to zero. So I need him to make a con save. What's the DC on that con save? Eight plus my proficiency plus strength. So Wait, is that the slasher six. feet? No, not the slasher feet. This is, um... With the speed being strike of the frost strength. Strike of the frost strength. Okay, strike of the frost strength gives the speed reduced? Yeah, it reduces the speed. Okay. They um, gotta re they gotta make a Constitution saving throw DC. Uh, what did you say it was, Moxie? Sixteen. DC sixteen. They got a sixteen on the dot. Alright. So the speed is reduced. Correct. Okay. Now I'm done. <laughs> all right. Those are all three hits. All right. Next up is a player. All right. Player's going to grab his ball. He's going to kind of, as he's running, he's going to kind of quickly flip through. He's like, not that one, not that one, not that one. Uh, he's going to slide under Nia here, uh, then come up to his feet at the top of these stairs, kind of spin his arms like a windmill. He's going to look over at the two T-Rexes, see Moxie freaking the fuck out. He's going to kind of take out a bunch of crystal orbs, kind of looking at them all. He's gonna kind of shrug, grab one, and then just fucking chuck it as hard as he can at the two T-Rexes as he casts Summon Shadow Spawn at 6th level. By the way, uh, I wouldn't say that Mox is freaking out. I'd say he's fucking tweaking out. Homie is wrath raging. <laughs> And he's <laughs> fucking hasted. He's he's yeah. tripping balls. By the way, these Tyrannosaurus Rexes are almost dead. Already. Oh, good. Uh, as this thing seems to just... I don't have a token for this one, because I wasn't able to figure out how to put the concept of uh, Shadow Spawn Fury on the field. Do, do, does this work? Yeah, that'll work. Just imagine uh, what's it's black. Just imagine it's black, yeah. rather than purple. Medium. <laughs> Medium. Uh, kind of just chucks it, and it lands right here. Or, or would you would you perhaps instead like a cat? Would you like a cat instead? Neat. We'll do this one. It's going to land um, right here. And the first thing he's going to do upon landing right here, because I realized that range exists, is it is going to just... Abs. I have to refresh the page. The <laughs> big count. I started being able to count pixels. 
<laughs> oh god. That same for me. God. Oh my god. It's fine oh, for me. What did you do? <laughs> I blame, uh, I blame Lulu. I have to zoom in so far so it doesn't get broken. Alright. First thing it's gonna do is scream. Like, scream hard. Dreadful scream. I need every creature within 30 feet of it to make me a wisdom saving throw, or they are frightened. Okay. Uh, the DC for that is 20. Well, uh, the first one got a natural 20. That fails, because I'm casting silvery barbs. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Dang. Uh, it doesn't fail. It means you have to reroll. All right, let's see. What he gets? He got a six. So the first one got a, a seven. But yeah. And the second one. Let's roll for them. They got a, a eleven. So they fail as well. All right, and then my buddy here. Why are the fuck did I just go? Your what? Why is it so zoomed in? <laughs> Who are you Owlbear's... giving the advantage to? Owlbear is tweaking the hell out right now. What the hell are you uh, doing? Uh, it does. Apparently it zoom. Where's the map going? <laughs> it's running away from you. I'm trying to sync your view. Hold on. There you go. Take your view with mine. Stop messing with the view, Royal. You're, you're breaking the whole map. <laughs> Alright. And this thing... Uh, can... It's going to use Chilling Rend at advantage because it is Fury. And it has advantage on attack rolls against frightened creatures. Uh, it has my spell attack modifier to hit, which is a plus 14. So it is going to uh, roll RR2, 2d20, Depious 1, plus 14. That is a natural 20 and a 32 to hit. Alright, roll damage. Right. Guys, I think we're I think we're only further solidifying Royal's point of using strictly homebrew creatures. I think we're not helping our own case here. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. And hey, look, we we, hey, look, we need a chance to actually beat up on something. <laughs> yeah, this is this is what happens when Moxie gets upset. All right, that's going to be twenty six points of cold damage to and this guy. How does he kill it? Uh. As you guys watch, as uh, 459 proceeds to make a bit of a fool of himself as he kind of runs out, slides under Nia, uh, only to come to a stop windmilling himself to keep from falling down the stairs. He kind of takes out his orbs, fumbles them, tosses a random one at will as it lands right by the T-Rexes. As you just see this fucking abomination just screech, terrifying the dinosaurs as it takes out these massive claws and proceeds to fucking rip into this guy, turning him into a pile of mush, as it proceeds to then immediately book it over the corpse of the other T-Rex uh, to the other uh, T-Rex. Uh, my shit's shitting itself out. I'm going to restart my all back here. Uh, let's see, that was my action, reaction, do I even have a bonus action? And who are you giving the advantage to from Silvery Barbs? Uh, that Silvery Barbs advantage is going right to, uh, Xanros, because he's next up on the top of the initiative. As and he got sneak attack. As, as you kill the T-Rex, you see the T-Rex kind of float into the air and just get chopped into millions of pieces. Hmm. What the fuck? I don't think my creatures can do that. And then the, the creature 
floats into the tower. Shadow's <laughs> tower. He's killing Ren. And that is my turn. Shadow's fun. He's killing Ren. Oh my god. Shit's still fucking laggy as all hell. Why? The Tyrannosaurus Rex right now is right. Yeah, Xanros, uh, start start thinking of your uh, how do you want to do this? <laughs> Unless this Tyrannosaurus Rex damage. Well, Moxie pretty much one shot it, so this thing is bigger than Moxie. Oh, the shit. shit out of this thing. Yeah. Just thank you, thank you. And if somehow by some by some bullshit house chance you don't kill it. Then I get to. All right, but anyways, <laughs> uh, next up is the T Rexes, and uh, god damn, they got fucked up. Um, <laughs> fucked up. They got fucking mutilated. So T Rex number. Actually, we're seeing the way this guy. There's only one left. <laughs> um, and now uh, T Rex number one is going to try and fight for his life, even though he's fucking fear. He's fucking fearful as fuck. Actually, um, the T-Rex is gonna kind of bow his head and surrender. The fuck? Trying to get you guys to not kill him. And that'll be it for you. Ah, well, shit, I can't, I've already told it to do something. Does the T-Rex even have a intelligence enough to do that? Well, it has survival yeah. instinct enough to not want to die so i don't think this isn't in the this isn't in the uh anim, this isn't in the uh animal dictionary of the, <laughs> i don't i don't remember, I don't remember T -Rex doing this when they were getting fucking slaughtered i could be wrong though yeah. i don't think, I don't think I don't, humans and like chimpanzees and gorillas are the only creatures that have uh, basically the surrender doctrine in their brain i think so then what is it supposed to do just make a fucking run for it it's either going to fight for its life, or it's going to try to run. Fight, fight or flight. That that's that's all. That's, the, the, the T Rex that's, does not. T Rex does not know surrender. It either knows fight or run. Either way, this is actually a druid plot twist. Even if it, guys, it guys, let's. Yeah, just, yeah, you got, you got, you got it right. You got it right. So it's gonna try to. Fight. Either way, it doesn't matter because at worst, it's gonna hit either Moxie or it's gonna hit the shadow thing. And right. if it tries to run, it's gonna get absolutely fucking demolished by one of them. So, it's yeah. gonna... It's gonna hit Moxie, because Moxie did the most damage to it first. It has disadvantage on all of its attacks, by the I way. I know, I know. So, that will be... Uh, 16 to miss. <laughs> now it's for its bite attack, and now it's tail attack. Oh it can't Sorry, make the attack me. against the same creature twice, so it cannot attack Moxie this turn. Oh, oh yeah, it can. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right. so it would have it'll... to bite me, and then it would yeah. have to tail attack something else. Yeah, it'll try to attack the, the shadow thing. I just read that, my bad. Shadow spawn, dodge it! <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty shadow sure, spawn, that, pretty sure dodge. That the shadow spawn has a, an AC above 13, so, yeah. Uh, the shadow spawn has an armor class of 17. Yeah, so that, it's now, that's it for their turn, it's now Xanaros, what do you do? Great job, shadow spawn! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, first, I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast Zephyr Strike. Brother, it's, it's already dead! <laughs> Oh, now we've got nice two attacks with that. disadvantage. Or advantage. No, not steady aim. Zephyr. I'm just getting more damage, pretty much. No, because oh, I yeah, gave you the. Get advantage. I forgot about that. Yeah, I gave you the silvery barbs. You get advantage from silvery barbs. So he's got no, two separate attacks. I forgot attacks. Zephyr Strike gave you advantage. Yeah. Uh, it can, it I will attack the thing. With the thing? With the nat 20. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. How, how, how do you kill it? How do you kill it? Uh, Actually, yeah, roll sneak attack. Seeing that. Man, that uh, okay. was terrible damage. Uh, hopefully, your sneak attack is a bit better. 
11 plus right. 15 plus how did, how did 8. He kill it? How, did, how, did, how did he kill it? It only had 25 uh, hit points left, so. Okay. Yeah, Seeing you took that damage. Moxie yeah. just absolutely beat this thing's ass, uh, when it like when it turns to look around, I get out my bow and shoot it through the eye, and it falls over. Yeah, it falls over, and it, once it falls over, it flows into the air and just gets cut into millions of pieces, and then it flows into the tower. Huh. After that, I'll run over here to pick my dagger back up. <laughs> yep, all your daggers start falling out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but all your it's raining fall daggers. One, yeah. Guys, it's raining daggers. Now we can have that dramatic conversation before, but it's raining. It just yeah. happens to be raining daggers. Combat's over, and you guys can do what you want now. Ah. Well, that was a good fight. Good job, Shadow Spawn. I hope the rest of you have seen how effective my summons are. You know, yeah, seeing how it did, what, like, what, no what damage to one of them and what the other. Oh, uh, actually, uh, uh, Royal, combat's not over. We still got a, we still got a problem. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Roll, a, roll a wisdom saving throw. It doesn't speak language, actually. If, if, he, Only if he fails this, okay. I'm so boned. I'm so bad. I think Lulu's hug failed. should now give him advantage. I'm not hugging him though right now. He's he's oh, not actually, my turn. What, what, That's actually, actually been wait, no no Lulu. You was he was like right here so. Yeah, 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 that's an 11, yeah. and that, that's just 11. shit. So, yeah, now, now and we're I'm going, in the air, I'm the in combat. the air, though, so you guys are pricked, actually. No, actually, no, oh, no, 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 no. you're the only one that's been marked by Moxie, because he was the only yeah. one that was out Lilith is protected, so. I already used my bonus action. Alright, uh, so uh, Moxie, yeah. uh, actually, we're going just back to the initiative order, so, that was it. That's it Moxie, for what did you roll on that, um, uh, on that wisdom check against the shadow spawn? Was I supposed to roll one? <laughs> yeah, you're within 30 feet of it. So it would have been that 11. Yeah, yeah. was it a wisdom check? Or oh, how convenient! Check? Now you can re-roll that wisdom save. No, no. Make another wisdom save. Uh, well, there you go. <laughs> okay, you got a well, oh shit, no, that's shadow. actually bad. That's actually bad for us, because now we have a pissed off Moxie that isn't frightened. <laughs> yeah, and uh... Him being angry, I'm pretty sure it makes him immune to frighten. Do you have immunity to frighten? Uh, uh, I'm not, 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 no, no, I don't. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Next, next to act is Lulith. Because we just finished Xanaros' turn. Actually, no, Xanaros, you can do, you can use your movement if you want, but that's it. You already used your action. Yeah, I moved over here and ended my turn. Okay. Cool, cool. Now, Lulith, what do you do? And you still see a pissed off Moxie. Uh. Fuck. Ah, okay. I got, I got two distinct options here. We got. I have two options. For starters, you're gonna obviously fly down over here. Damn. I have two okay, I have two very distinct ways I can take this. Hmm. Hmm. I have exactly two options to Hmm. Why your sense of suspense? Fuck, this is actually hard to take. Make a fuck it. To, to okay, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. She is going to fly up to his uh, face uh, area, and she's going to kiss him. Yeah, yeah, Whoa! Moxie. Moxie, give me another wisdom save. With Whoa. advantage. Aww. He does and believe in the Alright, 16. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely save, and you see, uh, once you come out of your frenzy, you see Lulith kissing you. 
long thing. Well, naturally, he pulls her in and wraps his arms around her. So the sin of lust can calm down the sin of wrath with just a kiss. God damn it, that actually poet poetically makes sense. Motherfucker. <laughs> kind of fucking bullshit ass Shakespeare shit is this. God damn it. This is some bullshit. <laughs> Oh, 459 shit. is going to go ahead and write that down in his journal. By the way, guys, once 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 these two sessions are over and player 459 goes back to his group of mages, uh, let, let, you are let, one... Let's see if Nia wakes up again. <laughs> you are 100% going to uh, hear bards singing about your guys' tales. Oh my god. Of course she does. Uh, yeah, 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 well, kinda... I, I wanted to spell what she tried to cast that she just dropped. <laughs> what she... yeah, what's, what's she trying to do? That she failed. Um, what was she trying to do? Yeah. yeah what was she, you said she, her hand was glowing with light and then she just passed yeah, she, was, she was trying to use Guiding Bolt, but you know. Oh, she shit. passed out from a level one spell. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> a level one spell was just too much more. Four five nine is gonna recall the shadow spawn back into its orb as he drops concentration and it vanishes. All right, but yeah, they, they are like, oh, oh, how cute! Oh my god! <laughs> I knew they, I knew that they liked each other. <laughs> So, let me let me see if I got this right. We have the sin of wrath, we have the sin of lust, we have the sin of gluttony, and the sin of sloth. What exactly happened to the other three? I don't know who you're talking to, man. Mox is busy right now. <laughs> At this point, he'd probably be talking to Xanros. Oh, well, I yeah, finished. Yeah, probably talking to Xandros, yeah. yeah. Xandros, the only uh, good spot, I guess. Answer this question? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... The sin of pride disappeared. Greed is in the... is in a different place and just disappeared, and we don't know about Avarice. Avarice is, uh, greed. Envy is the only one that we don't know about. Oh, then, yeah. We, we don't know about Envy. Hmm. You said Greed vanished? Was that the one that, uh, the Lily was yelling about? The Blue Goblin? Yes. And you said that Pride vanished? How long ago was that? It's been months. Months, I see. You see, you guys know I put a censorship bar because you keep... <laughs> <laughs> Censorship bar. A censorship bar? No, you're not doing that shit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, assuming that, well, once we get back to my colleagues back down at that tower, uh, I'll, I guess I'll just send out some of my buddies and, well, you know, I don't really have any friends, but I can make people do things. Uh, I'll send some people out to go find those other three sins if I can, you know, ever find you guys again. But I do have connections. They don't like me, but they're my connections. <laughs> Aren't they reliable? Oh, they're very reliable. By the way, uh, Moxie still had those three levels of exhaustion. After all, how do you think I managed to find this place? <laughs> That's why I didn't reckless attack because I still know that. Yeah, uh, Nia, Nia's just gonna go inside again. Actually, she's just gonna cast Dimension Door and appear uh, where the goddess is. Actually. But yes, once, like I said, once we get back to my tower, I shall send out some colleagues of mine, and uh, we'll get in touch with those other three sins if they can find them at all. We'll let you know if any of them are dead, gone, uh, straight up not even in this plane of existence. Actually, now that I think about it, we can go to other planes of existence. So, yeah, we'd find them. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, will say, I will say that I had a character. I mean, we nobody is the sin of envy. The sin of envy has been yet to be claimed. So no one yeah. is. There is no known sin of envy. They're out there somewhere, but we know yeah, not who they are. are. So now, no whenever the sin of envy shows up, they will be uh, informed to you guys via Royal just saying, yeah, so a wizard shows up, tells you, oh yeah, we found the sin of envy. Whether that be a player or NPC wants to add, we shall yeah. see. Yeah. What time is it? 10 o'clock? Damn. Yeah, it is. It is getting late, guys. Um, So, yeah. would you guys like to end the air or do some more roleplay? Up to, I think um, I think that's a good ending spot right there. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, well, we'll I say... suppose we'll just rest up for now. Uh, the goddess, Moxie still uh, needs his rest. And... The, the goddess appears in front of Moxie and Lilith and says, why don't you guys go and do your business somewhere else? And then she claps her hands and teleports you guys into onto the fourth floor. What so the fuck? They don't get in trouble. <laughs> hmm. Well, Xanroft, if you're so disheartened by that, I suppose I can summon that face spirit again, since she's so upset about us being out here. Uh, I can summon a wall of force or something like that. <laughs> no, thanks. No, you sure? You look like the kind of guy who could really get it on with a flaming fae. Flaming fae? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I might have to do um, it. The, the, goddess, the, goddess, the goddess appears in front of you, then, Ross, and says, You see, the reason why I'm not getting mad at them is because their love is ch actually real. And your love was, well, let's just say, on the level of wanting a side chick. Who said love? Damn. I would, hi, that would imply he has a girlfriend in the first place. <laughs> oh, Damn. Right. Damn. No girl would want him. But anyways. Damn. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking three separate back to back. Man, burn, burn, burn. And then he, she claps her hands and teleports back to the fifth. <laughs> fucking nice. Bro. We, we, we call that a, a scorching ray right there. Because that was three burn. <laughs> <laughs> then I was with the dead token on him. Um, nah, that was just his reaction to the play. <laughs> Uh, it, it's like boom, boom, boom. Then the wasted sign comes up, like she she wasted. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's Fatality. where we're gonna end this session, guys. Um, next session, you guys will all be wet, rested up. Moxie, you, you wanna have your three levels of exhaustion anymore, so you can just take those off right mm -hmm. now if you want. You, you just have one button of exhaustion. No, no. Amazing. <laughs> Honestly, Actually, amazing. You know that. If you guys really want to do the deed, give me performance checks. I think oh, he has a little know. bit of exhaustion. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to be a dick? <laughs> Are you trying to ruin the moment? <laughs> Time to actually roll for it. Hey, if anyone's rolling performance here, it would be Xanros and the Fae, okay? No, I'm not actually doing it. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Hey, listen, if I do roll like shit, like I said, she's never had sex before, ironically. <laughs> That's well, a right. roll higher than Moxie. 17. You know what, Moxie? Since, right. I, since I want to be so nice, I'll allow you to add your strength modifier to it. I have several sure. questions. He's trying to, try to fucking kill her, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, wait, I can roll athletics? Crush. No, just roll performance and add your strength mod instead. So add the athletics. fucking murder her. So, yeah. I'm okay, sorry, did you say sorry. athletics? Sorry, no, sorry. Are they trying it'll, to bench it'll, press it'll them? Just, it'll just be a strength mod. No, it's just be... performance plus my strength yeah, mod. Performance plus your strength mod. Oh my god. He just goes through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong kind of full Nelson. Hey, hey, hey. Now, now you're gonna know what it feels like. So, so it's just plus seven. 13. <laughs> Hey, I mean, yeah, thirteen. Yeah. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. Actually, you're, you're, you're more surprised on how good Lilith is doing. She's she's more leading it's, the party. <laughs> it's Damn, a it's almost it's almost like the sin of lust is actually good at this. <laughs> Despite <laughs> never doing this before, yes, the irony is not lost upon me. They get it's a fourteen because he has a plus seven for strength. Yeah, it's a fourteen. Oh, 13. Oh, nice. 
Yeah. Amazing right. how the final, yeah, Wait, so amazing how the final words good. of the uh, the final words of the session were yeah. just the fucking god is showing up to tell Xandros he gets no bitches. <laughs> Actually, if you, I check my notes. <laughs> Oh, sorry. It, the, the it guy, was even. The guy it was that even shows worse. Up again and says, "Oh, sorry, I meant no bodies." Damn. <laughs> that, 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 I, I'm gonna Damn. need you to oh, make a save to, to dodge that fireball. Your, your DC's a forty. <laughs> <laughs> you got just advantage on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um... By the way, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I cannot tell you how tempting it was to use my fucking critical, my crit, my crit on that roll. <laughs> God damn it! God, I would have got a twenty-four you. if I did. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you used your crit on that, I'm pretty sure Moxie would be charmed by you for the entire next session. <laughs> Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't miss start simping hard. Yeah. No, Royal guiding your hand in sex. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Royal, you, you keep ruining the moment. You just oh, God. not Royal, not well, Royal. Well, it's, Royal. Be, it's because Royal gave gave you fucking inspiration. Um. Royal tags in like, hey, well, what do I need to help with? He looks down and he's like. <laughs> I see why the fourth floor is blacked out right now. Yeah. <laughs> what does the actual fourth floor look like? Hold on, can we see what it looks like since we're there? Alright, go ahead, go ahead. Um... Well, I mean, you're the one who has it blacked out, so I mean, right, you can't. Right. You can't. Is, it the, is it the only beds in this entire fucking building? <laughs> it's the only actual beds. Oh my god, there is. It's the there's only there's, actual are there, are there actually beds? There's not beds. There's there. one there's bed in this whole building. Oh, there's there, one there's, single there's, bed. There's a separate room. It's <laughs> way too small. <laughs> one it's a fucking single. twin bed. That is about a break. <laughs> that bed is broken. That's the, that's the goddess's bed. <laughs> Bro, okay, okay. I'm so, sorry. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It, it's a goddess wanna... bed, so it's not broken. It gets cracked. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna put this into perspective. Lilith is like six foot six, and fucking Moxie's like seven foot what? Six, seven foot five. He's like seven five, and she's six six. Bro, no, like no shot. <laughs> Congratulations, you two. You managed to turn this twin bed into a mattress with splintered wood under it. <laughs> uh, the, it's a good thing the bed auto fixes itself. I can hear it from the second floor. It's trying to fix itself, but it keeps getting cracked over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god, this is golden. <laughs> you see, th this, this is how romances should be done in no, fucking no, no. D&D. Th this is how Lulith loses her virginity. <laughs> yeah, it is. It fucking, that is correct. <laughs> No, but yeah, fucking hell, this shit is funny. But yeah. Damn, I can't believe Lilith just got a kid. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, don't be putting that voodoo on. Uh, yeah. do, actually, actually, do, do you do it inside or out? God damn it. What? You, you know, you heard me. <laughs> so you, you, have you, have you either of them are. even, have you, either of them even... No, 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 no. You, you are the one with the dragon, okay? I just want to let you know that. <laughs> do, do you Go do ahead, Mark. Answer the question. Inside or out, dragon? <laughs> inside or out? Inside or out? It, it, mm, yeah, I'm leaving this in Lisa's hands. <laughs> of course. Oh, oh, okay. So you are getting him pregnant. Okay, cool. Him? Sorry, her. Her. Sorry, her. her. Oh, my bad. My bad. Her. No, no, no. They're not going Royal. after Lilith anymore. They're going right for yeah. jump shot. <laughs> uh, hold on. <laughs>